the fuck you mean get fucked, nigga? How about this? You told me to get fucked, but I'ma hold a mirror so you can say that shit to reflection to yourself. You came from a you came home from a hard day's work of school, work, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. School's closed. We know you probably live at home with your parents. We already know for a fact you don't have a job. You came from you came home from a hard day's work, right? You seen the door cracked late at night. It was like about 12 p.m. You probably work one of those sorry ass grave hour shifts. It was about 12 p.m. You came home, you heard something squeaking, but you wasn't sure. The door was slightly cracked. You kind of peeked in and all you seen was two stallion ass cheeks stroking your fucking mom's cheeks as I kept slapping both ass cheeks and pulling her hair, she fucking projected me to do so. I grabbed her hair deep, stroked her, gave her the BBC deep, kept busting. And I heard somebody crack the door and I looked back and it's you just staring at me. So I just grab a whip of your mom's blonde, sandy blonde hair and I keep stroking deep. And she's like, uh, 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 and I just keep stroking over and over again while you just watch my sweaty ass cheeks back shot and bust your mom and you can't do shit as you watch my fucking back muscles just just chisel and drip with sweat as i bust and fuck your mom and there's nothing you could do about it and i just take the door and i gently close it and stare at you and lock it and there's nothing you can do about it bitch ass nigga get that ass bent i do get offensive when somebody throws an opinion at me because for some reason, your mom asked me what I thought about the filling of her vag. And I got defensive because she promised me hot, sweltering, great sex with a tight, suctionable vacuum pussy. And all I got was a hole they reeked of garbage and old Chinese food, nigga. So yeah, I got defensive when she asked me if the pussy was bomb. So I'm like, what do you mean it was the pussy bomb? You you told me I was gonna get something fresh and hot. I got something hot and garbage, nigga. Get that ass banned. That's why I get defensive. Get the fuck out of my fucking chat, bitch. Easy. So you heard I was gay? All right, look, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Guys, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. the closet after your dad left the house and I was gay as hell I was happy as fuck because as soon as your pop shook your mom told me to lay my dick out on the marble table I flopped it out bloom and she just inched forward on top of the marble table tits and everything just sliding across it while my dicks just on the table and she just, she just ready to chump on it like sushi in a line. I, 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 I start sucking. I'm like, uh, 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 and I'm just busting all kind of hot nuts all over the marble table, bitch ass nigga. You damn right I was gay. I was happy as fuck that I was getting that sushi marble table dome, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass man. Mods, get this nigga out of here. I did get shit on. Let me tell you how. Your mom told me that if I came over and fulfilled any fantasy that she wanted, she would bless me with $13,000 cash. She told me to put on a blindfold and lay down in a tub, turn on the water, whatever temperature I wanted. I said, all right, did it. Next thing you know, I'm just getting shitted on. I'm just feeling hot globs of dookie all over me. I'm like, and I just, after the shit's done on me, I just feel like wads of cash being thrown on me. So I just showered and left, bitch ass nigga. So yeah, I did get shitted on. Get that ass banned. You'll never speak in my shit again. What's the thing I do at the match when I suddenly DC? Oh, you mean when I take my, my dick and slap it and splash it on your mom's clitoris while her pussy just explode with juices all over my dick? Until she begs me to splash my dick all over the clitoris even more. 
and it's just looking like a cat lacking fuck a dog licking water and lapping up water you just see splashes and sprinkles everywhere bitch ass nigga that's why you got banned suddenly there's dick in your mouth bitch virtually I did, you know what? I did get molested at five because I used to walk this this weird way around the block, and your mom would just lure me in with like Snickers fun size bars, like the kind that's like half size but not the full one. She would just it would be like a trail of Snickers, so I would follow it. I'd be like, oh shit! I would follow it. Next thing you know, I come around the the corner and I just see a fucking a woman in a goddamn floral robe with titties, big ass giant titties hanging to her navel. And I just stared, I didn't know what to do, I just, I looked, and she just pulled me. Got my little ass, threw me on the bed, well hold on, I was never little. Got my tall ass, threw me on the bed. All I could do was he, Miss Johnson, what's going on? And before I knew it, I just felt like a weird feeling on my dick getting sucked, but I didn't know what was going on, I was just, do you have any more candy? And she just keeps sucking me up, and next thing you know, I just feel like a weird explosion. I was like, eh, 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 eh. and I, before you know it, I just I actually busted a nut at five. That's what turned me on the bitches so early because your mom sucked me up when I was five years old. Five years old lured me into the motherfucking crib with fucking Snickers and candy. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I had Easter baskets, everything, all types of sweets for me. the fuck did I know about busting an edit five? How to not enjoy a game? Well, let me tell you this. I enjoy lots of games. Every time we go over your mom's house, she pops out that classic shit. Them classic board games. That's what she's doing. She's popping out the classic board games. I'm going over there. She's popping out Sorry, Monopoly, Mousetrap, connect, connect four. She said, pick a game. I was like, all right. Uh, I looked around. I said, hold on a second. You know what? Let's get real unique. Mousetrap. So I'm rolling the dice, building my traps. Next thing you know, she tells me to come in the room, has the whole room set up like a fucking mousetrap. I go in there. It's all type of monkey bars, everything. Your mom's discontact, torted, all in the shit. The only thing that was available was her pussy. So I go in, I dip in over up under a monkey bar and I'm fucking relentlessly. And I, I couldn't, I had no choice but to bust inside of her because the contortion of the fucking mousetrap she had made in the room, it made me bust a hot load inside, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass banned. That's how I enjoy my fucking games, bitch. Somebody ban that nigga out of my chat. You play your games how you play them, and I play my games how I play them, nigga. When I'm playing versus games, I am not your friend. This is 100% competition. Nigga, I don't play versus games, whether it's a fighting game, whether it's a sports game, none of that. I don't play them for fun, nigga. So you said somebody's probably sandbagging? Well, listen. I know we don't get really too many females in here often, but since you think that he was or she was sandbagging, what I'm going to do is strap two sandbags to one of your nipples. I'm going to go ahead and strap another sandbag to the other part of your nipples, and we're just going to watch your titties sag until they're forcefully able to create milk to squeeze out, to put in bottles so that I can drink and just increase my protein. Get that ass band, nigga. Or chick. Removed. Mods, take care of that ASAP. I uh, played the game and happened to win, and you played the game of typing in my chat. And we spun the wheel, and it went. Hold on, it went like this. You spun the wheel, and it went. And it stopped on something in glowing crystal green letters with sparkles and it read out g t a b get that ass band bitch ass nigga you're out of my chat for life beg me through dms for 10 bucks to fuck with it then i might unban you i am extra salty because 
I told your mama wanted to try something new. What did she do? Tell me that she squirts hot juices. I was like, okay, well, I've seen that before. She said, no, but not the way I squirt hot juices. She poured Epsom bath salts inside of her actual pussy. Asked to ride my face. Next thing you know, she's riding me. I'm foaming at the mouth, tasting all types of salt. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. she's just on top of me. Like, oh. Just squirting and oozing all these Epsom salts and pussy juice, nigga. So that's why I'm fucking salty, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass bent. So, Mogs, take care of this nigga. Thank you. Why am I so negative? Probably because I was promised suctionable pussy when your sister called me over for late night sex. But instead, I got something that my dick kept swiveling around in like a fucking straw in an empty cup with no friction and heat. That's why I'm so negative. The pussy was whacked today when I went over your sister's house and she didn't give me what the fuck that I asked for. Get that ass banned. Mods, get rid of them. Hey, Rox, what you need to worry about is getting a better fucking MBPS. Oh, let me go ahead and clear off the spot. Oh, wow. You can't even play Contra 3 on share play. So whatever ghetto ass macaroni grease you got around your fucking router, all like Crisco oil, old fucked up ass multi meal cereal pieces, not Prego but ragu, spaghetti sauce. Get all that ghetto ass shit from around your router. Maybe your shit'll pick up a good connection speed. Nigga got fucking old sticky tan pico and all that shit under his fucking router. Play a match? I'm gonna play a, a match when I fucking strike a match off your mom's clitoris and let her pour ooze from the heat coming from the match while the liquid juices burst and squirt all in my face, bitch ass nigga. That's what I'm gonna play. Get that ass banned. <laughs> like, pussy, let me tell you nigga something. Pussy is not that good. It's not that good to fly a bitch out. Now, if you want to come and fly yourself out, cool, but for the possibility of it being foul, being loose, et cetera, et cetera, pussy is not, for all you niggas in here that have not fucked, pussy is not that good, I'm telling you. Top is better. Let me tell you why top is better than pussy. Top is better than pussy because a mouth can do more things than a vagina. A mouth, you can go, a bitch can go, do all these virtual, you know, do all these different dick sucks, angles, different slurps, suctions, jaw bombs, flute dome. Like, there's so much shit a bitch can do with, with head. But the best thing about pussy is backshotting it. You bend it over, you get to see the lips. Mm -hmm. And if you're backshotting a bitch, you can smell the aroma if the pussy's foul. Now, if you're missionarying somebody, 
both of your genitals. Both of your genitals are down here, right? So you can't smell anything unless it's just extra foul. You can't smell the gust of potential fish or pussy unless it's a ridiculous odor. But if you're backshotting and a bitch's ass is in the air, if the ass is foul and the pussy is foul, the aroma is coming up as you're hitting. And some of us are guilty of this. There's been times I've actually hit foul pussy in my life to where I've covered up the asshole and vagina area and just still hit just to get it over with. I was like, man, just fuck it. Let's, I'm already in it. You know, I just, just covered up that area. Oh, look. Ready? Oh, warn fucking LTG. How about you warn your fucking mom when I come over there? Here, here's what I'm gonna do, look. How about what you do is you warn your mom that a fucking hot, sexy, sophisticated, Lenny Kravitz style black man is gonna come over there and give her that raw BBC. How about that? Shit, she paid me extra to go raw too. Don't think that she didn't. Any fucking ways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, who's Jacob, bros? Jacob doesn't have dreadlocks. Ha ha. You spent 1300 on fireworks and you didn't donate me a dollar? And when I mean a dollar, I mean a band? Ma, somebody time that nigga out. 1300 on fireworks, dumbass nigga. Hold on, you said that was undeserved. Hold on, Hayes. You said that was undeserved. Did you challenge my authority? Is that what you're doing? Ma, somebody time out Hayes for 300 seconds, please. <laughs> Fuck up, bitch. Sam, man, when you're black and you get famous, stay far away from coons. Just stay, stay so far away from coons. I'm telling you, man, black people, you get out of a pit, they just want to pull you back down. Want to hate on you. Not all niggas, but the majority of them. When you get paper, shit, move into a white neighborhood, let your kids go to a fucking prep-ass school, like, just get them away from that type of shit. Trust me, being a black kid that grew up to when I had to figure out the transition from private school to public school and deal with those type of dumbass niggas when I was a child, trust me, dude. I remember um, me and my sister, we went to this school called Western Avenue when we were in elementary, and... We had to catch the bus. This is when my mom couldn't afford a private school no more. We would always be, this is how, this is how my childhood was. We would be like in private school for a while, have to go back to public. My mom would find another private school, get a better job, put us back in private. We'd have to hop out from private to public, private to public, private to public. Any fucking ways. Um, that school, Western Avenue, for some reason, like, I don't know why, but the whole school bus full of niggas used to basically bully us. So we'd have to run home from school and they would just start clapping. They'd be like, they'd be like, time to get your beaten. Time to get your beaten. We gonna fuck y'all up after school when you get off the fucking bus. And I would tell my sister, I'd be like, when we get off the bus, just run so we would dead ass be when we got tired of running we would just it would be like a bunch of kids just shouting shit at us talking shit but then we just we started running 
And we did that for a very long time. And then fucking, um, I don't know. Finally, I think what happened was the icing on the cake was this girl would always bully my sister. And I told her, she was like, she's like, she's like, uh, she's like, big bro, like blah, blah, blah. She keeps trying to poke me with this needle. I said, listen, I said, after day, I said, after we get out of school today, when we get off the bus, when she tries to do something to you, sock her in her stomach. And I'm gonna just grab you and we're just gonna fucking run. We're gonna book it like we always do. When we outside, we're just gonna start running. Cause you know, we used to always be outside running and shit. And uh, so soon as she did, I said, soccer. I held the girl and my sister socked her in her stomach. And we just start running home. Now, where is this school at? I'm about to Google it. I'll tell you how far we ran. Western Avenue Elementary. All right, damn, that's crazy. It's like almost, it's eerie to see that school uh, on Google right now. I don't know what's up with my fucking Wi-Fi. But, um, so Western Avenue was off of like, it's off of 53rd. We stayed on 51st, on 51st Street. So this school is off of 51st Street West. We stayed off of 50, 51st Street West. I know it sounds like it's not a lot of blocks, but that's a, that's a long way home. So we was just running, 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 and the kids would not stop chasing us. I don't remember getting tired. So the kids would not stop chasing us, and I guess the girl that I told my sister to sock, sock in the stomach, basically, um, her big brother, he was just like, man, he's like, he told everybody, he's like, stop. He's like, why are we even fucking with them? And they was like, cause you started it. He was like, yeah, but this shit is getting old. He's like, why don't you just stop? Like they just two quiet kids. They don't do anything. And he just got tired of seeing us get bullied every day after school. And after that, the kids never fucked with us again. We told my mom about it. She shipped us off to another school and we never went back to Western Avenue. Said two years ago, wasn't long. What? Was it that long ago? Somebody banned that nigga for not understanding what a life clock is. So, um, there was this one dude. I knew him ever since I was 12, right? How we met. I'm not gonna tell you how we met, like through who. But, my sister. I tell it's funny. It's a funny story. My sister, um, we used to live in these apartments, and my sister brings brings in this uh, this little light skin girl. And uh, it's the wrong pad. And uh, I guess the little light skin girl had a brother. So I'm just sitting at the table playing with my wrestling toys. I'm playing with like my ring and like you know my Stone Cold, The Rock, and everything. And then um, I had like. I think I asked them, I would always ask kids, like, ask fellow kids, like, do you play Street Fighter? That's how I would get cool with you, like, do you play Street Fighter? He said he played Street Fighter, played Tech, and we got cool. Long story short, fast forward to we're adults. This dude, when I had my first apartment, he begged me to come over to my house and stay. He's like, yeah, my nigga, like, everybody treat me like an outcast, my nigga, blah, blah, blah. Like, I ain't got no family right now, like... Just everybody just treat me like a just a, 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 a black sheep, blah blah blah. Like, can I stay over your house for two weeks, my nigga, please? I was like, all right. I didn't even hesitate. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, yeah, just come grab your stuff and you can stay. You know, I got you know you can stay on the couch, blah blah blah. He's like, yeah, like don't even trip, my nigga. Like I got food too, so I'ma just I'ma just use my EBT and I'ma just grab me some food. Can I put it in your freezer or refrigerator? I was like, yeah, no problem. I looked at it like, yeah, my homie wants to come stay. This is cool. No problem. This definitely ain't a story from the 90s, my nigga. But, uh, <laughs> so long story short, he stayed for two weeks. I went in my closet. Forces weren't in at that point in time. I said a fuckload of Air Forces. They're in now, right? But I had a fuckload of Air Forces. Now, these Air Forces, like, I searched high and low for these colorways and everything. So, uh, 
before you left. How many pairs of shoes could you guys guess that I gave this guy? Somebody said 10. I gave him 13 pairs of shoes. Now, me, I take care of my shoes to the point where they're pristine. Don't I don't have one pair of bummy kicks. All of my shoes are pristine. I gave him 13 pairs of shoes. Not low quality shit. We talking about Air Forces, everything. Dope shit. Sent them home because he wore the same size. As me. Sent them home with 13 pairs of shoes. A fuckload of Levi's and shirts, everything. I remember one time I posted something on Facebook. His sister commented on it. And I started roasting her. So he started talking shit to me. I was like, dude, do you know who you're talking to? Like, why the fuck you... How the fuck you disrespecting me over me saying some some just typical shit to your sister? Like, working in a... Like, I guess she was working in an office. Was like, have fun working in an office. You know, some, pl like, playful shit. He's like, nigga, don't talk to my sister like that, my nigga. I was just like, wow. I said, you really gonna come at me like that, my dude? I said, after everything I did for you? I said, all right. Long story short, we fell out for a minute. We got back cool. I see him at, like... You know, Winko and shit here and there. We got cool. He was telling me about his upgrade of his life. And uh, I think it was like last year. I can't remember when. But it's Fanatic's cousin. So he commented on Fanatic's post. And I was like, damn, I haven't talked to this dude in a minute. So I DM'd him. I went to go DM him. I went to his page and this nigga removed me as a friend. I was like, what the fuck? So I damned him. I was like, I was like, damn, you removed me like that, my dog? I was like, what's good? And the dude just left my shit on red. Nigga, let me tell you something. I will never in my life, ever in my life, do anything as far as an overextension. I got more stories. That's not even half all of my stories where I do shit for people. I will never in my life overextend for another human being ever, ever. My emotions are dead. Like when I think about sensitivity with like people, it makes me sick. When I think about the, uh, the feeling of like, just like loving somebody unconditionally to the point where it's just like, ooh, like I can't do it. It's impossible for me. Just when it comes to just any type of relationship, like, I just feel gross. Like, right now, just thinking about it, like, I, I kind of want to, like, throw up a little bit. Just thinking about somebody that that loves me or something like that. You know, it just, I, I can't, I can't give that back to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, like, ruined, though, because I think I, I did it so much in my life that I, just, I can't fuck with that no more. Like, what do I think about a marriage slash contract? I mean, like I said, I'll try marriage one time, but it's going to be based off companionship. Yeah, I'll try marriage one time, but it's just going to be based off companionship. I will not be in love with whoever I'm going to marry. Um, I'll love them as a person because that's what you do, right? You're a human. You love things. I love my cats. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love certain things. I love the way... Uh, Oreo shake taste from the habit But for me to be passionately in love with somebody it's impossible for me. I Can't get that feeling again. I don't think there's I don't think there's a woman on earth That could make me feel that again. I just I can't get deep with human beings like that ever again because I Know what the world is the world is a fucked up cold place if you get to that part and once you once that, that that bliss, that fake bliss of life is really pulled away and you see what, how ugly shit really is, I don't know, me, I learned my lesson and shit. I don't care how fire a bitch is, how sexy somebody is, how authentic a friendship is. Come on, man, I'm just, it's finicky to me. That's how I look at it. You need to get me out of poverty? Well, first, you have to stop me from uh, filleting your mom nightly. First, we gotta work on that. 
Because how are you going to get me out of poverty when your mom keeps digging herself into bankruptcy because she keeps paying me monthly and nightly to fuck her relentlessly and fillet her fucking two pussy lips in between my fucking tongue and suck it like a fucking clotaco, dumbass nigga. I'm far from a nigga in poverty. You can suck my dick, though. What type of nigga streaming got this type of setup in poverty? The only thing that's poverty is your mom's fucking same draws every time I go over there. She's wearing the same pink panties. They keep clean, though. But every time I fucking take them off, it's a new hole of ripping those bitches. The same Victoria's Secret fucking setup every time I go over there. I'll post this shit on Twitter tomorrow, but... I'm gonna tell, what is up with bitches doing this shit? Hold on, as soon as this motherfucking game is over... Hold on, I got you. Blacklisted. Alright, so... What's up with these bitches doing this new pose right now, right? You win. Alright, so here's my ass, clearly. So what's up with bitches doing this in pictures? That shit where they like cuff under their cheeks. And just hold the bottom to try to prop their ass up. Like, what's up with bitches doing that shit? I'm seeing that shit all over social media now. I don't know I'm not playing this nigga again. I'm gonna ask, the, I'm gonna ask these gray skull niggas too. Nah, they're not trying to show off cellulite. How many of you guys seen chicks doing that same fucking pose? No, nigga, not the sink trick. It's where a chick literally... Dude, if my exploit wasn't working, I'd put it on screen. But how many of you dudes seen chicks doing that shit with their ass? One, ch one chick on social media does it. All the bitches want to do it. It's this girl I know personally that's a friend of my co-workers. This bitch don't have no ass. Post the picture of her going like this on Instagram. I unfollowed her after two. Post the picture of her going like this on Instagram and some short ass shorts. They do it right under what would have been ass cheeks. But if you don't got ass as a chick, you don't have that little undercut. So they go like this in the shorts and she said, looks like somebody's been eating her lunch. Soon as I seen that, I just smirked, hit the block and unblock. We, and I just made sure it was a mutual unfollow. There's too many chicks doing that. Or here's another one, look. Here's another one. Now you know a lot of bitches do this. Take the phone. Here's a chick with her phone, right? Go like this. Go like this, boom. So you can get the view. Boom. Try to get an ass angle. From a million different chicks doing the same fucking shit relentlessly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, low key men are for sure to blame because niggas keep falling for it. If it wasn't for men falling for it, it wouldn't be a problem. But niggas keep fucking falling for it. Imagine if every man in the world said, look, I'm not hitting any more likes on thirst traps. Imagine a reality check that these chicks would have, but men are some men are weak as fuck. Men mentally? We are weak. And it's almost crazy. It's like almost like men were designed to be weak to flesh. Like, think about it. The creator made titties and ass on another human being to appeal to us. Isn't that crazy? The creator was like, I'm a sculpt. A body with boobs that perk, hips to pop, and ass that cup up under.
to lure us in. It's almost like we were designed. It's almost like men were dead ass designed to simp over women and how they look physically. I really think men were. So honestly, I think, I think honestly, the deity was. I don't know, a woman being or some shit, because how come it's not vice versa? How come we can't take off our shirt and our pecs are as good as a pair of titties? Human nature is titties that look good. We see tits bounce and men, we be like, all right, ooh, that's human nature? Some skin on chest? It's not about carrying life, nigga. I don't need to know the obvious. Like, it's crazy how we, as men, we literally, and I'm saying we as men, I'm not included with you niggas. I'm saying this, you know, on the plural basis. Men, we are fucking simping over skin. We see a fat fucking ass and titties. Or a booty is that's sitting correct and be like, ooh, and we'll do anything for it. Niggas pay thousands of dollars a year over once fantasizing over some ass they got a chance to fuck and bust it in. Crazy. Look, as long as we keep still hitting those thirst traps. Simping over titties on chest, ass from the back. I'm not even gonna front boot, you know, fat ass looks good in jeans and everything in tights. I'm not even gonna front. It's been a couple times I might have took a couple of, you know, a couple of routes before in Walmart that, the, you know, that a chick took because she had a bouncing ass and I wanted to catch a glimpse for an extra three or four seconds. I'm not gonna act like I'm not human and shit, but am I weakened by cheeks? Ah. <sighs> I seen a woman in Walmart the day before yesterday with a fat, juicy ass. And she was looking at me too, checking me out. I could have hollered. But I was like, you know what? If I hollered it only because she had ass. Now, if she didn't have ass, would I have went up and said anything to her? And I mean, when I say a fat, juicy, bouncing ass gluteus maximus, I'm telling you, the ass was fat. But I withheld and I was like, you know what? You know, ultimately money's more important. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna holler at her, talk to her for a few days. You know, finesse her into coming over and banging. Only gonna wanna do back shots. And then that's then I'm gonna feel empty again after I'm done fucking, like I usually do after fornication. So Yeah. I'll see you niggas tomorrow, possibly. Stay tuned. This the nigga to be raging in Smash? Also rage when your mom promised me that gargling, late night, menthol dome. Get it? She said she was gonna suck the dick so great that it was gonna feel like my dick, like she was gargling my dick in her throat, bitch ass nigga. And get it, late night gargle, cause we all gargle mouthwash late night. Get that ass banned, bitch. You'll build up a tolerance. Like me, when I see like, if I just seen like ass right here, I wouldn't be like, damn, oh, baby, hold on, let me kill the stream. I need to hit that. Oh. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if your man is jacking off, you should only be jacking off to go to sleep. You should never be stroking your actual cock for the feeling of replacement of head or pussy. Masturbation should only be used as a sleep tool. You should not be sitting there stroking it and like, damn, I need some chop. Uh, like, why are you doing that? Use masturbation as an ejaculated form of melatonin. That's what you should use. If you're somebody that can't sleep at night, use your ejaculation at... Use your ejaculation as a form of liquid melatonin that spills out of your cock. That's what you should use it for. You should never be sitting here jacking off to porn late at night because you need sex. 
If you want to jack off the porn late at night to go to sleep, that's cool. But because you need to fill a void of hot vagina or turbo lip-topping dome, you're thinking of the fascination of a, big sh of a bitch grabbing the bottom of your dick, stroking the top while sucking and squeezing the balls, and you got to jack off to that? Ah, man, just, just wait for it. There's no reason to be jacking off. Just go to sleep. Just bust one out. Don't, don't, don't even say, ah, when you bust. Bust quietly. Here's what you do. Here's this rag. No, this isn't a bust rag. This is something because I was drinking, you know, had a drink, a uh, vitamin water from El Puerto Loco, didn't want it to put water spots on my desk. Here's what you do. You have the rag here. Do what you must do. I challenge everybody in here. Hey, Berserker, thank you for the team. I challenge every man in here to only use masturbation man, time you make that sound, I and ejaculation die. for a form of melatonin to put your ass to sleep. So all you got to do is this. You do what you do, and I challenge everybody in here to bust and not make a sound. Because if you make a sound, and if you're jacking off for anything besides a combustion of, of melatonin that's going to spill out, you're weak. You're mentally weak. So remember this. Have your rag right here on your fucking thigh. Lay back. Do what you do. Turn to the side. Wrap it up. Squeeze the tip. Clean it up. Toss it on the side of the bed. Boom, you're done. Don't even make a sound. If you make a sound after busting from jacking off, you're mentally weak. <laughs> mentally weak. Nobody should be, nobody should be stroking and be like, ah, ah. <laughs> If you feel like you have to moan, just go, <clears throat> <clears throat> Hold it in, grit your teeth, do what you gotta do. All right, so. I am pretty bad because I promised your mom some of this good pussy eating. Promised her I was gonna suck her clit so good and relentlessly have her oozing and squirting all over my fucking big ass juicy pink lips. I'm ready to start. And the pussy was so hairy, I couldn't even get past the jungle, I'm like, Pulling shit, I'm taking out pubic hair out of my teeth, and I couldn't even eat her pussy as good as I was promising the bitch that I was gonna do it. So yeah, I guess I am pretty bad at something. Get that ass band, bitch ass nigga. Removed. Hey guys, we're playing a game. Look what I'm about to do. Street Fighter Five, guys. Why would I take the earring out of my ear when your mom bought it? I told her, listen, what type of style would you want to see me perform in? When I'm fucking you, what do you want me to be reminiscent? She said, well, you are very sexy. But on top of that, you happen to be black. And you remind me of like a sexy black boy George that isn't gay. I said, what do you mean? She goes into her... You know, the top of her jewelry drawer, grabs me a George Michael earring that says 14K on it with diamonds, puts it in my ear. I'm a brand new man. I can fuck your mom whenever I want, any day of the week, any hour. Like I said, she just slips some a sleeping pill crushed up in your nighttime warm milk. And before you know it, I'm fucking and you know nothing about it. But if you did awake, you'd be curious enough to just watch us screw. You've been banned already. There's no need for me to say anything more. After these, even before these masks are done, I got even more masks coming. Nigga, what you say to me? New challenger. Get that ass band, bitch ass nigga. Diamond Jim and all. You must be out of your fucking mind if you gonna tell me I look like some Koopa monster, nigga. Don't ever disrespect me or even attempt to disrespect me like that ever in your life again, nigga. Your gym is crushed for life. Only way you get your gym back is by paying me a hundred dollars. Through Streamlabs only. 
nigga gonna say some retarded ass shit like that. Do you know what that nigga looks like? That nigga the baby is ugly as fuck. The fuck out of here. Nigga, you better go on my Instagram and take a look at that motherfucking peanut butter complexion. You gonna call me some short Hershey's ass ugly Koopa ass kids nigga. I don't get the fuck out of here, man. That's a nigga that only gets hoes because he got bread. The fuck wrong with you? That's gotta be the dumbest shit ever, nigga. How in the fuck on in any dimension would I look like an ugly ass nigga like the baby? You gotta be out of your mind, nigga. That was the stupidest thing you could have said. That was retarded. There's not a feature we even share. I don't have that nigga's nose, skin complexion, height, lips, build, facial structures, nothing, my nigga. Are you fucking retarded? You might as well say all niggas look alike. That was just, it was just off the strength of stupidity. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Man, get rid of these niggas, bro. <laughs> Nigga, if the baby was tall, we just do dead ass. I don't look like a, a like a monster in the face. That nigga looks like a monster. My features are chiseled like if the deity just got his his etching and went chip 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 boom boom. Like nigga, don't nobody look like me. Period. I'm a one of a fucking kind. I'm not one of these normal looking ass niggas with shit like this. And I've been kind of talking about it before. Get out of here. Am I a communist? Well, I guess you could kind of say I am. Um, because the way I take charge of your mom's fucking hot, sweltering vagina, I guess you could say that I dictate over that pussy. Get that ass banned. Somebody get that nigga out of my room, please. Oh my fuck! Oh my god, this game just breeds scrubs! What is this dude doing? Listen, first off, I see this ugly ass nigga still with his old school stream. Bootleg, burnt ass camera, whack ass mic. Listen, my nigga, I got more clout than you and I never won no tournament. You are a garbage ass has been player, my nigga. I don't have to win no tournaments. Me playing you period on my stream probably gave your garbage ass stream any type of goddamn play or clout period. You are a whack ass has been nobody, nigga. You don't get no money in life. You's a basic black ass nigga. You look like the motherfucker that plays on Fear the Walking Dead. Except for you don't have adequate skills outside of video games, you dumbass nigga. How the fuck you gonna be known for geef and using a show though? Jab, jab, hurricane kick, you bald ass receipt nigga. Let go of your hairline, my nigga, it's gone. If you're not gonna roll gain it, let it go. Stop asking for a shape up way the fuck back here. Your goddamn hairline should not be literally in the same goddamn vicinity as your goddamn ears, you dumb black ass nigga. Go bald and rock your beard. You got 300,000, but what, nigga? What are you in life, nigga? You got 300K online, but what are you in life, bitch? Dumbass, nigga. I shouldn't even be in your mouth. Soft talking ass, bitch. That nigga Snake Eyes the clown, bro. Nigga talking about me in a stream, nigga. You know I'm a rage quitter and you sorry, fucking low, under, fucking achieving ass, bitch. You know I'm a fucking rage quit. Nigga, I got eight different tags. Nigga, that's what I do. I entertain, bitch. I'm not sitting over here trying to rack up CFN points. Nigga, I'm trying to rack up money, bitch. Do you understand that, black man? You crispy black ass nigga? I don't know why niggas be speaking on me for, man. Nigga, don't say shit about me. Nigga, I don't have to win to get niggas to watch my stream. You do. 
I can rage quit, do whatever the fuck I want, look up old 90s ads, and have a have lit niggas in here. You should feel a goddamn shame of yourself. Isn't this nigga blue checked on Twitter? Nigga, they can clip this shit all they want. Isn't this nigga blue checked on Twitter? Probably since I was talking about him, people went to his fucking stream. Oh, fucking lame ass and life ass nigga. The fuck out of here, bitch. Nigga wearing 501s, a T, and a Red Bull hat for three years straight. Nigga, you get no money. You're not, you're not successful. You're a has been bum of, bum ass, bum ass of a nigga. I'm light years ahead of you in life, you sorry ass bitch. And I don't win no tournaments and don't need to. A way more known personality in general, nigga. You wish you had my shit. Bitch, stop speaking on me, nigga. Fake ass FGC, nigga. Niggas a clown, man. I'm tired of these faggot ass FGC niggas speaking up on me, man. Y'all niggas are nobodies, man. How long has it been since you won something, nigga? You get no kind of money. What do you do for a living? Where are you, nigga? In somebody else's place? We know that's not your own shit. You're a bum, nigga. Nigga, blue check with 30 something. You, nigga, you had 30k followers for years, nigga. You're a nobody. The fuck about no goddamn snake eyes, nigga? That nigga's a bitch, man. That nigga don't want no types of smoke, trust me. These lame ass niggas see me at tournaments and don't say shit. That nigga could shut the fuck up with anything IRL, nigga. You're a nobody. You're a bum, nigga. I know you watching my stream. You hear that, nigga? You're a bum. You don't win no money, nigga. You're a fucking bum. Some 300,000 IRL, you sorry ass nigga. You are not an innovator, you nigga. You are nobody. Don't nobody want to be Snake Eyes. Ain't nothing cool about being Snake Eyes. I don't even know why the fuck Red Bull had you sponsored for so long. Y'all niggas knew I was gonna lose to some scrub. Of course he's still talking shit because he knows he's a fucking bum. That nigga's a fucking bum. What's that nigga's stream setup look like? What's he streaming off of? What type of what type of quality and, and shit does he have on his stream? This nigga's a bum. That's all he is is a warlord player. You are nobody, nigga. Do you get money, nigga? Do you take care of yourself? Are you on your own, nigga? What cars you with? You sorry ass nigga. You underachieving ass black nigga. Bitch. Oh, grip cuz. Oh, lame ass nigga. All this motherfucker care about is street fighter. You are a fucking bum, nigga. I will tell you that shit to your face. You are a fucking bum. Cuz, man, I'm tired of these fake ass niggas talking about me. Every time I match up with one of these bitch ass niggas online, they always got something to say. Always. Every single time, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know I'm a rage quit, nigga. You know my MO. Period. Don't speak on me, nigga. Because you want clout. This nigga desperate for clout. That nigga's a bum. How long you been in the FGC, nigga? You haven't not done nothing captivating. Nigga, your golden eras are over, nigga. Find another avenue. I know these niggas is mad. They probably mad that I just keep coming from the trenches. You know what I'm saying? I just keep coming from the motherfucking trenches and keep doing this shit. And you can't figure out how. 300,000 league points. Nigga, stream Mario Brothers or something. Maybe you could bring a different audience. You niggas ever thought about that? Nigga, just hop online and play Street Fighter. These niggas get on my nerves, man. These fake ass, infinite high school ass FGC niggas. Yeah, I'm in my feelings because your mom promised that she was gonna call me back. We had a great sexual session. Your mom promised that she was gonna call me back. 
after she gave me the most glurping turbo top dome ever. The bitch never called me back, so I'm in my motherfucking feelings right now, bitch, nigga. Get that ass banned. Nigga, I am a hustler. I'm not a nigga sitting on my ass getting 300,000 league points. See all these tags, nigga? These, these, these tags? See all these tags? Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. I'm not remembering. Oh, let me, let me blacklist this ugly black ass nigga slink eyes on every last tag. Well, I'm sorry, when you sit online 24-7 doing nothing, getting league points all day, yeah, we're gonna match up if I don't blacklist you. Fucking clown-ass FGC motherfucker. Niggas are clowns IRM. It's only a handful of motherfuckers that actually have some sort of life outside of this shit. These niggas, they thrive off of it. Without the FGC, these niggas are nobody. If this nigga Snake Eyes walked through a mall, or anything, who the fuck's, like, who wants, nigga, every tournament I went to, what nobody asking this nigga for autographs, picks, nothing. Nigga, when I'm, when I'm walking in a venue, niggas treat me like a celeb. Picks, autographs, can you sign my fucking arcade stick? This nigga sitting there with his arms crossed with a Red Bull hat, standing in the crowd, another FGC high school, infinite high school niggas. Don't nobody give a fuck about you, nigga. Maybe if you win some tournaments, because that's all you can do. You're not captivating. You don't have personality. You're putting on a fake accent for niggas. You're a joke, nigga. You keep character hopping. You're not even staying loyal to your shit. You playing with a fucking show, though, because it's easier for you to get the W's. Tired of these clowns, man. I don't give a fuck about going to these whack-ass tournaments, either. These niggas are bitches, bro. Nigga, if you think, if you think for once, I don't even need to mention that. It's cool. We get it. Nigga, I started off. These niggas, look. These niggas let me start off with a camcorder recording my screen. Remember, I used to watch all of these clown ass niggas play Street Fighter 4. Snake Eyes all up when he was in a prime. These lame ass, bum ass niggas allowed me to come from this bitch with a camcorder. Spam all my shit to niggas in the FGC. Nigga, how the fuck I end up with more clout, more notoriety, higher stream numbers, everything than you? I could play Mario Brothers and Mega Man and trample your stream numbers. Nigga, you are a bum. You are not captivating. You're not an innovator. You're not a hustler. You are a poor excuse of a nigga. No matter how high you make your voice size, nigga, you are a poor excuse of a nigga. You do not know how to hustle. I'm surprised Red Bull didn't drop your ass earlier. You just kept losing every time you was on stream. You kept losing. For some reason, they just kept tossing the Red Bulls in your hand because they felt sorry for you. How are you getting money, nigga? What do you do, live with a bitch? I would have never said nothing, but I go to his stream and the dude's talking about me like a straight up bitch. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, I was going to play you gently. Quit. Call it a day, boom, blacklist. Oh yeah. Is he running a is he running a game on a stream right now? Is he unblacklisting everybody after the stream over? Nigga, I don't do things for fucking I don't do shit for parodies, you dumb fuck. Nigga, none of this shit is playing, you fucking retard. I don't know what view botting is, so how about I go ahead and view your mom as I bot this dick downer. Because the way I'm stroking her, my dick is moving in a shotgun motion. That's something only a robot can do. She says, go faster. I have all stamina. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just shotgunning that pussy all night. That's something only a robot can do, bitch ass nigga. We don't know what view botting is. Why the fuck would I need the view bot if niggas didn't want to watch me? Oh well, it ain't that fucking important, nigga. All right, so for those of you guys, I'm going to say it again. For those of you guys that don't know what a boomerang is, this is what a boomerang is. When it moves over and over again, see them thighs, you probably think this bitch got ass or thick. Now, I know who this bitch is, never fucked with her or nothing like that. 
But I know she is through mutual this and that, hat convos here and there. And she puts up the boomerang. Now, if you didn't know who she was, you'd be like, damn, this bitch is really thick and probably got ass and a fat pussy. But I'm telling you, she got one of the most GMO turkey legged oval but circular but oval asses with the most widest boxy semi round if you looked at the perfect angle you would think maybe for a split second she had ass but then you would see it and be like oh most let herself go physique wearing tights that you ever seen because look, every bitch's excuse is this. How many of you niggas seen bitches that got the same excuse? I'm a foodie. Nigga, when a bitch says she a foodie, she already making an excuse for, for fat, for being fat. Anytime a bitch put foodie in her bio, she insecure about being fat, but she too lazy to do something about it. So she labels herself a foodie or a bitch that loves food to try to go ahead and scapegoat for being overweight for what she is. I'm telling you, man, no human being could pull any shit over me. Anytime a bitch claims to love food, I'm telling you, you can't be in my shit with Red Bar. Anytime a bitch claims to love food, they're just making an excuse for being overweight. And I like thick ass bitches too. But there's a borderline. If your shoes start spilling over a little bit to where you're walking on the sides of them. I bitch. Yeah, like if you fat, don't even stop posting memes and all that type of shit to try to make yourself feel better about being fat, nigga. Just don't say nothing about it. We could clearly see that you fucking big. What do I provide that's actually worth paying for? Well, that's an easy question. I mean, technically, all you got to do is walk, what, about 15 feet to the back of your house where your mom's master bedroom is. Knock on the door first, because I promise you, if you go in that bitch without knocking, you're going to see all types of toys and everything set up that she pays me to use on her. But basically, um, I think you should ask your mom what I'm worth. Because she pays me very well for my fucking services. Two condoms always. I'm not going to explain to you what I do. Mods, shots out to you. That's got to be one of the corniest names on the planet. Corey Bale. It just sounds cuckish. Just sounds like you just bend over with your face in a pillow while some girl or man just eats your fucking spreaded asshole. Kind of sk squeaky, kookily, corny, whack-ass name is that. Corey Bell. Fucking whack-ass trash cuck. Get the fuck off this game, bitch. Didn't it pass your fucking bedtime? It's called being disappointed. Money, power, women, sex. Mm, I don't really give a fuck about the women and sex. Just let me get the money and power. Everything else is just... I can literally snap my fingers and get top. Hey, Chrono Lucas, thank you for the 1999. I'd rather prefer a head than pussy anyway. So I'd rather a woman just come through and suck me up. Because then if we fuck, I gotta have your juices all over my D. I gotta stroke. I gotta back shot. Pussy might be trash. Just let me get the top. We don't got to get as messy. Shit, if you don't want to swallow, there's a rag right here. You, you know, we could just grab the BBC and just volcano it. Chrono yeah. Lucas, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Then I got to then your pussy might be foul. Then I might have a, like, I'm scared when I, like, you know, when I'm about to fuck with a bitch, I'm terrified because what if the pussy stinks? You know what I'm saying? I've already had too many, you know, experiences where the badge was foul. 
So it's just like, I'd rather not. Like, I don't want no bitch riding on my dick with her juices all over it and everything. Just give me top and call it a day and let's, let's end it. I don't want to fuck. I've had plenty, yeah. Like, you know how it feels to just have a bitch just riding and pouncing on you and you just smell like this tilapia odor? I mean, my version of pleasing women is I do a service and a job. I don't consider um, sex something that's just for me. Like, my whole point is to make a woman bust extreme orgasms and everything so that they never forget about me. It's just to implant a mental thing in their head so that I'll always be somebody that's in the back of their fucking head. I call it performing. That's what I consider sex. Is it's a performance. I'm going to hit all deep spots, give you dick that's never been in, you know, in dimensions of your vagina. Depending on who you are, might suck your clit and slobber it up real good. Have you busting, oozing nuts, squirting? What bitch is going to forget that? And then, um, yeah, I'm just performing. When I'm done, it just means nothing to me. Sex don't mean shit to me. But you know what does mean something to me? Streaming in this daylight outside. I got a dip. Y'all niggas have a good one. Nigga, Urian is not a top. Nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. Urian ain't no fucking top top tier character. If Urian's top tier, then I had your grandma, mom, and sister bent over on the bed for me to sample which pussy was hotter. But then they turned around and both glurped and gargled at least three to five times on my dick so I could see who had the better motherfucking goddamn hit. That's how far fetched it is to say Urian is a fucking top one character. I think Gil's a low tier. What's my IQ? I think it's about... I'm gonna say it's about 180. Cause that's what I did when I laid on the bed. And I felt your mom's hot breath start to suck and slurp and globble and glurp all on the head of my deck. Cause my head did a 180, the head was so fucking fire. It was like, Ugh. it just kept spinning over and over again. That's the fuck my IQ is. Slurp, glurp, and globber, baby. You ever, you ever get like top so crucial, you just like, it just, your voice box disappears. You're like, oh. Oh, like you just lose whatever deepness is in your voice and it just sounds like you just got possessed like a banshee or something you're like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Round> one. <Fight>. <laughs> <laughs> he said you never make that sound <laughs> i'm gonna be on front i faked some dome before I was like, oh, 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 knowing that shit was trash. Nah, I, I didn't make no noises like that, but I was like, oh, 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 oh. just trying to act like that shit was fire, knowing it was trash. Man, some of the worst top that I've ever had. I think I was like 17. And my homie he was fucking with this with this white chick, and she said she had a friend that was willing to suck me up, and that was the whole plan for me to go over there is to get top. And you know, went over there. We were both in like a dark room. He was getting top way on that side of the room and pitch black. I was getting top over here, and the other homie was like, it was a third homie. He was in a room just kicking it, like I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But I'm just sitting here, just faking top. But 
I'm getting top and I'm thinking of every single person I fucked and got hit from in my life in order to bust. I had to curl my toes and concentrate to bust. I was just like, oh. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I faked hit so many times in my life, it's not even funny. I don't know why chicks think that they're the only ones that can fake orgasms. We could do it too. We just we could actually bust and not even be good, but we could just fake it. It was so hard. I had to clench my toes and imagine like chicks riding me, me back shot and getting top. I had to imagine everything to bust. Was she cute? Oh, there's just some basic ass Becky. Exactly. I stayed I stayed faking it, man. I faked so many top games, so many I usually when I fuck I fake sex. I'll be like, oh Fuck, this pussy is so good. No, and good and damn well in my head, I'm like, man, let me just go ahead and give you a buzz so I can call it a day. There's like no pussy I slide in where I'm like, oh. Or I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> man, if you guys, man, I hope you guys aren't in here faking that shit. You just slide in like, oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on, it's too far. Ah. I got to stop. Damn, what type of nigga are you? Any female teachers? I don't have no fire teachers that I would have liked to fuck growing up. They were all like big ass black bitches that loved fried chicken. And I kid you not, I had this one teacher when I was in, what was I, fourth grade. Oh my God, I couldn't, I just couldn't stand this bitch. She was this big, tall, light skinned lady. And this bitch was addicted to fried chicken. I, I'm telling you. When I say addicted to fried chicken, I'm telling you, she was addicted to fried chicken. Now, let me tell you guys a little quick story real quick. So, I was in, when did I go to this fucking school? I went to the school in third grade. This is when I first came out of private school. Um, and I was really, like, out of private school. My mom was like, you know what, you guys just gonna have to go to public now. So, the rest of my third grade year, first half was in private school, um... The rest of it was fucking in public school. Like I always said, my mom would pull us out of out of private, put us in public, put us back in private, you know, put us back in uh, public, whatever the fuck I just said. Man, those are some good times, too, when I think about it. Very nostalgic. But um, so I go to this new school that's like off of 74th Street. I think it's like 74th Street, 74th Street Western or some shit like that in L.A. It's called LaSalle Elementary. Mind you, you know, I go there the first day I go. You know, I'm the tallest kid in school, blah, blah, blah. First day I go, niggas already starting shit. I go in. I fall for the biggest trick in the book. I know this sounds like a motherfucking, you know, like a fake story or some shit on a cartoon. But th no, this shit really happened. So. One of the dudes said, oh, here, have a seat. I'm going to pull out a chair for you. If I suck, you wouldn't be watching me. But you could suck my motherfucking virtual dick, though. Fat ass nigga. I see your profile picture. Worthless cuck. Anyways, let's get back to what the fuck I was talking about. So I fall for the old chair trick. I'm gonna sit down. They pull the chair from under me. I fall. Boom. Everybody laughing at me, pointing. Ah, look at this tall ass nigga on the floor. Blah, blah, blah. Mind you, I'm only in third grade. So I get up. I was like, all right. It was this nerd dude. I still remember this dude. He had glasses. His name was Ernest. How the fuck do I remember a nigga from third grade named Ernest? Because I don't forget no fucking face and names. So this nigga was pointing at me and laughing. And so he was close. I got the chair and I swung it at this nigga and hit him. And he was like, eh, 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 
give me what the fuck it can. Blah, blah, blah. After that, the whole class hated me. I had to fight the whole class, nigga, for at least a whole month. I was walking through the door. They was all taking turns, socking me in the back, everything. And then I got, you know, I got tired of it. I was a quiet kid. Niggas thought something was wrong with me. I was a quiet kid. I wasn't always outspoken and shit like that. You know, everybody, even a, even a bitch that was a tomboy was socking me in the back. I was like, all right, all right, fuck it. So I start punching these niggas back. I'm sitting at, at school lunches by myself, no friends in the class, everything. You know, for a kid, that's very detrimental. You know, if I had this brain when I was in third grade, I wouldn't give a fuck about kicking it with nobody. I don't give a fuck about no other human being being around me to make myself content. But when you're a kid, that's very detrimental. If you have one best friend and that nigga doesn't come to school, goddamn, you're going to be like a fucking goddamn, a fry left in a McDonald's box all day. Like, you're going to be a lonely ass motherfucker. Nigga, shut your bitch ass up. If I was sensitive, I wouldn't be streaming no more. Cut. Suck my dick, bitch. You sensitive. That's why you got upset about me banning somebody. Now suck my dick virtually and listen to this fucking story, bitch, after I ban you. Because we know you will, cuck. Anyways, so basically, you know, I had to end up catching a couple of fades, everything like that. It was towards the end of the year, so I only had to spend like a couple of months in that class. So I went to fourth grade, and it was this fucking teacher. And I'll never forget her name, Miss Mercier. Big, tall, light-skinned black bitch. For some reason, she just did not like me for shit, like... She was always yelling at me, this and that. And this bitch always had a fresh, and when I mean a fresh, box of fried chicken on her desk every fucking day. She ate so much fried chicken to the point where we had a substitute teacher for a whole month because the bitch had kidney stones and all types of shit from eating fried chicken every day. I'd be shocked if she was still alive because her health was very bad. So I'll never forget, my nigga. She used to do the coldest shit. So her son was in the same school as us. But you could tell he was like slightly special ed. This nigga had a fucking head in the shape of a box. Like literally his head was like an actual box. His head was in the shape of a fucking a Rubik's Cube and he had a ducktail. How many of you niggas in here know what a ducktail is? I don't know. I think it was Church's Chicken if I can remember. Niggas got some nerve, nigga. If I was sensitive, you know the type of... Nigga, I would have been murdered myself. Y'all niggas are stupid. Think about the ide ideology of what you're saying and the logic. Before you try to dare call a nigga like myself sensitive or insecure or anything. I'm the most... I'm the most godlike nigga, period. Can't nobody handle the type of hate and scrutiny I deal with, bitch-ass niggas. I'm nothing but somebody that absorbs it, and I never spit it out. I suck that shit in and use it as power, nigga. You motherfuckers would be crying and ready to kill some, kill yourself or kill somebody if you were in my shoes. The fuck? Realize who the fuck you speaking to, nigga. That's why you're here. Any fucking ways. So her son, you could tell he was like slightly special ed, but I didn't really know because I was a kid. But when I look back on it as an adult, I best, basically just understood what was up. So she had a party. And she made. I think it was maybe like. Two of us in a class, and I happened to be one of them. Nigga, I never got lucky with shit in life, period. I never won no drawings, never got the candy in class, none of that shit. Anything I got is because I put myself in that position. So, she had a party, nigga. When I, when I say only two of us in the class, and it was a new student, and it was me. She let this nigga swing a pinata out there in the yard, knock out all the candy, right? Now we're kids. I'm a third I'm a hold on, I'm a fourth grader. We're kids. She let this nigga swing, hit the pinata, bust out all these Snickers, Twix, uh what's what what's the other fucking candy? Uh sweet tarts, Jolly Ranchers, you know. A kid's dream. I'm seeing nothing but colors and, and candy. And I go to grab for I go to grab from some of the candy, and she says, she says, you got you niggas know my real name. I don't even say it. She was like, what are you doing? She's like, you don't know my son. She's like, put that candy back down. I was like, I was thinking in my head like, what? Like, the candy is out here. You're telling me that I can't have none of the candy? Nigga, I even tried to grab a Tootsie Roll. It's funny somebody mentioned the Tootsie Roll. Hey, Chrono Lucas, thank you for the 30. Hold on. 
Much appreciated. Pay for the cam. All right. Jersey's on sale too, guys. Jersey's available for pre-order. If you don't know what it looks like, boom. If you just seen it on pics, here you go. Voila Magic, get your pre-orders in tonight. Let's make that order. Number jump up to 42, so let's get it. 10 tonight, please. So I try to grab for the Tootsie Roll after she told me. She said, didn't I tell you not to touch none of my son's candy? You don't know him. And it's funny, I still remember this shit. And I was just like, damn, I'm thinking about my head like, why the fuck would you have your son swinging a pinata and none of us can, only two of us can't get the candy and I'm one of the only two that can't get the fucking candy. So long story short, this is how, this, and this is what really fucked this bitch up too. So in fourth grade, I started to make little friends, right? I, it was different. I went to a different class. I wasn't the new student anymore or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure your mom's gonna get it too by the time I'm done stroking her so deep, I'm gonna give her fucking pancreatic, nigga. Suck my dick, bitch. Anyways, but um, so this is how I knew she was a fucked up bitch. I used to have this friend named Anton. Um, I had this friend named Anton, and he would always try to teach me backflips. You know, boom, I. Long story short, he would complain that his stomach was hurting every day in class for like two weeks straight. He'd be like, Miss Mercier, my stomach hurts. Can I go use the bathroom? Can I go use the bathroom? And she got tired of him asking. She's like, yeah, go use the bathroom then. Why do you keep asking me to use the bathroom? Yelling at this kid every time he wanted to use the bathroom. Let's fast forward to like after a month. This was a month of her yelling at this dude because he had diarrhea over and over and over again. We all come into class. This bitch is sitting at the table crying her eyes out. She like just crying with her fried chicken right there. Whatever the fuck she had to drink. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Kool-Aid. She's crying her eyes out and everything like that. Just bawling. Dude, all right, get out of here, nigga. So. She tells us. She said, guys, she was like, Anton passed away. And the whole class just started weeping because this dude died. Like he died in the fucking fourth grade of diabetes. And I bet you that shit fucked her up for life because she used to yell at this kid over and over and over and over again. And this nigga, he ended up dying off diabetes. And she was wondering why in the fuck this kid kept asking to use the bathroom because the nigga had type two. So that means his parents was probably feeding him Kool-Aid, Totinos, whatever the fuck was out. All types of fruit snacks, gushers, all types of shit. So after that, it just completely fucked this bitch up. She was never the same. I don't even know why I told that story, but yeah. Nobody knew because he probably had ghetto parents. Nigga, the transition from private school in LA to public school was completely different. But yeah, guess they didn't know he had type 2. And shit, everything, you know, his organs gave out. Of course she was overweight. She was fat than a motherfucker. Operation of pop. All right, Jonathan Leggett with a 50? Hey, think about it. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. So. Fight story. The fight story, right? So I was a freshman in high school. Hold on, I was a sophomore. Yeah, the teacher was notorious for not letting kids use the restroom at the shit, and the bitch didn't let me go up and let you shit it inside a glove. Damn. All right, so basically, I'm looking good today. Oh, thank you. It's haircut time already. But yeah, appreciate it. Um, so fight story. So I don't know. I was never like respected amongst blacks like that because I was always like different. You know, I was. I don't know what you can call me like. A geek trying to be cool. I, w I can't say I was a nerd because I wasn't like him or shit like that. Right? But I was like stuck in the metal, you know, beats. And I felt like I had to impress other blacks. It does cost thirty to cut on my can. Those are my rules. Um, so long story short, there was this girl that I thought was very attractive. I thought she was the finest chick in school. And 
I knew that I had no chance of fucking with her. Let's see, what was my attire like? I was wearing like, you know those Chinese stores that have like jeans and white tees and shit like that? You know, your typical like swap meet fucking Asian store where you go pick up shit like that. Misfit, yeah, there we go. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know my identity back then. So, long story short, I knew I was a good looking dude or whatever, but I still couldn't get like bitches like that. But there was this girl, I'll never forget her name is Jennifer. Of course, you know, she still look, I'm not gonna front, she still look good to this day. Um, matter of fact, she's actually one of the only females I know from back when we were kids that actually is still sexy enough to get banged. No, she wasn't white, she was black and Mexican. Her mom, her dad was black and her mom was Mexican. So, everybody like, man, Jenny is fine as fuck, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, man, I used to, I don't know, I used to just be like, man, she's like the sexiest girl I've ever seen, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's so fucking fine, this and that. I could tell you another story about her, but that's going to cost another 50. But, uh, so this is, this is about the fight story. So, we were already together, everything like that. Everybody was hating on me. When, I, when we got together, everybody was hating on me. When I'm telling you all the black people hated me, man, how the fuck that nigga get with her, blah, 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 that nigga square, da, da, da. That nigga don't be wearing J's. Like, that nigga ain't got no fits. That nigga ain't geared up. Blah, blah, blah. I can't believe that nigga got with her, whatever. And then you'd have some niggas that would fake the funk and be like, damn, my nigga, I see you got with Jenny. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I see you, my nigga. Blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, all right, cool, this and that. So, that's when I had the biggest fucking haters. I went from being, like, unknown to somebody that got the, the fire, the most fire girl in the school. Still top, still top five, one of the fireest chicks I ever had. Now, every day I was getting mad, dog. We used to kick it in front of like a lunchroom. We used to kick it in front of like the cafeteria. The cool niggas wouldn't go in the cafeteria. You buy your shit at the window. If you went in the cafeteria, you was considered, you know, you was considered just like what ASAP Dudu said at L7. You was considered a square, blah, blah, blah. If you went in the cafeteria, if you didn't buy your lunch, niggas was clowning you. So... We used to always stand outside and be tonguing it up crazy to the point where, like, the duty guards would be like, hey, 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 you guys doing too much. There's not another LTG streamer, nigga. That's me. That's somebody ripping my stream right now and sucking my cock. Virtually only. So it was this nigga I'll never forget. He looked like Kodak Black. It was this dude that looked just like Kodak Black. That's not 70s kid shit, dumbass nigga. The fuck out of here, bitch. That's not even close to shit. You don't know my demographics, kill yourself. Anyways, so basically we was tonguing it up every day outside of class. Outside the class, outside the lunchroom, tonguing it up. I'm like grabbing her, squeezing on her ass. We're just doing the most. A lot of PDA. I don't even do PDA no more because I don't even like kissing or any of that shit anymore. Period. I don't like hugging and kissing. It just made me want to throw up just thinking about it. So anyways, um... Shouts out to my mods. I'm going to have to go green on you niggas in a minute. So, long story short, it was this dude looked like Kodak Black. Dark ass nigga with Zulu knot things all over his head. I'll never forget. Mad dogging me over and over and over again. A big shout out to my mods. He would just start mad dogging me over and over and over again. Mad dogging, mad dogging. And one day, he was like, nigga, what the fuck you looking at, homie? And I was just like, you looking at me, blah, blah, blah. He's like, ah, oh. he's like, all right, nigga, catch that fade, though. I was like, all right, bitch ass nigga. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I had to bark back. So, <laughs> all right, hold up, hold up. <laughs> My mods. Now, I didn't want to fight this dude or whatever. I wasn't as, I wasn't vibrant like that back then. Like, yeah, I wasn't like afraid of nobody, but I wasn't really about that confrontational shit. So the whole time we walk into the back, I'm like, man, everybody's like, come come watch me beat this fake ass thug's ass. Blah, blah, blah. I'm about to knock this fake thug out. This and that. He's like, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. We can square off right here. I was like, nah, let's go to the handball courts. So all these black people following us. All these black people following us, everything like that. We go to the we go to the handball courts. My girl's like, nah, just babe, like, don't do it. You know how they do, typical shit. Don't do it. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. I was like, nah, fuck that. So he starts squaring off like this. You know how niggas that can't fight always squaring off like this. Now, I know everybody in here that's black. You've seen a nigga square off like this. And if you're not black, you've seen a nigga square off like this on video. Going like that. 
So, <laughs> I'm just in my regular stance. I'm like, you know, just ready to go. And I'm, the fight wasn't even that long. The fight wasn't even that long. So I remember dude swinging at me. I remember he, this dude threw a big ass haymaker. He comes back. Whew. I didn't duck. I went back like this and I caught him with a left. And this dude just spent around and fell. Everybody was like, oh shit, I didn't even know this nigga had hands. Oh shit. Everybody like flipping out, going crazy. They didn't even know I could fight anything. Flipping out, going nuts. Then this dude grabs me, like pushes me against the handball court, grabs my head, start kind of hit me in my head. And I'm like uppercutting this dude over and over again. Then that's when everybody started breaking this shit up. But I remember I busted his shit too. Hey, Mercado, thank you for the 10. I'm telling you, all the black people thought I was a square. Yeah, you know, he threw out, he threw out a fucking hook that was coming out at like 50 frames. So... I mean, while he was caught in his recovery, he would basically, if you throw a punch that's that looping and you, and you don't have speed, I could just be like, all right, I can counter you easily. So he threw that shit. By the time I backed up, I could still come in for a cold one. I could throw a hook and still have all day. Cause if he throw out a 60 frame, a 60 frame hook, by the time you get to me, boom, I, I can counter with a hook easily. A jab would have been better, but I didn't know frame data like that at all back then. So. And yeah, IRL frame data does exist. So all they did was they broke us up. They broke it up, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't even that long. They, they broke it up, blah, blah, blah. After that, I got hella respect from niggas. They was talking about, yeah, we about to jump this nigga after school, blah, blah, blah. And then that's when I kind of just got a little bit popular in my school because I happened to fight. You know, when you fight, niggas respect you and shit like that. But yeah, that's the fight story. Basically, this nigga wanted to catch my fade because I had the sexiest bitch in school. That's basically all it was. Nigga, IRL frame data does exist. If you're that in tune to it. He decided to rat or... You, oh, he said Zach blackmailed Ally. Made him throw matches on his placement cause, so he could do better. Ally didn't. Zach came out with a relationship. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a fruit roll-up. That's crazy. So basically, he, he sacrificed... He sacrificed... His adolescent ass to be blown open, both cheeks spread it, all to throw some smash matches? And Ally took the bait over hot adolescent male cheeks? Oh, I thought he was a lot smarter than that. Damn, that was actually smarter, Zach, though. He said, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice my ass for the sake of me placing. Damn, that's like the ultimate version of... Of like trying to get clout. Damn. This man literally put his, his ass on the line. Wow. That's crazy. This dude blackmailed him with. He gave him some ass and blackmailed him about it. That is nuts. I've never heard something so crazy in my life. Like from a guy. Like you know chicks do that all the time. Like shit happened to R. Kelly. Bill Cosby. All that. They stopped. You know they stopped paying these bitches. And. Now all of a sudden they raped him. But damn, to do it over some smash matches? That's crazy. This man said, you know what? I want to win my matches. And he was like, you know what? Here's, here's what he did. Now let's just say this is metaphorically speaking. This isn't about Zach or Ally. Let's just have a little bit of uh let's act like these are two totally different people, right? This is neither one of those guys. He's like, hmm, I do place a lot, but I want to, it's just not enough. Like, I want to be known as one of the greatest Smash players, and I want to be beating Ally while doing it. Oh, you know, he started to befriend Ally, you know, shit like that. Probably caught him in the back. My bad, this isn't about Ally or Zach, my bad. You know, he probably befriended him. Probably caught him in the back, vulnerable, getting a soda or something like that. Caught him at a tournament at a vending machine. You know, caught him getting a soda and a Twix. He's like, you know what? I have a proposition for you. What proposition is that? I want you to drop your pants right now. What do you mean you want me to drop my pants? You know I have a girlfriend. 
I mean, she gives you blowjobs, but have you had one of these kind of blowjobs before? Oh my god, like, why are you doing this to me right now? Like, I just came to get a soda and a Twix. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> he was like... <clears throat> Why are you doing this to me right now? Like, I just came back here to get a soda and a Twix. Like, my girlfriend's out there waiting on me. Hold on a second. You've never had... Oh, let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever had a blowjob before? I mean, of course I've had a blowjob. Like, why are you asking me this question for? I want you to experience my blowjob. And then for some reason, he just magically... He just magically goes like this. Hold on, where's this straw? So, you see, he just magically goes... <laughs> And just pulls a blow pop out magically out of his mouth. Like, now you don't know where this blow pop came from, now did you? Now imagine what I can do to your cock. <laughs> blow pop disappears. Pushes him against the soda machine, and he's just like, "Fuck! What are you doing? Like, stop! Like, stop! I only got like 60 seconds. You know what? Fuck it! I got like two minutes. Hurry up! Like, fuck!" I only got like five minutes. Uh, oh. oh, shit. All right, fuck it, turn over. Then from that point on. <laughs> that point on, he just turned them over. Just spread it both ass cheeks. Said, fuck it. I mean, uh, stared at it for a second. He's seen a couple of like little, he's seen like some hair on the asshole and a couple little dookie turds. Cause you know, most people don't clean their ass correctly. But he just moved it to the side, wiped it with his jacket. And, said, uh, 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 uh. and he basically just kept spreading and busting his cheeks open to the point where he got hooked on his cheeks. And then, oh boy pulled out his magic wand and said, ha, huh. now, now that you've had a sample, you are going to throw matches. If you don't throw my matches, I'm going to let everybody know that you fucked me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I never asked how old you were. <laughs> that was the trick, now wasn't it? <laughs> You never knew how old I was, but you still decided to spread my cheeks open and fuck, now didn't you? I didn't even clean my ass properly that day, but you still fucked. <laughs> now, I want you to throw my matches. When I play you, I want to win by <laughs> two stocks. I'm going to save some of your humility. I want to win by two stocks. If I don't win by two stocks, I'm letting everybody know how I glurped and gargled your cock. And after that, I'm going to let everybody know you fucked me. So we're going to match up in the brackets. And, um, tonight, throw your matches or it's over for you. Bro, I'm not fucking throwing my fucking matches. Like, what the fuck? This guy's gotta be fucking joking. Like, he clearly gave me consented ass and consented head. I'm not throwing my fucking matches. Boom, boom, plays. Bodies everybody. Boom, fucking hell yeah. Three stocking everybody. Old boy sits down next to him. He twirls his wand. In his face. You know what to do. He says, the fuck? I'm not throwing my fucking matches. Ends up three stocking him. Oh boy gets up. Whispers in his ear. Everybody thinks he's saying good games. He whispers in his ear. Didn't I tell you to fucking throw those fucking matches? Like what the fuck? I didn't think you were fucking serious about this. I thought that maybe like. I think you're, you're not fucking serious right now right? Like we have other tournaments we could. I told you that I wanted to fucking win this tournament. Now didn't I? 
I told you I wanted to win by two fucking stocks, and you sat there and you fucking three-stocked me on stream. And I told you I wanted to win by two fucking stocks and body your ass on stream so that I could get more clout, more Twitter followers, and that my fucking stock can rise up as a fucking smash flare. And you sat there and you beat me with fucking... And I, it, you just humiliated me. I told you. And I committed the ultimate finesse. You couldn't resist my ass. My hot head. Now you're gonna fucking pay for it. It's over for you. Just twist his wand. I'm gonna tell. And it was just over. That's probably what happened. <laughs> Damn, can you imagine like a dude blackmailing you and fucking him in his ass? Like, you're not... Like, imagine I had dirt on me so bad that somebody was like, you know what? I'm gonna tell everybody, boom, boom, if you don't fuck me right now. And I just had to sit back there and, and the secret was so bad. I was just like, you know what, my nigga, all right, just bend over. I'm gonna use two condoms, all right? Like, I can't imagine somebody having that much dirt on me where I had to fuck them. I don't understand how that happened. All right, listen, my nigga, I got a proposition for you. You're gonna allow me to suck your dick or I'm gonna tell everybody blah, 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 blah. And you're gonna like it too. I don't wanna hear no squitching, no screaming, squirming, and I wanna hear noises. If you don't lay down and enjoy me giving you top, I'm letting the whole world know about blah, blah, this, that, and it's over for you. I want you to kick back, lay back, and sit there while I top you. Can you, can you imagine that? And you just got to lay back there and be like, all right, my nigga, just, just get it over with. Uh, uh. Nigga, did I say to cry? Love it, baby. I can imagine just Ally just standing there and then Zach just spinning around him, twirling him, just taunting him. Like this is this is Ally, right? And I'm just imagining Zach just twirling around him, just making him do shit like you're gonna get him. <laughs> just spinning and all that type of shit. <laughs> you're gonna throw your matches. <laughs> all of that. That's crazy. He's definitely flirting it up with a lot of niggas for sure. If she's in a frat or sorority, even worse. That means she's probably fucking some of these niggas that do this type of shit. Oh, hey. All that type of shit. She getting that, you know, she getting that fraternity dick. You can't compete with that. If, you, if you're dating a girl from a, <laughs> you know, from a sorority, best believe your masculinity can't do nothing. Didn't nobody carry, nigga. We double swagged. But let me tell you what somebody did carry. When I was backshotting your bitch with that hot, steaming, bulging, veiny BBC and busted hot loads all over her back. And she was trying to carry the nut in her arch in her back to make sure she didn't spill it down her crack to dribble down to her motherfucking pussy. First to her ass, then her pussy, so she won't be having one of those fucking cup BBC babies, nigga. That's what the fuck was going on with the carrying. I'm looking kind of sad. You know, yeah, my mood is kind of fucked up because... Your mom told me that if I came over, she was going to promise me clean pussy. I get over there, everything was correct. I get over there, titties was sitting correct, ass sit to a perfect bubble in circumference. I get over there, 
I grab one titty, I go down, take a finger, bang, pull out, sniff. Oh! I literally just melt into a glob of goo. That's how stanky your motherfucking pussy was, bitch ass nigga. That's why I'm sad, cause she promised me clean pussy, and I went over there and the shit was smelling like Monterey Jack cheese, nigga. The fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Y'all line is about to be even more chiseled and sculpted, cause when I work out, it's like different. My motherfucking jawline be looking perfected and different. So somebody with a frog profile picture said I look like a monkey. Now listen, my nigga, I'll gladly play that role play monkey because my dick will be swinging like a big ass baboon's BBC. I'm gonna come in your mom's room with a Tarzan outfit on, saying ooh ooh ah ah when I'm hopping and dipping all in that ass with the BBC, nigga. I'll definitely be a monkey all day. Bring your fucking mom to the zoo and give her some of this monkey BBC swinging it back and forth. Planet of the Apes on this bitch. Get that ass banned, bitch. Now one thing I don't like, I don't like my ass being slapped or grabbed. Or eaten. You. <laughs> What the, what the fuck I look like bent over with my ass cheeks spread it with somebody just slobbering and licking nah getting rimmed <laughs> like how they be doing on black on black they just be up like this the bitch be jacking them off eating their ass while their legs are up they be like uh 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 Nah, I'd just be like, I can't believe this is going on. Fast forward. That's why I don't be on X videos no more. Every time you're on X videos, a nigga's getting his ass eaten. That's why I was like, nah, I'm cool. Fuck that. That's the new thing in porn now. Every nigga's getting their ass eaten. When's my beard connecting? I mean, I can make that happen tonight. Technically, all I got to do is slide over to your fucking mom's crib after she begged me for months to roll through. The first thing she offers me to do, throws me a wad of cash. I say, fuck it, I'll take it. Bitch gaps open her legs. I see nothing but fur and hair. I see, you know, there's so much hair. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog, but I dive in. Go in, gobble. <laughs> Next thing you know, I come up, I get a mirror because I feel something weird, and my beard is so thick, I'm looking like Joe Button didn't shave for one day, and I got the five o'clock shadow and everything, bitch ass nigga. That's when my shit gonna connect, dumb ass nigga. Get that ass band too. I'm banning all dollar donations. Kill yourself, nigga. What needs work is your debit card number, because you're clearly not sliding the correct amount, faggot. So let me go ahead and blacklist anybody that donates me anything under $10. I'm going to ban the fuck out of you. Imagine trying to say something to me and you're that desperate you'll pay a dollar to do it. Kill yourself, nigga. On some real shit. What kind of fucking name is Jalen? Some nigga that donated me a dollar name was Jalen. Nigga, that sound like you play with bouncy balls for the rest of your life. Imagine being a grown ass nigga one day named Jalen. You just sound like you play with toys for a, for a fucking eternity. Did your parents even think before they named you a bitch ass? What kind of fucking name is Jalen Davis? Fucking cornball ass nigga. No, no wonder you donated a dollar to say some shit. You sound like you play with toys forever, nigga. You're a Toys R Us kid. Hope you don't be telling bitches that's your name, too. You just sound like a child. So what's your name, uh, uh, Jalen? No matter how you say it, in a high voice, deep voice, anything, it sounds like a kid's name. 
So what's your name? Jalen. What's your name? Uh, Jalen. What's your name? Uh, Jalen. It just, uh, it just sounds corny no matter how you say it. Shit, nigga, don't be telling bitches your name is Jalen, you fucking clown. No wonder you sitting around in my stream sucking a dick. As soon as you tell a bitch your name, she laughing at you. Nah, thanks for the 15. I appreciate it. Now, this nigga donated me a dollar and I banned his fucking ass. And let me tell you what this nigga's name was. Kevin... No, hold on. Miguel Diaz. Why the fuck would your parents name you the most Hispanic name on the planet? That name fits every stereotype of a Mexican. Your parents didn't even try to think to... De Try to decipher to make your shit be disguised on any application. Nigga, with a name like that, you better be bilingual. You better be. Everybody do me a favor. Go on your phones right now. And Google Miguel Diaz. I guarantee you, you'll see a million different Miguel Diaz's pop up. Because that name's so goddamn original. I ain't never, I n I never heard of a name so goddamn uh, original in my life. Everybody Google that shit. You're going to see a nigga named Miguel Diaz. It's gonna be a bunch of niggas on Google. A million of those motherfuckers. I don't know how many Miguel Diaz's I grew up with. Round one. Like, when parents name motherfuckers, like, think about this shit for a little bit. Like, don't just be naming niggas stereotypical names. Here, go another stream sniper, too. So stream sniping ass nigga. Stream Back ass times work. Lame ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, fag. I'm gonna make excuses. To not go over your fucking mom's house because she promised me great top, great pussy. I go over there. I smell bad breath, foul vag, ass smelling like she hasn't washed it in days. Bitch ass nigga. That's the type of excuses I'm making, fag. Man, somebody ban this coon out of my chat. Thank you. We're just gonna IP ban you. Don't even worry about it. Matt, hold on. Before we ban that nigga, let me check and make sure it was him. I can see right now. Or if it was somebody that was just dick sucking. That wanted to waste $5 to suck a fucking virtual cock. Hold on a sec. His name was the Ghetto Hog. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that was him. Black ass coon. We're gonna ban you. Ape. Look at that. You give it you give it you give a you give a spook an inch and they take a yard. This nigga couldn't help. I was at first it was all chill vibes and love. I'm not affected by it, bro. Roasted the black ass nigga so bad, that's when he started getting in his feelings. Baked beans at <laughs> baked beans ain't an ass fucking spook. Nigga started talking shit all of a sudden. First it was good vibes. Typical black nigga, man. Like I said, thank you for your measly ass money, nigga. I really need your five dollars. I, I need it so much. Yeah, we went. Yeah. I told you. That's why I don't be trusting blacks, man. This nigga was saying all this fake positive shit. Then all of a sudden, go donate five to talk some shit, monkey. Did y'all niggas ban this ape out of my room? Thank you. Yeah, somebody donated to get that coon's name off the top of my motherfucking layout. That's how I know this nigga didn't know about Third Strike. This nigga called Sean the worst character in the game. Monkey, you don't know what you're talking about. That's the last thing I'm gonna say about that black. That's why I don't trust niggas and never will. Yeah, of course, but you know, when you're dealing with a dumb spook, then uh, yeah. So of course they're gonna say what they say try to you know try to make themselves feel good you know you know how niggas do try to boost themselves up when they feel defeated 
What's not a good look for my brand, my nigga? You talking to me? Dom, some support from a real black man? Hey, thank you. I appreciate it, my nigga. Thank you. What's not looking good for my brand? Look like we had a black face telling me what's not good. Nigga, don't ever tell me what's good for my brand. If a nigga want to act like a coon, I'm going to call it out. What's not good for my brand is another black nigga without a brand telling me about a brand. Get that ass banned. Anytime a black person disrespects me or thinks they could disrespect me or try to flip the switch quickly, you cooning. You're being a stereotype. First, you was cool. Everything was all love, positive vibes with that fake shit. Like I knew it was fake. The nigga got pissed off because I kept roasting his black ass. And boom, the nigga started acting like a coon. That's what's not good for my brand. Other black ass niggas, they don't have a brand. Fuck out of here, nigga. If I catch you on my other motherfucking stream too, I'm banning your black ass too. What kind of fucking name is LaShawn Jackson, nigga? Your parents just wanted you to be stereotyped. By name first. You get pulled over, a cop gonna automatically wanna give you a ticket just for having a nigga name. LaShawn Jackson. Ugh. Oh, damn, I wouldn't even... Yeah, fuck it. Just another motherfucker and get up in fucking court. All right, this will be easy. All right, gonna write you up for a broken headlight. LaShawn Jackson. And, uh, yeah, you have yourself a good night. LaShawn <laughs> Jackson. What the fuck are these people thinking? The time has arrived. Come. Yeah, he definitely one of those 30 cars, niggas, for sure. What kind of fucking name is LaShawn? Man, black people haven't understood yet to not name their kids with ghetto ass names? Nigga, like, how many generations has it been and niggas are still naming their kids ghetto names? And black people be trying to get creative with names too. They be like, I don't know, like, Jabir and Don Cleekin and. What's it? They'll be like trying to put twist on shit. Michaelonius. Darylingi or Darylin Johnson, but it'll be one it'll be, it'll be one fucking word and shit. I'm like Come on man. Like what do y'all niggas? Like, why is I'm playing? Why am I playing against this worthless ass online? Nobody God damn the only thing this prototype is your fucking whack drone ass being online your prototype of an idiot Your parents created a nothing John Travius what kind of fucking name is John Travius and shit Telling you, man. What's um, what's Quavo's real name? Quantavius or some shit, isn't it? Quavius, Keontae Marshall. Like, what the fuck do these parents be thinking? Quavius. I'm blown, dude. Niggas. Are that's why we last place and always will be. Niggas laugh at us for shit like that. Exactly. It gets worse with the black ghetto female names, too. Wanna name them cars you don't drive? Mercedes. Janisha. Fel you know, just anything with an Isha. Like, how many Ishas? You know how many Ishas went around? Like, Aisha. Taisha. Yup, Sharkeisha. I knew a Sharkeisha growing up too. I sure did. Yup, I knew a Janisha too. I sure fucking did. Quinisha, yup. Jakeisha. Any name with a sh at the end, like, fuck no, man. I, I kid you not. I've heard all these names as a kid before. Shakita, yup, that's another one. Lakeisha, that's definitely one. Monisha, yup. What's up with these same niggas, man? Like, these niggas, like, why would you name your fucking daughter Sharkisha? Like, that's a real ghetto name that I've heard plenty of times. Just shut your faggot ass up. I'm gonna ban you too. Y'all niggas leave me alone, I'm streaming. 
You know this? Let me show you something. Come here. You know what this fat ass nigga does? Yeah, you. This is why he got so much meat on his bones. Watch. So, I caught this fat ass cat lapping fat out of the George Foreman drip tray. Multiple occasions. So I gotta start, make sure I scoop the fat out so his fat ass won't be sitting there eating the fat out the drip tray. Yeah, you. Yeah, this cat be eating fat out of the drip tray. And then still like this cat talks when he wants to be pet and when he wants wet food. And right now, it's not about him being pet. He's trying to use his fur to fool me into thinking he wants to be pet so I can give him wet food. This is this is unfucking believable, dude. Heaven only knows. Oh, like way back in the day, love. Heaven only knows. Heaven only knows. Oh, heaven only knows. Last night was the best night till I find out you had an only fans. I looked at your computer and you were pleasing niggas You were showing your titties And I caught you spreading pussy For a very low, low price of $5.99 For sobbing one damn month Heaven only knows Ooh, why you got it, only fans Alright, I'm done Oh, I was supposed to be playing again Might have to pick them up Well, how about you take this D-strap and I'm going to go ahead and have one of my lesbians strap a D to her torso and shove it down your throat and force Matrix juice down it, bitch. Get that ass banned. All right, you put a period. Mods ban them. Look like you typing up a motherfucking essay in this, bitch. Get that ass banned. Good guy. This nigga said that you were supposed to take notes from him. Are you writing this down? How to SD? Hmm. Mike back muted. <laughs> Let me tell you niggas the difference between this vagina and that vagina. Some's a little bit tighter. Some's a little bit hotter. Some's a little bit looser. Some has a smell. Some don't. Some clits are bigger, some clits are smaller. You'll probably never, you'll probably almost never fuck anybody with a pussy where you slide in and it's just like, oh, ah, ah. hold on a second. I gotta take a second to strong. Hold on, give me a, I gotta take a break of this pussy. It's not too many of those. It's not. And I found myself like faking sex a lot too. Now you might not like the roast beef ones, but I like the bigger clits that I could suck and I don't like them small clits where I gotta nibble around like a rabbit. I gotta find it like me. I like them big ass meaty clits where I could just suck a big piece of pussy meat, a pastrami pussy meat and just And I just like to take the pussy meat and it'll just pop off. And then it just, you know, you stretch it out a little bit and then it's like gum. It goes, and it just goes back to form. I like that type of shit. I don't like them fucking small ass pussies. I like them big meaty pussies.
That's how I, that's how I know there's only there's only one woman in this world for me. <laughs> that's it, nigga. I like the type of pussies where you can make a clotaco out of it. Now, how many how many of you motherfuckers know what a clotaco is? I gotta ask you that question. Yeah, I like them big ass clits. Big pussies. Not them little small ones I gotta play around like trying to find the clit. You know, I gotta lick up under. Alright, there it is. I, 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 I lick it at an angle. And I need that shit that's there. I can see the pearl right there. As soon as you take off the drawers, I see clitoris pearl. And I'm like, <sighs> Now, how many of you guys know what a clitaco is? Exactly, I did tell you, but I'm going to refresh memories for those who don't know what a clitaco is. This is for the people that haven't been here that long. We got new people in here. So I need to upgrade everybody. Hold on, I need to update everybody into knowing what a clitaco is. If it stinks, I don't eat it, my nigga. Let me tell you how to avoid a foul pussy after I tell you about a clitaco. A clitaco is something you can only do with a big ass pussy. You can't clitaco a small ass pussy. You need them big ass clits. First off, you take your tongue and fold it and you fold pussy meat in between your tongue and suck. I don't know if anybody can imagine that, but it can only be done with a meaty ass pussy. That's the only way you could clitaco. It's gotta be a big pussy. If it's not a big pussy, you cannot clitaco. Now, what was I? What? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys how to. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys. Ugh, don't even mention ranch. That's disgusting. I'm gonna tell you guys how to how to test pussy to make sure it's not foul. How many of you guys get top before you fuck? Most people in here, probably only 0.1% of people in here has done a clitaco. Nigga, women are entitled everywhere, especially date, women on dating websites are more entitled because they feel like since it's based off of visual contact, I need it all. I need it all now. All right, so everybody in here that gets top before they fuck, listen, here's what you do. All right, I know y'all niggas gonna clip my legs and all that shit, but fuck you niggas. Listen, so here's what you do. You kick back. Make sure when you get top, the woman's not in front, head's not here, she's not there. When you get top, make sure when you're laying down, she's giving you top sideways. Therefore, your leg could be like this while you're getting top, bitch behind. Of course, she has to be, bottom's got to be off. Make sure you can reach behind and while she's topping you, you can take these two fingers and play. You know, play around with the vagina, play around with the clitoris. Insert, pull out. While she's too busy topping you, you take some whiffs. I'm not sure if we got DDOs or what, but. Hold on. It's a glee. I don't know if you guys seen what the fuck I just did, but. That's basically how you experience it, the pussy's file. If the pussy's foul from that point, all right, chat's back live. If the pussy's foul from that point, here's how you avoid it. So you're getting top, you, you know, you're faking your head. You're like, oh, faking it. Her attention is going to be so, her attention is going to be so much on topping you correctly. With you faking those noises. Like, oh, all that type of shit. You start, you go in, insert from the back while she's topping you. You know, of course you can feel if it's wet or anything. While she's topping you, take it around. Boom, take a quick whiff. If you don't smell anything, proceed to bang. Now, she's topping you, you insert, boom, start playing with it. Insert, pull out, smell, shrimp, you know, stank vagina, reminiscence of seafood. Then you could just finish your top, let her finish topping you off, and then you just don't have sex. That's how you avoid fucking 
file vag. You don't have to fuck if you finish busting through top. Always get pieced up from, from the side, from left or right, till we can scoop in from the back, take a whiff, bam. So let's get this straight. Me streaming from 9 to 2.35 in the morning means I'm not working on my craft through the other hours of the day during the day. I do work on a craft. The type of craft that I work on is the perfect type of craft. It's the type where I get to practice my mouth. I get to practice my mouth movements. I just crack open your mom's legs, left to the right, go in, gobble, slurp, dribble and drill till she bust hot loads on me to the point where I gotta ask her, are you sure this isn't piss? Bitch ass nigga, get that ass man, suck my dick, faggot. Don't worry about what the fuck I got going on. Guarantee you I got more paper in my life and shitting on yours times 10. So continue to suck my cock, nigga. I'm gonna just keep doing it. Let's just say this, right? So let's just say I go to a million auditions and everybody tell me no. Nigga, do you think I'm gonna stop at a million? No, I'm gonna keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Keep... And somebody gonna tell me yes. That probability is like, you're gonna make the shit. If that's if that's the, if that's the if that's your initiative, you're gonna make it. Like how the fuck you how the fuck you not gonna get to where you wanna go if you just keep doing it to somebody tell you yes. It's almost like sucking a clitoris. Or eating a clitoris. See, I just keep licking and lapping. You know, every pussy is different too. Let me tell you guys something. Every pussy is different. You can't eat all vagina the same. Some women's G-spot is on the side of the clip that's on the left. Some women's G-spot is on the right. Some women's G-spot is up under the clip. Some women's G-spot is on the top of the clip. You know? Some women, you can't make them bust unless you hit all four sections of the clip. So I'm going to keep going. Until I find a spot. And once I, once I hear them react. I'm going to keep hitting that spot so they're like, oh, 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 ah, and just bust. It's the same shit. Boom. It looks like he was black, too. Check this out. You know, apes and monkeys always got a clout chase. So let's check this shit real quick. I mean, you're not having that type of background if you aren't a fucking spook. About you, black and Creole, yeah, you're a fucking... That's a fucking goddamn coon, clout chasing ass nigga. Block, fucking monkey ass nigga. Creole is just black, you fucking ape. Boom. Tell you, man, niggas always clout chasing, dude. It never fucking fails. Like, you gonna pay ten dollars to clout chase? You fucking goddamn dirty ass monkey. What wrong with you, dude? It's, I'm gonna I'm be even harder on you because you black. This nigga pay me ten dollars to taunt, and you was black on top of that. I'm telling you, man, y'all niggas, dude. That's why I be going hard on you blacks. That's exactly why I be going hard on you blacks, man. Cause y'all niggas should know better. You just made yourself a stereotype. So I'ma roast the fuck out of you. I'ma call you everything I could think of. Hell yeah, I'm black. That's why I be roasting niggas for acting stupid. Do you not get the ideology, dumbass nigga? Damn, y'all niggas like, find another way. You did taunt. Get that ass banned. I seen you taunt, you fucking black ass retard. You taunt it twice. You taunt it when I had the fucking stream closed. And you taunt it when the stream was open. Before I had the block over the screen. If you're black, I'm going extra hard at you. Period for clout chasing. Because I'm tired of niggas doing that. That's all I see online is black people clout chasing other black people. Like, every time I hear about NBA Youngboy having a beef with somebody, it's just some lame ass other black niggas talking shit to him. Because he's successful. 
I don't understand niggas, bro. Women could be sex offenders. I don't know, because I... Oh, that's kind of tricky. Because if I say a chick raped me, my dick still got got hard. If she just says, lay there and I'm going to suck your cock now. And I'm just like, no. You forced to suck me off. I busted a nut. Hey, you did it against my will. Nah. Nigga, like, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm not buying that shit. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's like, I really don't believe that if females had the strength of men, maybe I would consider them a sex offender. But come on, man, like, if you, like, even a 12 year old boy, like when I was 12, if a woman was doming me up, I know what I knew what the fuck I was doing. Nigga, if if I was seven years old and a woman was sucking me up against my will, I know I'm getting hit and I'm most likely going to like it. So no woman could technically like force you to do something because our dicks are going to get hard. So against my will, my dicks going to get hard. If I'm getting crazy top against my will. And I bust, but then I still say that you forcefully blew me. You know, I, I, I say a, for, a woman forcefully blew my dick. I don't know. When it comes to women and sex offenders, I feel like... I feel like the a age where a, a boy knows exactly what he's doing is like 12 and up. 13 and up. 13 and up, we know a boy knows we know what the fuck the deal is. 13 and up, we know what we're doing. Because kids, they'll keep doing it. Like, like all the fucking stories about teachers doing shit to these fucking young dudes. Like they kept fucking these teachers and then told their friends and then that's how it got out. Like they knew what the fuck they was doing. How can you be drugged and still get a hard mode? I don't know. I just think that a woman can't force a man to... A woman can't force a man to do shit because we have more strength over him. I mean, yeah, they could threaten you with weapons and shit, but regardless of the fact, if a woman starts topping you off and your dick gets hard enough to bust, how is that rape? How is that... How is that... How is that forceful? Let's just use me as an example. Let's use me as an example. I mean, there was no teachers ever in history for me that was even remotely fuckable. But let's use me as an example. You know, I'm, I'm getting out of my car. You know, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm done with the gym. I'm going to my car. Two bitches pull up in a big ass Escalade like, bitch ass nigga, get in and point guns at me. You gonna fuck all of us, nigga. And I'm like, are y'all serious? Nigga, did I say get in a fucking car? And I'd be like, oh shit, like these, these bitches are serious. Like, I don't wanna do it. And the next thing you know, they knock me out with the pistol. I wake up and I'm ass naked, chained to a bed. And I'm just like, what the fuck? The fuck y'all don't let me the fuck go. What do y'all got down? Fuck! I got too much to fucking live for. Shit! Nigga, shut your bitch ass up. We just all wanna suck your dick, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Now, if you move and squirm, I blow that bitch off. Or my homegirl gonna slice that, well, slice one of your balls off. Or, you could fuck all three of us, bust in us. And we can let you go on about your merry day. So I'm just to the chair. And I'm like, fuck. Like, nigga, sit still. And they just started sucking me up. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. 
Like, <laughs> like, is that, is it, I mean, yeah, they put me at gunpoint, so yeah, it could be like attempted murder and shit like that. I mean, yeah, of course, if they had STDs, that's something you got to think about. But for the most part, if you just getting t crazy topped off, nigga, your shit's going to get hard. So how, at that point, if your piece, now if your dick stayed limp and they still did all that, then I would consider it something. But it... <laughs> If a chick tied you up, forcefully topped you off crazy. I'm sorry, but how is that? I don't think a woman should be jailed for that. I think you should just accept the dome, go get tested the next day, and just call it a day. Why would you call the cops on that chick? It don't matter if she was ugly or not. If a woman's topping you off crazy, ugly or not, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. I remember my first girlfriend when I was uh, 16. My first girlfriend when I was 16. Now, of course, I'm a lot different now and shit like that, but. My first girlfriend at 16. She would always get these weird ass calls and shit like that. come to terms I don't know I just couldn't do it man I just I'd be like listen baby like I just I, me and you we can't we can't have sex well why is that like you told me about what happened in the past I'm not judging you but for me as a man like I want to respect you enough to where I feel like me I, I I mentally can't do that for you so I had a girlfriend when I was 16 it was my first girlfriend and she told me that she was taken advantage of by two dudes and I asked her in detail. This was like after we were like fucking for a whole summer and everything. I asked her in detail. I was like, I said, what really happened? She was like, I was kicking it with such and such. It was this girl's name. I know her. She was like, I was kicking it with such and such. And she was at my house and she called these two guys over and, you know, like, I was like, what? Just tell me, like, you know, I'm 16, I'm young, young guys do it, whatever. I'm like, what? Just tell me. What if a girl forcefully busted your cheeks with a, with a strap on? I mean, if a woman could overpower me enough to bust my cheeks with a strap on, maybe I deserved it. But let me get back to my story. So I asked her what happened. She told me that she got forced to fuck both the dudes. I said, what do you mean by fucked, by like forced? She said she had to top the dude off while getting back shotted. She had to dome up the dude in all types of different ways while the friend fucked. I never told you guys this story. And she basically said they just had their way with her, busted like multiple times. And for some reason, I never understood because. <laughs> I never understood because the dudes were still calling her phone. I said, why aren't these dudes in jail? Like, isn't this like a rape case? She said, yeah, like we went to court for it. But for some reason, they're not They're They're like, they're not in jail right now. I said, didn't you report this shit? She was like, yeah, it's an ongoing case. And I just never understood, like, but when I talked to her homegirl about it, she told me, she was like, she was like, listen, she was like, I don't, regardless of what such and such told you, like, she she let both of them niggas fuck, like, on, on my, on my, on my, on my niece. I swear to God, she let both of them niggas fuck. I was like, according to her, she's saying that you put her in a predicament where she felt like she was forced to smash these dudes. She was like, listen to me, look at me, my nigga. She was like, she let both of them niggas fuck. Like, regardless of what you want to think, I know you think she's sexy, everybody thinks she pretty, she an angel, but she fucked both of them niggas. All I did was call them over, and she agreed to everything else. Them niggas didn't, them niggas didn't do that. I was just like...
So I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> On my knees. <laughs> she... <laughs> But I don't know. I got endless stories. Like, no, the story I told you guys was another girlfriend I had that she told me she was going over her friend's house or some stupid ass shit like that. I was like 18. Another girlfriend I had, she told me that she was going over her friend's house. She's like, yeah, I'm going over Rebecca's house tonight, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, cool. I said, I don't really like your friend. I don't trust her because she's like, she's like. The word that wasn't out so i was like um she's like on some slut shit she's like don't talk about my fucking friend like that like you're supposed to be my fucking man blah 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 i was just like that's cool but I, yeah your friend is like known for being like a hoe so um that was the one where the chick was like i called her she didn't answer some shit like that and i didn't hear from her from the rest of the night then she called me in the morning like hello <laughs> I was like, what's up, baby? I was like, I didn't hear from you last night. Like, what happened? You know, this is like before the world destroyed my brain and let me know what the fuck the world really was and shit like that. You know, I'm, everything's still new to me. The world's still gold. I'm like, hello? It's like, yeah, babe. Like, I, I said, why are you crying? What's going on? Like, I didn't hear from you last night. Hold on, let me make my voice extra high. I was like, hello? It's like, babe. Like, uh, I said, I, why are you crying? I didn't hear from you last night. She's like, because last night, like, I got drunk. I said, all right, well, that's cool. You got drunk. And she's like, yeah, but I got drunk. And then, like, remember that dude I told you about that had a crush on me? I said, yeah, what about him? Like, why are you bringing him up? Well, like, all I remember is, like, me being drunk and then, like, the lamp being on and then the lamp turning off. And then I woke up in a bathtub with no clothes. I was like, did you fuck him? I don't know what happened, babe, like, but I'm sorry, I love you. It's like, well, what are you sorry about if you didn't fuck him? I don't know what happened. I just remember the lamp cutting off, and I just remember, like, waking up in a tub with no clothes. And I was like, what the... I was like, what the fuck? And I was just, like, kind of, like, tearing up with her and shit, like a little bitch. You know, of course you're gonna do this when you're fucking a kid. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, damn, babe, like, why did you go over there? I told you not to chill with Rebecca, like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> She was like, I'm sorry, babe. Oh. And then we just got over it because I was a cuck back then. Anyways. All right, so what's up with these robo combos? And she said she just wants to talk about it. Hold on. Thanks for the $14.99. I'll answer your question in a minute. LTG, I like up to you a lot and your advice would be appreciated. My girl and I broke up yesterday, but she says she regrets it and wants to talk about it. <laughs> what should I I'm do? I'm not laughing at you. Um, basically your girl wanted to break up because she probably felt guilty about doing some sort of fornication because chicks don't break up with people for no reason there's a reason behind it always like when a chick wants to stop talking to you and says it's not me it's just you there's probably a one or two percent chance that was the fact it either has to do with her doing something foul as almost fucking somebody or giving somebody fellatio aka top or she felt guilty about doing something in the past and feels like she needs to clear some space and not feel so clouded around you. See, a lot of chicks, they'll dump you so they could go smash other niggas for a while and then it'll be like, babe, I realize, like, I can't live without you. We were together for, like, two years and, like, I've been out there and, like, there's no other man for me. When a woman tells you that, it means that she's had her fair share of surplus of cocks. And she sees that you were the best thing for at that particular time and you can't be replicated. And uh, now she wants you back after the meat's been tainted. And too, I'm going to tell you guys it quick. I'm going to tell you guys something quick too. Here's, here's, how, you, here's how you know that if you haven't fucked with somebody in a long time and then they come back to you and compliment you on your dick size that means that she's fucked with other niggas with small cocks or that means that she's fucked with other niggas in general and then oh damn i don't remember you being this big well what oh but you haven't served nobody since me Whew. well all right well 
I'll just go ahead and, you know, uh, well, I won't even question you. But I'm thinking in my head like, damn, this bitch was sucking other cocks. Uh, yeah, of course you're surprised. Nah, but your girl, um, all I gotta say is, fuck with your girl again. Um, but since you've already been hurt, what you should probably do is reserve some of yourself. See, the, the biggest mistake that a lot of us men do with chicks is we get a bomb ass bitch or somebody we think is sexy, loyal, blah, 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 and we throw all of our eggs in one basket. And what I mean by that is you don't have to have multiple hoes, but don't ever give somebody, I don't care who it is, 100% of your trust. When you put all your eggs in one basket, I'm talking about all your marbles, let's just use that, all your marbles in one basket, your mental, your physical, you know, everything, all your secrets, everything into one person, they have the most power to fuck you over. Imagine telling somebody all your secrets, loving them 100%, fucking them only, being a thousand percent devoted and trusting them to full potential. And then they fuck you over. Nigga, you're gonna be broke. You're gonna be broken for a long time. You always gotta reserve. What you do when you give a you're you're twenty four and she's twenty, then of course she was of course she probably was experiencing something, you know? Of course. But you should never give somebody a hundred per like there's, there should be a trust barrier. Like, you trust, um, sounds like I got hurt, big dog. I mean, you have to get hurt in your life to really explore the real the real parts about life. That's the best part about life is the niggas that, that got hurt are the most knowledgeable ones. I couldn't tell you guys none of this shit if my world was just bliss and I felt like every girl I got with, it not, you know, nothing ever happened. I never suffered heartbreak i married my high school sweetheart we had children and i never experienced any of this how could i tell you guys anything of course i definitely been through times where i got hurt aka disappointed hey that's why i'm able to tell you niggas this type of shit how does one let go it takes time but you gotta ask yourself is that person worth your mental being fully invested to the point where it's almost toxic, where um, they deserve to be living in your head rent-free. Nigga, you have to be hurt. You have to be lied to. You have to be stolen from everything in order to explore the real you. You can't become an evolved version of yourself if your whole life is just bliss because that's all you're going to know. You might... If you don't ever get fucked over, lied to, all that type of shit in life, you're always you're gonna think everybody's good. You're gonna think the world is gold. You have to be fucked over to understand how to how to, the real world works. Bitch, less desirable. If your titties and ass is fake, it makes your shit less desirable. What's the next movie you gonna see me in? Probably. Um. I think. Well, actually, you can actually rent the movie. All you gotta do is just make sure your mom's sleep, go into her stash, go at the top of the closet, and you'll actually see like a stack of DVDs. Those stack of DVDs will be labeled like BBC Galerped, Backshotted, Busted All Over, Jackhammered, and just choose one. And it's tons of movies in a full stack of actual erotic acts that I uh, went ahead and performed with your mom. So there's tons of movies right there, man. You ain't even gotta wait for me to hit the big screen. They all right there. Get that ass banned. Don't ask me about my fucking personal career. Ban this nigga out of my chat. Thank you. Hold on, somebody said I'm not playing this because it's easier for me. Actually, I could cut this game off. You know, check my holodex. Call up somebody, you know, with the name of Rebecca Romero. Glacius. But it's just the code name that I use when I'm trying to text and prepare to slay your mom with this hot motherfucking BBC. Now I would say the rest, but y'all niggas didn't pay me 170 for the can, so get that ass banned. He's greater top. Y'all don't know what that is? 
pretty sure it's a lot of people that do. It takes a lot of practice for a chick to give you concentrating, gulping, glurping, perfect top with no grill involved. Not every woman is capable of doing that. There are a lot of women out there that just cannot give you a good blowjob. So my suggestion is to find someone that can. A man cannot be satisfied with subpar fellatio. We've all been experienced. We've all witnessed. Not witnessed, but we've all felt what cheese grater top head feels like. Not every dumb shot you get in life is going to be good. You're going to get more bad head in life than good head. But the woman that gives you that fire top, that's the one you keep. And if she doesn't give fire top, coach her to give you that perfect top. Teach a bitch rhythm. A lot of bitches don't have rhythm when they don't. See a chick that don't have rhythm? I teach them rhythm. I say when you grab the BBC, I'm going to teach you a couple of techniques that I like for me. Now, I like the BBC stroked, twisted, and sucked at the same time. So you stroke, twist, and and glurp at the same time. When you suck up, you jack up and twist up. When you suck down, you jack down and twist down. And you just keep it a rhythm. Suck up, jack up, suck down, jack down and twist. And then once she gets used to that, then you start incorporating ball sucking. Once she gets used to switching from the top of the head to twisting and everything to the ball sucking, then she could actually suck the balls and give you twisting top at the same time with the top of her hand now a lot of chicks don't know how to do that it's called multitasking when she's sucking the balls and taking the top of her hand and twisting your top softly with saliva on it and you're just like it's, it's that kind of dumb it's that kind of dumb you have to, if you gotta be a good teacher to these chicks if they don't know how to top. Top is very important in somebody you wanna fuck with. Damn, my cat left like, this is too much for me, I'm out of here. <laughs> you said, why am I so obs obsessed with skin color? You know what, I am obsessed with skin color. Because it's, it's different for me. I love it. I love it. When your mom spreads her pussy protruding to where I could see that the pussy's actually pink even though her skin color might be mocha. I love it when she sends me those pussy squirting videos rubbing the clit and I could just see the pink pussy squirting and pissing everywhere. And I love it when I bend your mom over, spread one cheek, spread the other, boom. See that mocha asshole? Take it a little bit. Back shot that ass into perfection. Bust just enough, just to I give her that motherfucking orgasm, and then I bust all over her back. Cause I love seeing white sperm and nut and matrix juice all over that mocha fucking ass, nigga. That's why I like skin color. Get that ass banned, nigga. Don't ask me no stupid ass question like that again.
How's everybody doing and shit? You said I'm scared of who? That nigga like 5'6". Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I'm scared of you being on my chat. Because I already know, every time I slide in your mom's hot cheeks, you be peeking through the door, peeking under the window with a, you know, peeking under the, through the window, trying to put a mirror under the door so you can see us fucking. Yeah, I'm scared of you because you claim to be heterosexual, but for some reason, you steady trying to figure out how long and thick the BBC is when I'm stroking the cream out of your motherfucking mom. Get that ass banned, bitch, nigga. The people that are still mods deserve it. The people that aren't, they don't. So let's check out what Mr. Soft Ass Nico said. Don't know how he talks, but I'm gonna just make up a voice. Yeah, I know. I understood having an opinion would get me unmodded. I know you won't ever dive into why I said that. But I canceled my membership. I've been here for two years and some change. Gave nothing but love and support and donated money. Whenever it be chump change in comparison to some, it was all I had. Because I want to see him succeed. I know he turned on me in an instant. I'm going to just read it like this on purpose. I know he turned on me in an instant for this. But right or wrong, I supported him. I even made them low tier ritual emojis. And I agree with him 90% of what he says, but I never support narrowing the focus on just black people when we could see a crowd of 500 people and maybe 40 black people a part of things and see my culture get slammed in such a pessimistic way. That leaves little room for solutions on how we can actually climb out whatever he's calling attention to. We only been looked at as not slaves and equals for 70 years i don't expect black people to be what other cultures are yes it's unreal to compare us to establish a hundred plus year cultures but i what uh, uh, hold on but y y but what i won't do is shit on us bury us further when i see a black man get his neck kneeled on for 10 minutes an internal issue aside of all races have crime amongst each other and it's been proven that who live around is most likely to be victim of crimes and crimes increase poverty stricken areas it just does nothing to shit on black people more unless you teaching the youth on how to grow love and build their culture while doing so but i guess i'm too narrow-minded and incompetent he's never had a conversation with me in his life i doubt he will unless it involves him destroying who i am as a person listen my nigga let me i'm gonna read it like <laughs> Listen, my nigga, let me tell you this. Now, if that's what you got out of that video, I'm glad that I unmodded you. Now, this person doesn't understand that when it comes to blacks, I hold us to a higher accountability on things that are going to make us look worse to the public. I don't care. What, what was the dude that got blasted in his car on video? What's his name? Philando Castle or some shit? What was his name? Like, niggas have been getting murdered. But the fact that he got murdered and it's COVID-19, everybody's everybody's in, inflamed and, and, and fueled about shit. There's been multiple tapes. Trayvon Martin. Why didn't nobody riot about Trayvon Martin? The kid that was killed. A kid. A 16-year-old kid that was killed by another nigga. Uh, by, by fucking uh, George Zimmerman. Dude's walking out in the street, no problem. No problem. Didn't nobody riot? Nothing. Everybody just said, fuck, blah, blah, blah. They marched. Okay, but did people riot? Did people riot? Did people loot? Did people start fucking up buildings over that shit, over a child that died? Did they fuck up buildings? Do you get what the fuck I'm saying? They rioted and looted. 
They stole shit. They broke into everything. We got Gucci, Prada, and everything. My point exactly. But people took advantage of this shit. They ride it excellent. They didn't steal shit wonderful. But you gonna sit over here and start stealing shit instead of keeping what it was supposed to be? Like I said, I'm not gonna agree with no nigga in here. If you if you think I sound like a clown, get the fuck up out of my shit. Period. If you can't understand why I'm upset that black people started looting instead of staying with the cause, fuck you. Your white niggas will always be last place. I don't give a fuck who started the riots. Black people started including themselves in the riots. It don't matter who started it. We already know other people probably initiated it. But when niggas are including themselves in the shit that started, you, you get held accountable. You get held account accountable. I'm black, so I'm holding niggas accountable for not understanding it. What you're doing is making us look worse regardless of who else was rioting and looting. If you watch the videos, everybody's looting. Not just niggas. When you watch these videos, it is blacks, it is Mexicans, it is whites, everything. Everybody's looting. But I don't care about what they're doing. Because I'm not white, I'm not Mexican, I'm not Asian, I'm not any of that. I am black. So when I see niggas acting like it's all power to the people, I'm tired of this shit, it's for a cause, and then you're stealing everything instead of staying what the cause is. Like I said before, if black people would have just been like, yo, fuck all of that. They want to loot? Cool. We just going to kick back and hold our ground. We're not going to loot. Nigga, we would have been looked at like, damn, these niggas, they really about this shit. Let's really do something and give these niggas something because they really mean business. We fucked up the whole aspect. Like I said in the video, we fucked up the entire aspect of the of the the marching of the protest of everything when we started looting as blacks i don't care what anybody else did so don't fucking sit over here and tell me i sound like a clown because i don't agree with niggas stealing fuck you nigga shit i went to jail for stealing bitch ass niggas don't tell me it's okay to loot I could speak on this shit because I've been through it. I went to jail for stealing, nigga. I had a felony on my record for stealing, nigga. It's gone now. By the grace of the creator, I was able to get that bitch expunged. But believe that shit. Fucking dumbass coons telling me. It's going to be all, oh, it's okay to steal. Motherfuckers act like see the thing is niggas think I'm just talking right don't nobody don't nobody know about shit I fish feed you guys shit. I don't need to tell you everything about my motherfucking life, but I'm speaking on my shit from experience I'm not you guys ever see Nico in his chat again ban him out of my chat. Thank you You want to cancel your membership because I took away your mod shit and I didn't ban you you a straight up bitch ass nigga Soft ass nigga. What type of grown ass man gets upset because I remove his mod ship? I didn't ban. I didn't ban this black dude. I'ma cancel my membership because because he got a body. Niggas, dude. Huh. And also, guys, Nico has been banned out of my chat too. I don't want pussy ass niggas just crying about not being a mod and shit like that. Leaving a giant ass storybook crying ass shit about it. Take your bitch ass somewhere and go smoke some weed, nigga. This shit was just a mod shit. So fuck off me, you fucking scrub. Shit is a, this shit is a fucking goddamn insane, man. playing against somebody in this ranking it's gonna force me to rage quit because i'm not i don't want to play against this nigga you don't have no points
trying to quit and I couldn't. We did it right this time, but I don't see myself doing that shit. I look like I work at Pizza Hut. Well, listen, here's what I'm gonna do. Cause I look like I work at Pizza Hut. I'm gonna go ahead, grab one of the empty boxes that are in my motherfucking stove. Cause I always keep an empty, you know, an empty pizza box just for the fuck of it until I feel like um, throwing it away. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna ring your mom's doorbell. When I know you're asleep, I'm gonna ring your mom's doorbell. She's not gonna answer it at first cause she's gonna see a tall black man. But she's going to peep through the peephole and see that I'm peanut butter complexion, so everything's going to be all right. I'm going to have the pizza box and be like, excuse me, ma'am, did you order pizza? She's going to look at me up and down, see the abs chiseling and busting through the Under Armour, see the BBC slightly protruded to the left, and just pull me in. The pizza box flies. She said, wait a minute, there's no pizza. Uh, I said, well, you just pulled me in the house. Throws me on the couch. Gets to her knees. Grabs one fist, grabs another, gives me a double stack because I got the BBC. Starts sucking, twerking, twisting. I'm like, ooh, ooh, uh, ah, ah, ah. That's all I could really do. And I submit and I just bust infinite hot loads of matrix juice right down her motherfucking throat. And so she gulps and gargles. And ask for more. Get that ass banned, bitch ass nigga. Get the fuck up out of here. Somebody ban this nigga. What am I gonna come out the closet? Well, shit. Your mom's allowing me to stream tonight. Usually she keeps me locked in the closet until I fuck, suck the clip, and backshot her deeply with this strong loking slave memorabilia BBC. She's letting me out. She's letting me out, out you know, out the closet to stream tonight. Any other time, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the closet. She only pulls me out to use me for an actual BBC sex tour. I mean, she feeds me well and everything like that and, ba and makes sure that I'm bathed, but for the most part, I'm always locked in the closet. She said I can come out the stream. So I guess right now I am out the closet. Grubs, AKA lazy players, you got yourself a fucking Akuma. Mike fucking muted. Last white girl I did, <clears throat> I did deliver the, the pipe to. She told me that the usual, I was the first black guy she ever had sex with. I wish I could explain to you how she looked. But she was sexy. Big juicy titties. Nice thick body. Could glurp and gargle a mean dick. Could reverse cowgirl like no other. Ass. Extra wet, hot, tight, and juicy pussy. Yeah, I like white girls. Let's go. I'll never forget one time when she was riding. And she was on top and I just grabbed both of her big white ass cheeks. And she was trying to ride me hard. And, and you know, I'm trying to pace myself. And she just ride me hard. And I'm like grabbing her ass cheeks to stop her from bouncing so hard on my dick because I'm trying not to bust. And I'm like grabbing her ass cheeks like this, trying to stop some of the, you know, stop some of the impact. And she's like, let me ride your dick. And she just started just, I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so, so I just had to like, you know, I just had to, <laughs> I just had to concentrate, but true story though. Where do I got Ken at? In easy mode built for scrubs, easy mode, AKA built for scrubs, AKA lazy players. 
I do get tired of complaining about the same stuff for years. I've been telling your fucking mom to fix her pH levels for years. And the only reason I keep fucking her is because she keeps promising me stacks of money every time I come over. She got a whole stack of hundreds that say 10,000 on it. So I keep fucking her for years. I'm tired of the fucking goddamn stench of the pussy. I'm tired of lifting up the head of the clit and seeing clitoris cheese. But she keep paying me 10 stacks every time I come through and fuck and get my dick sucked. But it's, it's been years, but I'm going to keep complaining, but I'm going to keep accepting the money. Bitch ass nigga, get that ass banned. That means you've been watching me for years. Cuck, suck my motherfucking virtual. My bad, your mom does it. Somebody ban that nigga and get him out of here. Or if you really, really fuck with me, you can go to thirty nine ninety nine, baby. Get out of here, Dex. Alright, we're gonna start it off with my use. Dex, get out of here, boy. Yeah, next wave of Corona might hit crazy. But I don't know, people want to protest for for a nigga that got buried in a gold casket. So. I showed you the coonery right there. They couldn't bury this nigga in a nice brass casket. This nigga's buried this motherfucker in a 14 karat gold casket. Like, if y'all wasn't balling and chipping like that before this shit, why would you just complete show coonery? And bury this nigga in a 14k gold casket. No types of humble. Oh, we got oh we got some bread. Oh yeah, we about to go. We about to bury this nigga in gold. He was a king. Nigga had no gold chains on or nothing. So why you gonna bury the nigga in a gold casket? Could have buried that man in a nice, beautiful brass with wood. These niggas put them in the ground in a gold fucking casket. Like y'all just had him, like he was just some king when he was, y'all niggas just treating him. Man, they probably never even called this man. His family probably didn't even call this nigga every day. Probably didn't even call him weekly. Black families will speak like that on a regular. I go on Instagram. I see all of my intermediate cousins all went paintball shooting. Do you think these niggas called me? Absolutely not. Black families, man, these niggas is fake. No unity amongst intermediate family, outside, etc., etc. Now, what you did was you watched me play some fucking idiot that likes to dress like Sakura with a penis. Sucks dick, gets his ass completely bodied, gets V-triggered and beats me. Oh, God. Get the fuck off my screen, you fucking little cuck ass bitch. Don't you let somebody bend you over in your fucking Sakura skirt and slide cold dildo up your ass, you fucking dumbass little cuck. You think I'm saying this shit for the fuck of it? This dude really be trying to dress like like fucking Sakura with balls hanging out the bottom of his goddamn panties and shit. You know, you could always see Sakura's fucking panties from her little fucking Japanese dress, Japanese schoolgirl's dress. This nigga straight out his ball sacks and little micro hanging from his goddamn panties and shit. Straight dressing like her. Short hair, had the makeup, rosy cheeks. Motherfucker did a goddamn dragon punch. You can see nothing but nuts hanging out the bottom of his fucking panties. How the fuck you got a balls and dick and cosplay as Sakura? Like nigga, where did you where did you place your cock? Like where did you place it at? In them small ass little drawers. Motherfucker went to the goddamn women's section in Walmart. Got some fucking goddamn, got some fucking cheap ass panties that he could shove his balls into. Did a dragon punch, you still see a side of his nuts hanging out the side of his goddamn fucking drawers.
And I lose again to fucking A Trigger! You know what? I did do something for the black race. Since you said the black race, that obviously means you're not black. So, basically, what I did is, you know, I happen to just go be picking up some, you know, some Odysseys and strawberries at, you know, my local Walmart. And, you know, I see a woman bent over picking up some asparagus. And I see a couple of, you know, I see some cheeks or whatever. And she turns around and I try to look away. And she says, excuse me, why did you stop looking? I was like, well, because I thought that it was rude to be looking in your direction. If you're kind of bent over with those, like, kind of like that sundress type of thing going on. And she says, well, I have no problem with you looking. And she's like, well, why are you here? Are you single? I said, well, I'm not used to people asking me if I'm single, but yeah, well, what's going on? She says, well, I've been looking for, well, I don't know if I should ask you this, but me and my husband have been looking for, like, he wants to be a cuckold. I said, yeah, all right, listen, before we do anything else, what's the price? She says, listen, I'm going to pay you off tremendously. Just make sure you come up. She gives me the address. Boom, I pull up. Made sure I wore overalls and Tim's because that's what they like. I couldn't come over there all dappered up. I had to give her a real nigga representation. Overalls and Tim's. I come over there. Your dad's sitting on the couch in the corner in a fucking lazy and a what? A lazy boy, right? That's what they're called? Your mom has on a silk fucking robe. I come in, I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Your pops toss me two stacks of money. They both say 10K on it. I said, okay. She says, can he watch? I say, all right. But he says, I want you to keep the Tims on. Pull the overalls to where they just drop right into your ass cheeks. Act like I'm not even there. I said, hmm. I looked. I thought about it for a second. I looked at the two stacks of money. Said 10K on the top wrapped around the band. The other one said 10K wrapped around the band. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Your mom bent over. Pussy was already oozing and dripping. I didn't even have to put on lube. They said they would give me an extra 10 stacks if I didn't use a condom. And of course your mom's clean. She was a 40-year-old white woman. What 40-year-old white woman is walking around with clap? So I said, fuck it. Bent both of those white cheeks over. Spread them apart like the fucking Red Sea. Because she had one of them flabby, big old, old woman asses. But I said, fuck it. Slid in between them hot-ass cheeks. It was just so wet and gooey. I couldn't even feel the friction. You know, temper peating on my dick. But I kept stroking and fucking. And I just kept looking at your... Looking back at your dad, the lazy boy, as I was fucking. And before you know it, this nigga just kept tossing me stacks and stacks of money. Before you know it, I walked out of that bitch with at least 60000 Because I performed profusely. And fucked your mom right while your dad sat in the lazy boy and watched me allow him be a cuckold. While I fucked your mom relentlessly and I busted inside of her. He said for an extra 20 stacks, could he drink the nut out of her pussy? I said, you know what? I'm out of here. You guys could do that when I dip. If she wants to hold it in and squeeze it out of your, you know, squeeze it out of her pussy into your grill. But me, I'm out of here. I got my 60 stacks. Did what I had to do. And that's what I did for the black race, bitch ass nigga. I fucked your mom for 60K while your fucking dad watched my glistening, sweaty ass cheeks thrust and bust and stroke your mom's hot ass pussy. Bitch ass nigga, get that ass band. Imagine having a name like Jamal Smith in 2020. Nigga, you can't even fill out an application without them classifying your black ass. Get that ass band, nigga. Change that fucking name, Jamal Smith. One of the most nigga names on the planet. You didn't even think to change it on your YouTube? You could have just named, called yourself J Smith. Nigga got the whole black ass name. Imagine being in a nigga stream you don't fuck with, bitch ass nigga.
That's because you're a homosexual. You wanna hear my vo you wanna hear my voice tremble through this mic so you can get your dick hard before you go to sleep. Cause you got trouble sleeping, nigga. You're an insomniac. So you come to my stream and beat your dick off to make sure you can get that motherfucking liquid energy out your fucking small tip and spill all spill all over your goddamn index finger and thumb. Right into a rag and you just gonna roll over and just go to sleep right after I'm done roasting you, bitch. Ain't no racial profiling. You know, good and damn well, ain't no white niggas out there named fucking Jamal Smith. How many white niggas are named Jamal? Like, come on now. That's a nigga shit. I did learn to play. I learned to play the trombone in your mom's clitoris. With my tongue. And just made her bust and dribble all over my motherfucking goddamn goatee, nigga. Get that ass band, bitch. That's what I learned to play. A little bit, if your body goes boom, boom, I can't fuck with you at all. If I slide in a pussy and it's lukewarm and I gotta make fake noises, I can't fuck with you. It's been so many pussies that I've slid in and I gotta fake it. I gotta slide in and act like it was good, knowing it was basic as fuck. I'm sliding in, you know, expecting a little bit of resistance or some ooh. I slide in, I'm like, all right, well, I am a trained actor, so, ah, oh, shit, hold on, hold on, I gotta pause it real quick, ah, mm. ah. if I'm doing all that, it's fake, because if it was really fire, I would've just, th I would've thought in my head, like, mm, okay, mm. Mm. And I would have just been, you know, keeping it silent. But if I'm making noises, it's fake. Your pussy's not good. Extra wet pussy that's lukewarm is not top tier. I shouldn't slide in your pussy and it feels like I just dipped my dick in a bowl of hot noodles. It, you know, it shouldn't feel like that. It shouldn't feel like I'm using my dick as a swizzle stick in a bowl of top ramen. It should be I slide in, there's a little bit of resistance. It feels like something's sucking my dick in. Like when I slide in pussy, if it's fire, here's the D, right? If it sucks, I'm gonna slide in like, all right. Now if it's good, hold up. Let me get a clear BBC real quick. Pussy's good, I'm gonna slide in like, oh. Put the tip in, oh. Put the quarter BBC in. Ah, put the rest in, sit in it for a second, kind of catch the temperature, get used to it heating up the dick, make sure I don't bust too quick, and then I start stroking it slowly. Mm -hmm. ah, you know, and, and you know, work my stroke game correctly to where I don't bust quick. Now, if the pussy's lukewarm and just I'm acting, right? I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to go, ooh, just slide it all the way in, no resistance. It's just, I'm going to just fall in like, like a kid jumping into McDonald's balls. That's how I'm going to fall into the pussy. And then I'm going to just stroke it and make the most obscene noises ever. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah. Damn, this pussy is so good. If you got to tell a bitch the pussy good, you're lying. And even more. This is how you know the pussy's trash. If you're back shotting and your dick starts going limp. Because back shots is one of the most critical positions to getting you to bust quickly. If the pussy's fire, when you slide in from the back, you're gonna be like, Ugh! you're gonna think of your hair like, alright. Go grab both of the cheeks, start thrusting it slowly. Like, you know, you might have to pause a bit, like, Ugh. Grab both of the cheeks, squeeze them correctly. Kind of, you know, catch it up. You know, you start feeling your tip heat up. And you're like, all right. Go for a second. Then you just reset. Grab both the cheeks and stroke. Now, if you could pound out pussy like this from the back. In doggy style. I promise you. The pussy is trash. You should never be able to beat pussy from the back if it's fire. The best position a bitch can get, the best position a bitch can be in is backshotting. 
If you're stroking it fast and a back shot, the pussy garbage. I guarantee you. Plenty of women have squirted on me. But I'm confused if it's piss or ooze. I can't tell. This is what missionary really is. Missionary gives you this opportunity. Also doggy style. Missionary, when you're on top, usually your head is on this side of her. And this is what sucks too. This is why I don't like missionary too. I'm never a minute man, my nigga. I allow my, when I'm ready to bust, I bust. That's why a bitch from years down the line will never forget about me. The way I suck the clip, make him tremble and tremble and twist and twitch and slide in deep to those five dimensions that not a regular dick can hit. I'm hitting the left, the right, upper, downward, all the way to the back, the five dimensions of the fucking vagina. Anyways, so here's the thing with missionary. Here's why missionary is like, kind of like a, it's not an honest position. Because if I'm on top, right? Here's her face. If I'm on top, she could look up and imagine another nigga's dick. I'm talking about for y'all. I'm not worried about me. Now, missionary, you could think it's the most fire thing because your head is this way. And you're like, ah. And you're just stroking, right? And her head's facing up that way. And she could be thinking, this shit's trash. She could be rolling her eyes like, oh, my God. Like, this is that. And just fake it. When you, when you back shot... When you back shot, you can control almost like. For donation and see with the back shot, first. you can cut. You can control the pussy like a steering wheel, with with the BBC. Now you niggas with micros, don't ever bend a bitch over. Stick the missionary. Don't even let a bitch ride you, cause she could be like, it, 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 it. let's just switch positions. So just stick to missionary. All you micro niggas and mediocre dick niggas, if you don't have at least seven inches, don't back shot. And even that's like whatever, but it's good enough. If you don't at least have seven inches, don't let a bitch ride you. Don't back shot. Stick to missionary. Now, when you're back shotting, the, the greatest thing about back shotting is you could take the ass cheeks and use it as your steering wheel. So your steering wheel, right? is both ass cheeks, if, even if she don't got ass. You, if a bitch bends over and don't got ass when you're back shotting them, they have no ass whatsoever and you shouldn't be bending them over in the first place. <clears throat> now anyways, you grab your suit, hey, with the 30, thank you, I appreciate it. So when you grab the ass cheeks, that's your steering wheel. You can literally grab the ass cheeks grip and you can hit to the left, to the right, thrust up, thrust down, Tell them to get on their motherfucking goddamn stomach and really just drill the BBC in there. You know what I'm saying? And BBC don't always mean big black cock. It could mean, you know what I'm saying, big bulging cock. If you blessed, you could literally, that's how you just, here's what you do. All you niggas that haven't tried this position, tell your bitch to lay or your thot or your concubine to lay straight down. <coughs> Excuse me. To lay straight down on her stomach and just drill her with the D. And then tell her, you know what? You get on top and you just let the D sit in there to the deepest dimension. That's what you do. Your soup with another 30, thank you. You let your D drill her from the back while she's on her stomach. You let the dick get into the deepest dimension and you tell her, put the dick where you want it. And when they start moving it, like, uh, 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 bitch's legs start curling and twitching, using your dick as basically a screwdriver to hit which spot they need to bust and just twitch and twivel all over your dick. I'm telling you, those positions, I'm telling you, that position in general, you just let the bit, hey, you soup with another 30. Thank you, 30, 60, 90. I appreciate it, my nigga. Thank you. Okay. Let the bitch use your dick as a stick shift to guide in which gear she wants to go to bust. She must be laid face down. The dick must be fully inserted and you must put it to where literally the dick is on top where she could just kind of move it from the bottom and maneuver it to which dimension she needs to just bust. 
supposed to have some resistance. Which when you slide in, it's supposed to be something fighting your dick. Thank you for the 20, I appreciate it. It's supposed to be something fighting your dick when you slide in. It shouldn't be, I just slide in like, aww. You should have to put the tip, take a, take a semi stroke, a test stroke, take the dick out, put it back in, another semi test stroke, take it out, put it in, shimmy it, maneuver, get a quarter stroke, then you start easing it in. Bad pussy, you slide it in one time. Oh, bad pussy just gonna go like this. Good pussy gonna go, oh. Pull out. Uh, kinda get caught in. Pull out, pull it in. Ooh. Looks like I'm not good with puzzles. I don't know, it looks like I'm excellent with puzzles. Let me tell you why I'm excellent with puzzles. I'm excellent at puzzles, right? Especially ones that involve, that involves balls. I'm excellent at puzzles that involve balls. Because all I do is take a stick, grab one ball, grab the other, take both my balls, rabble them up, to a fist, right? I didn't believe your mom when she told me that I could fit every piece of my genitals in her vagina. So I tested it. I bent her over, spread it apart those motherfucking cougar cheeks. Like what? She had the type of ass where the skin was so old and pruny I could poke it and it took a while for the skin to resurface. It took a while for that first layer of the epidermis to actually resurface. It was like almost like a deflated balloon or old Walmart ball that you see just deflated. So I said, fuck it. She said, put it all in. I said, all in? She says, yes. I said, all right. I looked around. I said, okay. I first take the dick, slide it in at an angle because it seemed like regardless of the girth and width that I still have room. She says, keep going. I take one ball, slide it in the ball gets sucked in. I take the other ball, slide it in and get sucked in. Before you know it, my whole dick and balls is inside of your mom and she's doing some crazy shit with her pussy where it's like this, this suction and glurping technique and I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. before I know my whole balls, dick and everything is getting massaged in your mom's cougar pussy. And I busted a hot load inside relentlessly, deep, deep and dark inside her loose ass old cougar pussy that for some reason she had all types of friction and guru tips inside get that ass band nigga gem busted somebody cracked that nigga's gem and turned it into alchemy dust this bullshit on when i turn on the stream like that nigga's garbage i am the saltiest when i bust them hot nuts down your throat fuck your mom nigga i'm gonna have niggas pry your mouth open while i bust a hot ejaculated nut wide open from jaw to jaw hot nut down your throat while you just choke and have no choice but to drink it and realize you really like it just because it's me nigga oh, look, oh wait a minute the algae dish oh. mm. Mm, pineapples faggot ass nigga Get the fuck out of my goddamn shit niggas is stupid Get the fuck off my dick you homosexual ass niggas just admit that you're gay and i won't say shit what i have so many accounts because in order for me to avoid your mom from sending me extreme invites through every goddamn game that I play, because she can't text me, I told her she can only hit me via PSN. She watches my streams and spans me on every single account. That's why I got my notifications off, dumbass. Nigga, I keep switching accounts because your fucking mom keep coming on this bitch stalking me. Begging to glurp my BBC, dumbass nigga. Somebody ban this dude out my fucking chat. Don't question my shit. Just see the accounts and be thankful that I have millions of accounts so your worthless bitch ass can continue to watch me. Fucking dumbass cuck. Somebody blacklist this business bitch ass nigga out of my room. Thank you. What could you name me business marketing? You know, fucking goddamn nigga streamer 347. I'm about to teach your mom how to business and market her twat. 
She showed me she had all types of tricks and guru things that she could do with her pussy. I said, all right, show me. The bitch puts one leg on each one of on each particle of her desk, left and right. Sets up her camera right where my mic is. Starts rubbing the clip to the left to the right relentlessly. And all I see is piss and ooze shooting all in the fucking camera. I said, listen, bitch, let's go ahead and business and market your vagina, cause you got a squirter and we can make tons of views on Pornhub, bitch. Dumbass nigga, the fuck out of here. Now that LTG is gone, but all you niggas asking? Yes, me and LTG did have sex, so, yeah. Now see what happens when you give a black nigga a chance? This what happens when you give a black nigga a chance. Come on, bro. <laughs> Somebody get this nigga a psychiatrist, man. <laughs> that nigga's stupid, dude. TG, can you educate everyone really quickly about why it's okay for men to cheat? But it's not okay for women too. I feel like too many people are uneducated on this. Huh. Be sexist for one minute. So, the reason why I think that it is okay for men to cheat or you know practice infidelity over when a woman would do it is because men we deliver we don't accept right for one men we don't have to gap and let a nigga slide in and fuck see women they gotta let you into their personal space so when a bitch fucks another nigga they're instantly instantly Letting somebody take something from them. See, when I'm fucking, I'm sliding in, pulling out. I'm sliding in, pulling out. I'm taking something. I'm taking juices. I'm putting in dick. I'm pulling out cream. You feel me? I'm fucking pulling out. Fucking pulling out. I'm taking, right? Del I'm delivering, taking. Delivering, taking. My bad. So, when, if a woman thinks that it's okay for her to, Fuck another nigga on the side. Come on now. There's nothing that a woman can say. I don't care about this whole savage bullshit, hot girl bullshit that fucking Megan Thee Stallion was saying. Fucking multiple niggas makes you a hoe no matter how you put it. Because I don't care how a chick tries to take it. I fucked that nigga. He didn't fuck me. I just used him for dick. You didn't use me for nothing because I still delivered cock. I put in dick, pulled out cream. I got something from you. You hopping on dicks and sucking, niggas are using you for friction. Nine times out of ten, a woman's not going to bust when you fuck. A man, we're just going gonna to get our bust regardless, right? we definitely going to get our dolphin squirts off. So any woman that thinks it's okay for her to, to fuck multiple niggas is just instantly a hoe. There's no such thing as a woman with class that's fucking two niggas at one time. At all. If you fuck, if you, a woman to me... If you're going to transition partners, give your pussy at least six months to regenerate. You know, let the walls refilter. Let the scales try. In. Well, the scales will never come back. But just give the pussy enough chance to rejuvenate. Because if you keep taking this BBC and fuck Jose or somebody else or whatever the fuck these, these bitches are going to fuck, the pussy's never going to regenerate. Yeah, I just... Yeah, when it comes to women cheating, like, yeah, you can't do that. There's no way... There's no way that a woman could justify hopping on another dick. We talked about the 10 steps. We talked about we talked about the 10 steps of cheating. Remember a bitch could let a nigga fuck multiple ways. Legs gapped, a nigga goes in between her legs, takes strokes and bust. Back shots. And riding. 
So you still have to get on top of a nigga and sit on his actual cock to fuck. You have to get back shotted to fuck. You have to let a nigga in between your legs to hit. Those are those are all hu those are all humiliating positions. When you ride me, I can look up at you, grab your tits and squeeze them, play with the clit a little bit while I'm grabbing a titty, look at you, and I'm just watching the cream cascade all over my dick. I'm back shotting you. Sometimes I, you ever any nigga in here ever felt bad about back shotting a bitch? There's got to be somebody else. I feel like. I'm like, I'm just taking something from them, you know? I feel like, like I shouldn't be doing this. Like I'm just giving you long strokes and I'm like, damn, bitch, should I really be doing this shit? <clears throat> Fuck it. Dang. Like it almost feels wrong sometime when I'm backshotting a bitch. Like, like I'm just humiliating a bitch because you just bent over. I get to see your asshole all in my face. I get to slap your cheeks. I'm just taking something from you. When I backshot you, bitch, I just feel bad sometimes. I'm like, damn, I'm really dicking this bitch down. I'm just watching the cream cascade. I get to, I'm looking, I'm, I get to, sh I can see straight asshole. Like, it's just, it's, backshotting a bitch low-key is a very humiliating position. I don't see how bitches be getting backshotted. If I was a bitch, I would never let a nigga hit me doggy style. Ever. Like, they'd be like, turn around. I'd be like, hell no. <laughs> I'd be feeling bad, dude. I I feel bad backshotting bitches on me. I feel like I'm humiliating a bitch. You know, riding and I get on top, cool. But when I, like, you ask a bitch to bend over? Like, if a bitch asks you, cool. Like, some bitches like being backshotted. But to tell a bitch to flip over, it's just like, damn, what? fuck. Of course it's part of the pleasure, but I, I don't know. I just To me, I just feel bad when I'm asking a bitch to bend over so I can hit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's something about me. Like, I feel like I'm just humiliating a woman when I do that. Dude. Especially like most women can't handle dick from the back like that. They'd be like, oh, 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 it's too deep. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I love backshotting, right? I love to backshot, but at the same time, I feel bad about doing it. Especially that position where you just get them like this. Just lay him down. Watch out, Dex, I'm performing. You lay him down, this is their head, right? You tell them get face down. And they just land there just like a helpless human being. And you just stroke and learn. <clears throat> or you just grab him from the back like he's about to choke him. You be like, <clears throat> and be like <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you'll get those, sometimes you'll get those chicks that'll challenge you. You know, I, I had, I had a bitch that only wanted to be doggy style. I was like, she would start off, she'd be like, put it in from the back. I said, okay. I was like, flip over. She was like, no, I meant from the side, the back. I was like, I, I, I said, that's like married sex. That's like, but look. So, back to the story. The bitch only wanted to do side fucking. I was like, we'd be laying there. She'd be like, you got me so wet. I'd be like, for real? Grab the pussy. Literally, it's like hand sanitizer oozing all over my hand. I'm like, <laughs> pussy juices, cream, everything. Sniff, no smell. I'm like, damn. I slide it in from the side. She's like, all right, keep going. I was like, all right, we got to flip over. She only would want to be fucked from the side or from the back. Missionary, she wasn't fucking with it. But it was so much cream, it was almost like I was making Cool Whip. Like, I was stroking. I would, I, I would hear shit. I, this is what I kept hearing. I was stroking. I'm like... 
And I was like, damn, what the fuck? This bitch just have this bitch just have some Kool-Aid or a Starbucks? Cause you know when you drink stuff and you hear the liquid in your stomach. And I was like, I looked down and I just seen like I just seen like anybody ever been to a foam party? I just seen foam. I was like, went ahead, made a bus two or three nuts. She was like, uh, uh, uh. from the back, of course. She's like, oh my god. Hold on, let me demonstrate. Hold on. Let me demonstrate. You know, she was one of those bitches that just loved to be roughed. So I'm just stroking it deep. She butt. She like. <laughs> so once I got a reaction, you know, I put it at an angle, and I was like, mm. and she's like, ah, ah. come up. Then next you stayed on the bed. Come up. All right, listen, I don't got to lie, bitch ass nigga. We're going to get you banned too. Trust me, I don't lie about nothing. I never cap when it comes to sex, nigga. She's like, I came on your dick like three times. Gets up, she looks at her pussy and just sees like a bubble bath in her vagina area. That's how much cream it was. It was just a foam bubble bath. I know, look at that. She's like, damn, hey, nigga, how come you don't ever let me in the room when you're doing this? I'm sorry, Dex. No animals when I'm performing. Thank you. Might mute it real quick. Uh, shut your faggot ass up, you faggot ass nigga. Shut your faggot ass up. Fucking faggot ass obsessed nigga. How about I take my motherfucking goddamn covenant? chase you down in the middle of the motherfucking snow you're running you see a bunch of us in black cloaks running towards you see me in a gold cloak big tall muscular evil ass motherfucker running at you first i start off like this because i don't need my full speed to catch you then i see you start to speed up then i start speeding then i just go and i just sit my whole covenant and they're just chasing you running at you like wolves in black and black capes, they tackle you. Run, this is you, right? I'm me, this is you. Tackle you. <clears throat> Grab you. I call over rocks, signaling them. Rocks come from behind you. I have all my covenant cloaks ripping off your clothes, your ass naked in the snow, stuck like this. Just stuck, and they hold you down. Like, stop! <laughs> And I'm like, rocks. I make the snap. Rocks rips off his clothing. Flops out his BBC Junior on the fucking right ass cheek on the left. While all my covenant cloaks hold you down. And he just forcefully fucks you and chokes you. And you're like, oh. And he just chokes you, busting you. And just humiliate you. And I command my whole cloaks to stand around you. And ejaculate and bust nuts all over your frozen body. While we force you to lay there and freeze in the snow, bitch ass nigga. Suck my dick. Thank you for that 14 measly dollars too, faggot. And we offer fellatio on tap for members who are a little bit more seasoned. Well, you know... Sex, aka fornication, you have to earn. But we do offer fellatio on tap for covenant members. But it will be at a class of women. So the, the fellatio that's on tap for covenant members are going to be, you know, women that are literally just sucking. So it's going to be basically women that look like, let me see. Let's go ahead and get our fellatio preps let me see basically the type of women that we're going to use for you know fellatio on tap would be something of this sort let's 
So if fellatio is what you desire at any given time on tap, there will be women that are provided. The rules are, listen, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> listen, <laughs> hold on. The rules are with fellatio on tap, you are not allowed to touch my servant. You will be strapped to a chair. You are not allowed to make noises. If you moan, the fellatio on tap is over. You must learn to receive fellatio and internally enjoy it. You have to sit here and accept your fellatio on top. And you must concentrate no matter how ridiculous because a woman like that is going to slob you ridiculously. She has nothing to lose. There's no arrogance in her head game. She is just going to blurp and glurp you to a, a whole nother dimension. So the rules are you can't touch. You're going to be handcuffed behind a chair, feet strapped and chained to the floor. And you just, if you even go, it's over for you. You have to sit here and you're allowed to breathe. You're allowed to go, but you can't go. The second you do that, the free top is over. You must accept. Even when you bust, you have to go. She'll clean you up. Swallow, but not. Hold on. Glurp, but not swallow. Spit. Into the ejaculation bottle. And one of the main things you must do if you accept fellatio on tap after she spits your ejaculation and that ejaculation preserver you must proceed to liquidate yourself with your own ejaculation since you want fellatio on top you have to give something to take something let's get back to the game you thought it was going to be easy now didn't you you told me to adapt well i mean i did adapt to your mom's pussy. It was just lukewarm. After a while, I had to find different angles to find a different temperature. I was like, uh, 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 all right, yeah. All right, here's enough to bust. Fuck out of here. Get that ass band, bitch. He did, you know what he did? Use the home menu combo. Cause then I walked through your fucking mom's door. She said she wanted to role play. So basically, here's what she did. This is something I never fucking experienced before. I walk up to the door. She told me to give three knocks, a doorbell ring, and a tap. And a knob jingle. So I did the code. That meant your dad was asleep. KO'd. Gave him 10 grams of melatonin. I come to the motherfucking goddamn door, right? Your mom grabs me, pulls me in, hands me... In a laminated, folded, paper booklet. I didn't know what the fuck it was. So she hands it to me. It's a menu with all different types of, of head fixtures. It said Torpedo Dome, $14.99. Double Stack, uh, $11.99. It just, it just had a bunch of different sexual acts that I could choose from for a price. I said, hold on, baby. I didn't bring any fucking money. She says, well, it's all about role play. I, I thought that if I made a menu of different things that I can do to you, you would know how much each technique is actually worth. I say, you know what? I'll have me a glurp and gargle with the side of, hmm, with the side of, hmm, this one's hard. I'll have me a glurp and gargle with the side of, the special cream. She says, all right. Before you know it, I'm getting what the fuck I ordered and asked for. 
getting glurped and gargled, slobber all over the D, I'm exploding, sitting on the fucking couch, asshole dripping from fucking saliva, that's how crazy the top was, all I could do is sit back and submit, I refuse to make a noise, the next thing you know, she hops on top, two condoms of course, cause I didn't know your mom, she just, you know, I can't go over there with a motherfucking goddamn menu, I mean, I've never seen that like that before. I go over there, she hops on and creams all over the condoms, spitting ooze. It was so much, it looked like like chunks of spoiled milk that's been sitting in a fucking refrigerator past the expiration date. But it didn't have a smell. So, bitch ass nigga, that's the type of menu that I would like. That's the type of home menu I would like. When I go to your home, walk to your door, your mom gives me a fucking menu of different types of sexual acts. For imaginary prices, bitch nigga. Get that ass banned. And to the little bitch ass nigga that <laughs> is uploading videos, some little 15 year old bitch ass, black ass, dumb ass, adolescent ass nigga that keeps uploading videos every time he plays me in Tekken. I know who you are, you fucking spook in training. And you'll never get the chance to play me again, you worthless dumb ass coon in training fucking splat to society ass nigga there's always some black clout chasing ass nigga that's on my dick it never fails man have i been to jail i mean something like it every time i go over your fucking mom's house i feel like i'm trapped she turns me to her fucking BBC slave relentlessly for the rest of the fucking night. I go over there for two hours to fuck. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, I'm a BBC slave for at least three days. She don't even want me to shower. She's sucking my balls all extra rusty and everything. I'm just tied up, chained to a motherfucking goddamn door. Just, just, just tied up, handcuffed. I'm like, man, my balls are rusty. You just... She's like, I like the way they taste. They taste like copper. This is the way I like sucking your balls. So I'm just stuck being, you know, I'm incarcerated basically for days when I'm over there. So hell yeah, I've been to jail. Bitch had my whole body duct taped. All I could, all she, all she had out was my dick and my balls. Everything else was duct taped. My mouth was there because she forcefully had me eating her pussy. And my dick was out and my balls was out. The rest of my body was taped up. She just kept sucking and glurping me against my will. So yeah, I've been to jail before. It damn sure felt like it. Fuck! I seem a little bit out of it. Yeah, probably. Too much forced sex from the women in your family. They just, <laughs> they caught one glimpse of me outside checking my mail and after that, before you knew it, I was a a African sex slave in a basement. Okay, here we go. Only way I could get out is if I just made each and every one of them squirt after sucking their clits like a blueberry blow pop. They each had to come three times. I did win. I definitely won because me and your mom, this is what me and your mom did. We played a special game of pool. She distracted me because she was sitting on the edge of the pool. She was sitting on the, she was sitting on the edge of the actual pool table. Legs gapped. Pussy just distracted me. I see nothing but hanging lips with a hole and ooze opening. So I couldn't even make the shot, so I had to do some trick shot shit. Got the stick, aimed it, hit it. If I made the eight ball, not only did I get 10 grand for performing and fucking your mom with two condoms, but she was gonna make the eight ball, she was gonna, she was gonna swallow the eight ball with the pussy. So I take it, grab it, bloop, the ball comes. All you just hear, bloop, and she just takes the eight ball, and I, I said, what are you going to do with it? She says, just watch. Next thing you know, I hear a flush, and it goes, 
bloop, and she just shoots the eight ball out of her motherfucking pussy with liquids and goo and cheeses all of it. Hits it in the corner pocket. And I thought I won the game, but her fucking ass won the goddamn game, nigga. So I, I, I thought I won, but... Your mom ultimately won because she shot the eight ball out of her pussy. Bitch ass nigga, get that ass bent. Shim Black, due to your treason, due to your consistent hating and crabs in a barrel, black man in America mentality that refused to evolve with time. You can buy new electronics. You can have a newer phone. You can watch new TV shows. You can stream in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Your jeans probably got a little bit tighter because baggy went out of style. Well, you know what? Being a crabs in a barrel black is just exactly being a Crabs in a barrel black. It's just that. You refuse to evolve. You want to stay stuck in the times. You want new items, but you don't want to become a new black man. To me, that doesn't make sense. If you're going to evolve with time, your mind also has to evolve. And instead of doing that, you stayed in one boxed in area not even an octagon with eight sides you're just four ways At the end of the day you're just another basic ass nigga in america and for that wholeheartedly i'm gonna have to crack your gym pull your ranch my bad wrench have you carried off with black cloaks? Hand rocks the Saturn stick. I don't even want to look at what they're going to do to you. I just snap my fingers a couple of times because that's a secret command. They're going to take you into a dark room. Undress you. Ass naked. I don't look. Cause I just let my covenant cloaks do that for me. I don't look. All I hear is screams. <laughs> Hearing shreds of clothes ripping off. I hear lube being squirted out of a bottle. The Saturn stick. The Saturn stick. I hear rocks. Enjoying himself, lubing it up. I hear. Rocks comes back out. Asks me, do I want to watch? I said, absolutely not. I, I can't. Usually I sit in my throne, but today is a different day. And next thing you know, I hear screams and grunts. And this is just how I'm visualizing it because clearly this is what's going down. They got you tied up and I just hear screams and grunts. And all I can picture is a Saturn stick slowly but betrudely going up your ass and there's nothing you can do about it. You're like, ah! <laughs> Rocks is just enjoying it. The Saturn stick, for those niggas that don't know, the Saturn stick is a long rod, a long smooth rod at the bottom, at the top, it has Saturn on it. Now we choose which side we want to use depending on the punishment. But for you, since you committed ultimate treason, <laughs> we're going to use the Saturn side. The Saturn side is just how it sounds. It looks like a planet, it has the rings, but it's still going up your ass. And Rox is gonna twist it, right? Force it, twist it, force it, jab it up to the point where you're just tapping out. You know, they say men that are gay bust nuts out of their ass. So 
Regardless of how much pain it is, you're orgasming out of your anal cavity. Wait, hold on, you don't sound like that. You're foaming at the mouth. Hold on. You're foaming at the mouth. Just twitching, fucked up. You don't understand why you busted nuts. You don't understand why you ejaculated after getting the Saturn rod put up your ass and it's got your fucking mind fucked up. All you're seeing is colors. You busted the best nuts of your life because you didn't realize that the Saturn stick could do that. You're just twitching fucked up, right? And I just, I have my cloaked members take you to the cliff that's on the outside of the manor. You're still ass naked, foaming at the mouth. Nut dripping probably from your fucking penis tip, right? Because you can't believe you busted nuts from a satyr stick. And it take you. It didn't take that much manpower to swing a nigga like you off. Take you. And I'm just sitting there in the dark with a hood over my head, watching as they swing you. They're just taking you. I give the signal. They toss you off the cliff and your naked body splashes into the waterfall as if we were watching Black Panther. Now Shin Black, my nigga, your gym and everything about you on this channel has been eradicated. We gave you too much clout as it is. Let's go ahead and refresh your channel. Looks like you might have got some more subs. I hope these niggas start watching you. Maybe we can get some ad revenue for you. One second, please. Oh, you only gained one subscriber. Shin Black, get that ass band, bitch ass nigga. You will never be seen here again, coon. Channel has been blocked. Hey, yo, could somebody ban um, Five Star Joss, skinny, crispy, black ass too? You can't even figure out how to get past 140 pounds being six foot two. So somebody ban that nigga jaw to my shit relentlessly, please. You don't even know you don't even know how to up your macros to, to get your weight up. So I'm saying you get dumb from a chick like this? Imagine getting domed from a chick like this. You gonna wake up and this bitch gonna have all types of candles around your dick. All types of weird meats, maggots, everything, praying over your dick. And you don't know if she's gonna eat it or give you that crazy African, like, top. Like, this bitch gonna be doing some weird shit on your dick. Damn, I'm like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh fuck! You gonna wait? You gonna wake up in a circle painted with ox blood, with all types of weird meats and candles and shit like that? She gonna have a machete. But come in at your dick with the machete, but she's not even going to use it to slice it. She's just going to hold it. Take one arm. And just be topping your shit off. Yeah. Last <laughs> nigga had to take to feel good about himself. That's how you know niggas are worth it. What am I looking at? A picture of your mom's titties. There's a picture of your mom's titties like literally right there on my desk. She said, make sure you take very good care of this picture. I said, all right, cool. I'm gonna just look at it when I'm streaming because it catches me off guard. Dumbass nigga, that's the fuck I'm looking at. Fuck you think I'm doing reading off a script? I nah, they not saggy because she had them shits done. Bitch is like about 48 years old. She had her titties done. While this nigga's on the game trying to stream snipe me, his mom's too busy. His mom and his dad is too busy letting the fucking black neighbor come over and BBC pipe him down. 
We got the black naked neighbor. Why this? I'm gonna just let this fucking faggot take the points. You wanna stream snipe me that bad? Take him. Kill yourself too, faggot. Get the fuck out of you. Um, this nigga's so busy trying to stream snipe me that his mom and his dad called over the nearest black man that was a neighbor that barbecued for him the day before yesterday. Showed him how to barbecue shit. You know, showed him how to barbecue on a motherfucking goddamn charcoal grill. He said no propane. This motherfucker came over. They said, hold on, before you come over, we want you to wear that kiss the cook, kiss the cook robe with nothing else under it. And you got to wear Vaseline all over your body. This dude comes over. At first, his pops was recording it. You know, his pops was recording his mom. He had banged out, long stroke, busted inside her everything. Now the trick was, he threw out a couple of racks that said 10,000 on each band to rap. If the dad said, the nigga that I'm playing right now, the nigga that stream sniping me, this fucking clown, this nigga's pop said, all right, well, hold on. I got a pop, I, got, I have a, I, I get a pop position for you. Because this nigga is probably Mexican. Most Mexicans play Blanca. Or whatever the fuck he is. He said, I have a proposition for you. He said, all right, well, nigga, what is it? I give you $20,000 if you fuck me in the ass. He was like, hold on a second. Hold on. You telling me you going to give me $20,000 if I fuck you in the ass? Can I use a condom? I, my friend, I, you use whatever you want, but I want you to fuck me in the ass. It's $20,000. You want to take it or do you not? He said, hold on a minute. Uh, you ain't got no cameras in here nothing, do you? Like, the, the, the offer is on the table. Do you want to fuck me or not? The dude said, all right, my nigga, bend the fuck over. Goes ahead and fucks this nigga. Why he in there fucking playing, stream sniping me. His pops is in there getting fucked right after his motherfucking mom. Why do you think this nigga stream sniping every tag? He bored in a quarantine when both of his parents is fucking the neighbor with the BBC. When am I coming out? Uh, I mean, usually when I'm fucking your mom, I'm usually in there for about a good three hours because I usually bust the first nut in about 56 minutes, sometimes 58 minutes. But when I'm done, she just keeps sucking me off to get my dick back hard and I gotta keep fucking and keep fucking and keep fucking and giving her her fucking money's worth. So it'll probably take me about approximately three hours and 26 minutes to come out. Come out of your mom's fucking bedroom, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass banned the fuck out of here. Somebody ban that dude too. I'm not decent at third strike. I'm excellent. I'm Matter of fact, I'm gonna time you out for that shit, bitch ass nigga. Don't ever disrespect me calling me decent at the game I specialize in, bitch. I bet your girl's top is decent. That's why you all over slobbering all over my virtual cock, clown. You said smug is badass with G? Somebody ban him. There's no such thing as being badass with G. He's a broken, easy mode character. Somebody ban that nigga right now. Thank you. Peace out. You actually giving somebody credit playing with G. You're a fucking moron. You out of here. He gonna sit over here and say smug it. Nigga, the character is easy mode. Would I bone Lizzo for four grand? No. I wouldn't even accept top from Lizzo for four grand. I would have to be paid double digit stacks to have a night of sex. And not even a night of... Well, you know what? That's easy for me. I, like, the way I bust, there's no vagina that's so good to me where I just have to come. I bust when I feel like it. I bust when... That woman has already ejaculated multiple times. That's when I bust. I'm not, see, if I'm gonna have sex with somebody, I'm making sure that that woman is orgasming first because I'm guaranteed to bust. I'm not gonna sit over here and just bust first. I need to be, I, see when I make, see the thing about it, let me tell you guys something. When you're fucking somebody or when you're giving a woman oral sex, your goal shall always be to make them orgasm. Why? Because you'll always have an implant in the temporal lobe. When you make a woman orgasm and squirt and suck her clit great, I'm telling you, she will never forget you. It might be one year, two year, three years, four year, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I guarantee you, the bitch will never forget you if you make her bust a nut. Now, if you just fuck, get your nut in, oh, 
all over and get it done quick, she gonna forget you existed. You're just gonna be another dick on the list. And then somebody else is gonna come from behind, maybe fuck her good, give her some bust nuts, and you'll just be a blur in, a blur in her past. But if you make these chicks bust, suck the clitoris, suck the clitoris with pristine. Long, deep strokes with rhythm. I guarantee you, I don't care how long it's been, she's always gonna remember you. Like, if you make Lizzo orgasm, you ain't gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to get rid of her. But who knows, Lizzo might be one of the most loyal chicks on the planet. She probably get that crazy sloppy top. You know when a chick, this is how you know when a chick is desperate. When she start, when she give you crazy top. When you get that top, that's just when a bitch be like, ah, rah, 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 rah. and I be like, oh, shit. That's how you know she desperate. Or that's how you know she really want a man. If she give you that, re not that Hillary Clinton top. I mean, not Hillary Clinton, Hillary Banks top. They're like, eh. <laughs> but we talking about that crazy, like, I'll be like, oh, all right. With it. <laughs> There's a difference. You can always tell in a woman's top game. Ah, uh, <laughs> you, you niggas still on that shit? Well, I did lie about my age for one specific reason because your mom said that she thought that I was sexy, but I didn't meet you know the age bracket so i like i put on like a fake beard put on a fedora made my voice extra deep like yeah you know i acted like i was like 48 went in there with the disguise and everything popped out the dick put it on the table served it we did we did role play i served it right i had the bbc on the table with shrimp around it strawberries Salad, fucking cranberries, everything. And all she had to do was come closer and gobble and gobble and gobble and gobble and gobble till she got to the tip. Start sucking me off and I just busted a hot nut in her motherfucking mouth all over the shrimp, strawberries, chicken, whatever the fuck. All over the hors d'oeuvres, bitch ass nigga. I made her a EB. I made her a motherfucking... BBC, I almost said an EBT, a BBC hors d'oeuvre, bitch ass nigga. That's why I lied about it. I suck my dick, clown ass bitch. Shit, I said EBT because she bought all that shit. She bought all the, the hors d'oeuvres with a fucking EBT card, bitch ass nigga. Now somebody ban that dude ASAP. Where's my girlfriend? I mean... Technically, you should be asking yourself that question because you need to ask your girl where she was at at 7 26 p.m. Approximately last night She slid in my DMs asking me for a peace flick. I said wait a minute. I don't usually do that She said just please I never seen a BBC before I said all right, whatever went to my archive sent or recycled one She seen the dick Next thing you know We're exchanging numbers She's sending me oozing pussy videos. I said, well, how's the smell? She says, what do you mean? I said, well, how's the smell? You know, the cream that's coming out of your vagina. She said, all right, well, we were on FaceTime, right? Did this shit. She sticks it in her pussy on FaceTime, takes a whiff, and tells me that it smells like, oh my God, it's so, it's like a sexy smell. I said, what the fuck is a sexy smell? She keeps smelling, and I'm getting scared, and my eyes are getting bigger, and I'm starting to, to, to pant a little bit like because I'm nervous you know she told me to send her a picture to BBC so she could basically see what the fuck is good and she says it kind of smells like oh my god have you had like that that thing at Red Lobster I was like my eyes got really big I was like Red Lobster why are you associating the smell of your actual pussy cream with Red Lobster and I said yes keep going she said it kind of smells like that that um, appetizer you get where it's like all the shrimp and it's like the the red sauce. I said, excuse me, bitch. And I just got the fuck right off FaceTime. I was like, nah, I'm cool. Hung up on her. Never talked to her again. I was straight. Fuck that. The bitch basically tried to make it like her pussy cream was supposed to smell like shrimp to turn me on. I was like, absolutely not. 
So ask your girl where she where she was at at 726. You know what I'm saying? And see where the fuck she was at. Because she was trying to get me to convince me that her pussy was supposed to smell like basically unthawed shrimp with that fucking red shit. What is that? Cocktail sauce? The fuck out of here, nigga. Like there was this. Oh, y'all didn't pay me enough. Never mind. I'm not going to tell you that story. But yeah, don't even trip. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Clown in a dick size, that's something that's something like uh yeah, that's what that's what I always said. Like of course, you know, I ain't gotta worry about that, but for the men out there, if you got a small cock or a BBC Junior or a micro or a TV remote, the generic kind, you know, or just something to work where you can uh, you know, you got your little seven inches and you cool. If that's what you got, remember it's all genetics. It's all genetics. You can't help the type of cock you got. You're stuck with that cock. There's not a surgery you can get. Nothing. All you can do is penis pump it and gas station it. Gas station pill it. For all you guys is trying to reach that extra girth and length, all you could do is get a penis pump or get those uh, gas station bullet pills. It's just not in your genetic code to have one of those, you know, pythons. And that's okay. Don't ever let a woman tell you that your cock's small. I'd be like, look, baby. If I had to deal with that type of shit, I'd be like, look, baby. Don't you know that penis size is genetics? I can't help that people that smash since the beginning of time accidentally lined up at the correct place in time. And I happen to be here and my cock's mediocre or my cock's small. You can't clown me for that. That's not even ethical. You clowning my dick size is telling me that my dick size is mediocre. It's like, it's, it's just something that just doesn't even make sense because it's something that I can't control. So if you're one of those guys out there with a head connected to a nutsack, now, there's nothing I can really do to help you. I mean, there's really nothing you can do with that but stroke the, the opening of a vagina. And you're just here to reproduce. Sex for you, it'll never be something that could be fully enjoyed because you can't even slide in the deep dimensions of a vag or even the quarter dimensions of a vag. So if you got a micro dick, there's really nothing I can tell you. But um, for all my guys out there that, you know, got the mediums, the BBC juniors, the BBCs, you know, the horse cocks, I mean, you know, enjoy yourself. Yeah, micro dick. There, a micro dick. I don't. You just better be rich at that point. You got? Does anybody here know what a micro dick is? A micro dick is when your dick is so small, it's literally a head connected to a nutsack. Even on erection, your shit never extends. There's nothing you can do about that. Your cock is damn near useless. You can't back shot. You can't get rolled. All you can do is missionary for life. You might as well have a clitoris. At that point, if you got a, a micro dick, you might as well have a clitoris. That's basically what your dick is. An enlarged clitoris. Yeah, that's all it is. Why are we talking about... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can't do positions. You can't... You know, there's just certain things you just can't do. Like, a lot of things is off limits for you as a man. If you get dumb, the woman definitely has to index finger. She has to use her index finger and uh, and thumb to stroke you. Man, a lot of us in this chat, man, we don't really know how blessed we are, man. Let me tell you guys something. No matter how unattractive you are, man, if you have a, a decent-sized cock, just hit the gym. 
That's all you gotta do, man. If you believe that you're ugly, if you're a, you believe you're an ugly man, I'm telling you, man, just hit the gym, get a great body. Listen, it, it, that shit will turn you into a, a goddamn a fucking toad to a prince. Just get your body right. That's all you gotta do. Being attract, like I say all the time, being attractive is a mutation anyway. Like it's rare that people are attractive. Like humans aren't really like a good-looking species like that. Like when you walk around, like how many, how many good-looking chicks do you actually see when you go into stores? Where you just be like, ooh, or do you just see some like, ah, fuck? Because attractive people don't really exist like that on a regular basis. You just see some like, ah. But you always be like, oh shit. Because being attractive is a fucking mutation. Alright, let's just tell a box story. So there used to be this girl, right? Well, she's obviously a woman now. But there used to be this, you know, this chick. I'm she used to be a hot hold on we'll talk about that after this my bad mike was muted and i started telling this story all right so let's get to this story so basically hopefully nobody in the rest of you. there was this cuban girl and uh you know we met offline you know in the myspace days or whatever we were both teenagers whatever and fucking so basically the first time we met up we smashed she came through, I was wearing a, sh a baggy ass Sean John Balor with forces with a, you know, with a white tee under it, two fake ass chains. I thought I was hot shit. She came through, we ended up smashing. Um, from that point on, she became obsessed. No, she didn't have a fat ass. She had big ass titties though. If any of you niggas seen her back then, definitely you'd be like, oh my God, she's a fucking dime piece. Oh shit. She was very attractive, but, um, so let's fast forward to all this shit. So me and this chick, we was battling for years. Because when I met her, I was talking to her, but I never wanted to be in a relationship with her. Even when I was a teenager, I never wanted to be in a relationship with her because all she did was party. All you would see her is at parties and shit on social media, dancing, all this corny ass shit. And so I made somebody else my girlfriend. When she found out about that, she refused to stop fucking with me. So... Hold on. All right, so let's get back to this shit. So basically, I'm just going to do whatever I want. But she refused to stop fucking with me because she just couldn't get over the fact that I had actually got a girlfriend while I was talking to her. So for years, like her and my girlfriend at the point in time would just basically battle each other. One time I let her come through and... I was like, all right, I'm going to go use the bathroom. I didn't know that she snapped a picture of her on my bed. She snaps a picture of herself on my bed with her bra, with her big ass titties, with like a face like, yeah, I did that. Posted all over my space, tags are in it. So I got caught up that way. Um, basically, one of the stories that, and this is a story where it gets mixed up for some reason. This is what, for all of you that don't know, this is the girl that actually ruined anal for me. It's not that fake ass story talking about, oh, where I did this story and it was about Elena or some shit. This had nothing to do with her. The anal story, it literally came from this girl, the Cuban piece. So the Cuban piece was willing to try everything with me. And I just wanted to get some things out of my system. So the, one of the reasons why we'll never do anal again, right? For all of you that don't, for all of you that don't know, one of the reasons why I will never do anal in my life again is because I tried the anal with this chick. So I put the tip in. I'm putting it in. She's like, Aah! just moaning, screaming. And hold on, let me turn the camera on. And I put the tip in. She just moaning, screaming. Aah! I was like, you want me to stop? She's like, no, just keep going. This is what you want. Yeah, exactly. The hot dookie story is the same chick. But I'm going to tell you that part, then I'm going to tell you the part where I just basically stopped smashing her. So basically, I try to keep going, but I'm in, but I'm smelling like a huge gust of fart. And I was just like, I'm stroking, but I'm like, you guys ever like, 
back shot. You guys ever back shot a chick before and you like try to cover up the asshole while stroking because you didn't want to smell pussy. So you covered up that area so the fumes didn't come up and hit you. So you was just going to finish it. You know, you're just going to finish your smash, but try to cover up that stench. Right? So you just like, basically like, it's just a horse, but you're just covering up the shit. So, <laughs> I tried it. I couldn't handle it. I just took it out. All you can smell is just wind of just dookie. Like, dookie wind just hit me in the nose. I was like, all right, fuck it. Put it out. Pulled it out. Rinsed it. Got a claw. Said, fuck it. I'll take the pussy instead. Never fucked anyone in the ass again. But one of the other stories, so she comes through late night after the club, dance, practice, whatever the fuck she came. She came through looking good, had on white pants, like a white sparkling bikini top. And uh, of course she wanted the D. So she got undressed. I go to, you know, I didn't even do pussy eating or anything like that. I go to slide in and I smell like this, just this cheese odor. And I pulled out. And I was just like, I said, you know what? I'm just, can we just postpone or something? And she was just like, why do you want to postpone? And she like got up and like stood against the wall like this. And she's like, why do you want to postpone? I didn't tell her, but I didn't have the same mouthpiece I did back then. So I didn't tell her because he was foul. I was just like, oh, I'm just not in the mood to fuck anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just not in the mood. And this bitch would not leave until I fucked her. So I was forced to fuck. I just went ahead, just got on top, smashed, got it over with, and I was forced to fuck, and she didn't leave till 5 a.m. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was forced to fuck. After that, we didn't even really fuck around again like that anymore. Nah, but the infidelity story is this. So, there was a point in time in my life where I just, like, cheated on every last girl because, you know, I was young and dumb. All I cared about was sneakers and bitches. Oh, there was plenty of times. I, yeah, it was it was a me, yeah, it was medium hard. It wasn't, like, no full, full-on BBC bulging with things. So there was this time um, I was with this chick, but I just didn't care about fucking with multiple bitches. So I got this girl over. Cascading, back shot, and everything. We had a night full of sex, a night full of head, night full of sex, everything. This is when I still had my own apartment. It's like my first apartment. So I made up a story and told the girl that I was with. I told her I was tired, blah, blah, blah. Um, just trying to make up some bullshit ass excuse that didn't even sound believable. And she had a key to my spot. So. We had a night full of sex and everything. I, I keep checking my phone like, shit, hopefully this bitch don't show up because she probably think I'm on some bullshit. So it's like, I think it's like five in the morning. Five, six close in the morning. After the whole, I think I was in the middle of eating this girl out. This was after we had a night full of sex. I start to hear my door open, but my roommate is home. I start to hear my door open. I was like, what the fuck? I look out, and it's my actual girlfriend at the time. I look at the peephole, it's her. She's trying to get in. I'm, like, closing the door. I'm, like, relocking it. It's like, let me the fuck in. Let me in. Going crazy, going wild. And I'm just, like, locking the door and everything. So I locked the door. And fucking I told the bitch, I was like, get dressed, get dressed. So, matter of fact, my roommate wasn't home. This is what saved me. So my roommate wasn't home. So I told the bitch to get dressed, um... Had her, I was like, all right, I'm gonna let you in. But I was like, the only reason I'm gonna let you in is because you can't just come to my motherfucking house like this, blah, blah, blah. So I told the other girl to go in my roommate's room. And I said, when I open the door, hop out the window. I open the door, I have vagina juice all over my face and everything. But I tried to act like I was asleep. The other girl hops out the window. She comes in like, why the fuck did you open a fucking door? Who are you fucking? Goes, checks rooms, but of course she wasn't going to check my roommate's room. Checks rooms and everything like that. And uh, basically I got away with it because she hopped out of my fucking roommate's room. But I still couldn't really explain the vagina juice. I was just, I told her I like, I was just having a wild sleep and was slobbering everywhere. But basically, yeah, the bitch hopped out of my roommate's room, which was on the other side of the apartment. And yeah, basically I never got caught.
But with that girl, I got caught cheating so many times. But that was, I don't know. I was just young and stupid as fuck. The only kind of issues I got is when I go over your motherfucking house at night when you sleep, when you're done watching my stream. Your mom asks you if you want a glass of that ice cold Kool-Aid before bed. Of course you obliged. But little did you know, your mom put a fucking sleeping pill, crushed it up into dust, put it in your Kool-Aid. You sipped it up. Thank you, mommy. Slipped it up. Drink it up. Before you know, you were out like a light. I come creeping in in a pair of overalls with no tank top under it. Come creeping in. I said, is he asleep? She's like, of course he's asleep. I gave him, some, you know, a sleeping pill and his Kool-Aid. I was like, hold on, what flavor? She said, grape, of course. I said, now you're being racist. Anyways, look, let's get down to business. So she promised me some of that good pussy. Boom. She bends over immediately for back shots. I was like, cool. I go to slide the dick in. And she grabs my BBC and aims it in a different area before you know I was falling in a hot hole that smelled like straight up public bathroom dookie. Good thing I had on two condoms and I got the fuck out of there as soon as I took two strokes since I couldn't handle the smell. Get that ass banned, bitch ass nigga. Fucking clown. Why am I mad? Because your mom promised me some of that gorgeous, gracious, old woman fellatio top put her goddamn lips on my dick it felt like two pieces of paper rubbing against it with a fucking goddamn wet sponge in the middle she promised me hot dome i didn't get shit dick was as limp as if i was if i accidentally stumbled up over lesbian porn bitch ass nigga get that ass bent. i'm roasting the fuck out of this nigga why do i play a game i just get bodied in it's like, I don't know, it's like the same stigma, too. Like, I, I sometimes I ask myself that same thing. You know, I, I ask myself that same thing when I'm fucking your sister. It's like, why do I keep fucking when I know the pussy's loose? I keep sliding in, I keep trying to create friction. And it's still loose when I fuck. Like, I got girth with swingage. And when I slide in, I don't feel anything. I just feel like I just stepped into a hot room. I just feel like I stepped into my room after a long day with no AC. You know? So it's like that it's like kind of like the same thing. I'm like I could still play this. I can still fuck your sister cuz it's pussy. And it you know, like it's a juggling thing. Now get that ass band. What do you do? I tell him. I just be like, after the first encounter, I'll text him and be like, yo, um, you had a slight aroma. Like, it was this one time this chick thought that she was like a fire piece. I was like, you know, so we we banged or whatever. And, you know, she came through. We ended up banging or whatever. Uh, me, I'll just, I don't ever make moves on a chick either. I'll just lay there and just watch a movie. I put on a movie and I'll just lay there. And um, I just let them make the move. Because me, I'm not the one sitting there horny or, or anything like that. I'd be like, all right, is she going to top me? Or I'm going to just lay here. I'm going to make sure I'm smelling all good. You know, just got finished doing push-ups, making sure my biceps are solid, chest chiseled, abs to pop. And I just lay back. And back to the story, the chick low-key got frustrated. Yeah, there's, it's almost a rare that I ever make a move on a woman. I just don't. Because to me, a woman, should, it's just sexier when she wants it. So we just land next to each other. And she's like, you know what? Enough with this movie. Like, let's get down to business. You know what I came here for? I was like, well, shit, okay. I thought she had great tits. She took off the shirt. Uh, tits, gravity hit them a little bit more. It was like the type where you flip them and they just fall. It wasn't perky, it was like, like I said, it was the type of titty where it, it can cuff over the index and the thumb. And, uh, you know, she was on top of me and shit like that. We didn't start fucking yet, but I was squeezing her tits. I, have, I hate kissing in general. 
But I went ahead, kissed her, got it over with, whatever. Took off her shirt, was not impressed with the tits. Let me tell you guys something. Titties, almost 95%, always look better in the bra. Titties almost always look worse outside the bra. Usually they flap. Boobs are great to look at and a nice bra. As soon as you pop those shits out, gravity hits them and they boom, boom. That's why I like small titties better than big ones. Because small ones are like perfect. And they just like, they barely, gravity don't really attack them that much. And their nipples are like bomb little pepperonis. That's the kind that you gotta, you don't even have to do too much. It is out there already. You can just hurry up and start sucking them. You know what I'm saying? Those big titties, you gotta suck the nipple out of the titty. That's why I don't really, big titties, I don't know. If you got them, cool. But if you don't, I'm not tripping. Just please have some ass. So, um, you know. We basically get down to business. Now, she fucked up for one because she didn't give me dumb. When a chick does not give me top, you ruined the whole sex capade. Head is required. I don't care if your top's trash. Most chicks' top ain't phenomenal anyway. You gotta coach them. But top must be a thing. If the vagina does not come with the head, I don't want it, and I'm not gonna be able to operate it a full extension. You're gonna get that lukewarm BBC, that, you know, that swingable BBC. You're not gonna get that hardcore rock. So she didn't, she didn't even wanna, she didn't, not that she didn't want to, she just didn't top. I was thinking like, why would she not blow me? Like, so I was already turned off off that, but I was just gonna fulfill with the job because she was like, all right, love, what are we doing, blah, blah, blah. So. This chick was extremely confident. You know, I lay her down, get on top, start stroking. I mean, it was okay, but I'm not fascinated with the with the feeling of 90% of vaginas. Um, I slide in, I'm stroking, faking it, oh, all that type of shit, acting like it was good. She loved it or whatever. Um, so I, I was like, flip over. So she bends over, puts her ass super in the air. I start to stroke. Take a couple of strokes. And you know, I kind of like let my dick fall out a bit. And then I, t I get a whiff of like the typical vagina smell. That fishy pussy aroma. And I just went like this. She was bent over and I just kind of reared back. I just kind of like reared all the way back. And just hit like this. Because I was just trying to, I, I didn't want to smell shit. So I, I was going to finish for her, but I just kind of held her ass at a distance and just stroked from afar. You know, got it over with. And now this chick was mediocre. I had kicked it with her a couple of times because, and she was like, I'm wondering why you didn't like try to make any moves on me or anything. I said, because I was just enjoying your company. Like me, I don't like... I don't ever put sex into the equation. When it comes to women, I never bring up, oh, let's fuck. I don't do that type of shit. If we get to it, cool. If not, hey, man, see you in the next lifetime. So she told me some funny shit. Um, she was like, yeah, so when am I gonna, when am I gonna get that dick again? I was like, shit, um, whenever I have a little bit of time. She's like, all right, cool. And she was like, you're lucky that I let you, that I let you fuck me in the first place. And I'm thinking in my head, like, hold on a second. I must have, I grabbed my mirror. You know, the kind where you do your hair. I grabbed my mirror. No, she was Egyptian. I grabbed my mirror and I just stared at myself. And I was like, did this bitch just tell me that I was lucky to fuck her? For one, she was like five foot one. If you're short. I'm already turned off because we can't procreate. So if you're too short, we can't even really... Our genetics shouldn't even be mixing in the first place. Like, I shouldn't even be smashing you anyway. So I looked in the mirror. I was like, man, this bitch is short. The pussy had an aroma to it. She didn't top me. And it's not even somebody I would, like, look twice at if I was in a grocery store. It was just kind of like... You know, it was a job or something like that. So I told her in the text message. She's like, yeah, I still haven't healed up yet anyway. I said, let me be honest with you. 
and I text her and I said not to be blah 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 but the vagina had a slight aroma to it she's like what do you mean slight aroma I said it had a scent like when you bent over and I was smashing from the back it had a scent and she's like whatever she's like that's bullshit she's like my vagina never has a scent I was just like okay well I'm just letting you know just for future references whether it's me or somebody else your vagina had a scent never heard from her again and I don't give a fuck either I don't know, it's just, it's crazy to me how, like, a chick can be bougie or arrogant, and your pussy can stink. Like, how many women can you take a finger, go inside their vagina, and pull it out, and it's just not gonna smell like nothing? But then you got the right to be arrogant at all, or acting like I gotta work for something that could have a smell to it? Nah. For green members only, because it's like... Here's right. some chump change. Right, we know you broke, by the way. We laugh at you, not with you. Can't a help. Couple of donations. You need Jesus. How's that acting career coming along? I am sure Hollywood is beating down your doors. Yiggity. Let's see here. So we got ten dollars from a nigga named Banks. Well, I mean Hollywood. I mean, not rest, not necessarily Hollywood is beating down my doors because they don't really beat down doors. Uh, but I do beat down your mom's walls. But I mean, I'm getting tired of fucking her. It's the same type of friction day in and day out. I'm basically doing it for a fee at this point. Thank you for your 10. Go ahead and do your chargeback. I'm going to go ahead and ban you from uh, donating to me. And continue to suck my dick every time I go live. Virtually, please, only. Let's go ahead and ban you for life. Like, I'll never forget. This is when I was like 18, right? So I had this uh, Filipino girlfriend. She was like my second real girlfriend. Yeah, she was my second real girlfriend. And we used to smash all the time and everything like that. I never, I don't know, I never smelled pussy or anything, but eventually I started smelling vagina. And it was like a stench vagina. And uh, one time we were in the shower and I get on my knees to suck her clit. And it kind of like tasted like this salty like it's like this salty it's hard to explain it's salty but bitter smell and it had a scent to it but I was 18 so I wasn't LTG yet nothing right I wasn't even Delon Sparrow yet so I didn't have this attitude or anything like that so I lift up the head of her clit when we were in the shower, cause we used to shower and shit together. My mom was always at work, so I was doing shit I had no business doing. I lifted up the head of her clit, and she just had all this just gook and just cheese up under her clit. And I was like, I scooped a little bit, and I was like, you know you gotta lift the head of your clit and clean this, right? And she's like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, babe, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, like that. You got to get up under there. After that, I never smelled their pussy file again. She cleaned up the problem. So some chicks, you could clean them up. I mean, of course, I wouldn't go for that shit now. But she fixed the problem. Of course, we didn't last because, yeah. But, you know, I still know her to this day. She's a cool chick. Got like three kids and shit now with her husband. But it's just crazy, like, when I think about stories like that. Like, all it, like, a lot of these chicks that I see acting like bad bitches and all that, I be seeing these stories of, like, man, little do these people know, like, this bitch's pussy stinks. Because frame data does exist, you fucking retard. How the fuck you gonna tell me what kind of fight I've been in? But I'm gonna tell you the type of fight that I have been in, too, guaranteed, since you think I've never been in a fight. The only type of fight I've really been in sexually with your mom is the type of fight where she promised me that she was gonna have a pussy that tasted like fresh strawberries and cream when i went down and ate her vagina she had on a nice robe 
I said, don't wear no panties, nothing. I just want everything riding out. She lays on the bed, gaps both legs. I see nothing but a motherfucking Playboy jungle. I decided to take one for the team since I did spend about $40 in gas money to go down to West Covina to meet your mom. You were asleep, by the way. She went ahead and knocked you out with that Kool-Aid with sleeping pills in it. And uh, the only thing I was fighting was all the pubes and the pubic hair in my teeth getting in between my motherfucking goddamn two front teeth because the pussy was so hairy. So I was fighting the pubes trying to get through the old Playboy vatch till I could get to the clip. And when I finally got through it, it was nothing but gook, lint, old toilet paper and shit. And I just said, fuck it and got the fuck out of there. Call Bitch ass nigga, get that ass bin. He said he had to play soft so I wouldn't rage quit. I just didn't rage just because I wasn't in the mood. His voice is soft. His hairline is soft. Nigga, put that Red Bull cap on, my nigga. You lost your hairline like fucking five years ago, my nigga. 2014, you lost your hairline. I didn't quit because I felt sorry for a nigga that's bold. I felt sorry for you still trying to keep that motherfucking Carl Winslow hairline. That's why I didn't quit. You didn't have to play soft, bitch ass nigga. You play with Zangief. And by the way, your stream setup looks bootleg to hide your mic. You talking in a mic doesn't make you look professional. This motherfucker Snake Eyes look like anybody seen Coming to America? Snake Eyes look like the dad on Coming to America with that extra receding ass hairline. Still trying to rock hair. The fuck out of here, nigga. Come on, you had to play soft saw with rage quit. Nigga, I did you a favor. I could have blacklisted your fucking Hershey black ass. Don't get it twisted, McDowell. I had to play soft so he wouldn't rage quit. Motherfucker, stay searching for clout. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up and play. You know the fuck you playing, bitch. Oh, fake ass nigga. That's why your ass is trash and can't place. You need Street Fighter. And still can't place. So I'm saying people always talking shit. Every time they go against me so they could get some sort of some sort of fake rivalry in their streams. That bald ass nigga should be ashamed of himself. Period. Damn, I wish I had Gil right now for this shit. Nigga could not just play the game without saying something. He had to say some cornball shit to try to make his bald ass seem superior. That's what I'm saying, like... Nigga, we had 1k views because of... Oh, hold on. He got 1k views now? Are you talking about... I don't know. I thought a nigga with blue check would have 1k. You're not interesting, bald ass nigga. That's why. I'm losing in Street Fighter. I got more viewers than you. I'm talking about 25 streak. Fucking dad hairline ass nigga. At least get swole. How you gonna be bald, black, and not swole? 400. Imagine that though. Imagine having like a measly. I don't know. I, how you stuck at 32k followers for years anyway? Because you're not. I mean, all your followers came from Street Fighter 4 days. You're not doing shit as a tournament player now. All you could do is play tournaments when you do. Uh, you can't place. On top of that, you have no charisma. Your hairline's gone. Uh, you're sitting there streaming in a room with a blanket background or some shit. You're trash, my dude. I don't know why people always talking shit every time they get fucking ranked up against me. Blue check with 400 with 400 followers on a Twitch fucking stream, nigga. You got all the fucking goddamn tools you need. I could pull in more views losing every game than a, than a nigga that wins with a blue check. I'm just saying, like. I, I play this I don't know what the fuck his name is snake eyes for cuz nigga ain't cool or nothing That's some that's somebody that would be cool, right? I remember I used to think snake eyes was cool when I was like when I first got into the FGC I remember I first seen him at a local in a, I don't know what this was Fucking like the brink of Street Fighter 4 days. I was like, oh this black dude's cool. He plays with a pad just like me That nigga's a complete cornball We know you don't got show him spot. You win. Yeah. 
What's wrong? Because the nigga talked some shit. We got matched up in this. This is how it always happens, right? I don't just say shit for no reason. I'm, I am I'm blacklisted everybody. I'm playing, I'm playing this fucking McDowell ass nigga from fucking, uh, from coming to America with the fucked up McDowell hairline. The dude says he had to play soft so I wouldn't rage quit. No, I just wasn't in the mood to rage quit. I could have left after the first game. So of course you're going to get roasted. McDowell. You, like I said, you can't be bald black with a fucked up hairline and skinny. You gotta be bald black and swole. How many bald black swole niggas have you guys seen? Something's gotta give. Trigger. They got one of the blackest names on the planet too. Trying to make his voice extra soft on stream. Well, actually, I I I just I had to play soft so he could get a win. That ain't making your shit no more appealing. Are you making any money on Twitch? Man, you know who the fuck, matter of fact, you know who uh who this nigga looks like? Um Remember the fucking the boy off the boy off uh well not boy, but the dude off my wife and kids, the retarded ass son that acted dumb on purpose. That's what Snake Eyes looks like. He got one of those, but it's but the dude on that show his hairline was actually better. Yeah, Junior, yeah. But just crispier though. Oh, we got we got McDowell here with that receding ass fucking hairline again, guys. Receding hairline on deck. You don't want to lose to me, bald man. Let's get you some Bosley. Have your stream donate for that Bosley medical. Let's get that hairline back. Let's get that hairline back, baby. Uh-oh, the bald ass nigga might win his hairline. They better be donating to this nigga in this stream. He need that hairline surgery, baby. Somebody better donate you a thousand dollars for this. Fuck out of here, man. Receding hairline ass nigga. He did two things out of my million reads and was able to pull off a victory. That's what this game is about. This bald, you could tell he was nervous as fuck too. You could tell his head was so goddamn sweaty, just dripping in that 90 degree weather. Can't even probably cut on his motherfucking goddamn AC. He like, mom, can I cut on the AC? They're like, damn, you know you, you know you ain't cutting no AC no one thirty five in the morning. Motherfucker was nervous as fuck. Sit your bitch ass down, bald boy. Oh, he said he had to play soft or I was going to rage quit. Uh-oh. Damn, Snake Eyes lost to the worst, the the sorriest nigga in the FGC. And I still got my hairline intact. Hairline still intact from all the stress from losing all these games to niggas online. All of them. Look at that was fucking bullshit, man. Do you see what I had to guess? I, I dead ass had to guess. This sorry ass nigga just with, went with that cop out fucking victory. Come on, man. That nigga's not a better player than me. That nigga's trash. This nigga just did SPDs relentlessly over and over and over again. You can't get out of it. <clears throat> it's a 50-50. I was like, hold on. <clears throat> I was like, hold on. This bald ass nigga's not going to continuously keep doing it, right? Hold on. Hold on, Deontay. What'd you say? Hold on a second. We have a possible treason. Deontay said, you said, I, he, you said he did what to me? If I would have just backdash at least one of the times, I could have got out the mix up, but it's a 50-50. I could sit there and be like, nah, he's not going to SPD again, jumps in. Nah, he's not going to SPD again, dash in. Nah, he's not going to SPD again. Come on, man. Here's what I'm going to do, my nigga. Red gem and all. I'm going to sting you. I'm going to crush your gem into dust. You know what I'm going to do? You ever seen as above is below? I'm going to take your red gem, crush it into dust, sprinkle it over somebody that just got their head busted open, and it's going to heal up the cut, nigga. We're going to put your gem to use. 
That ruby is disintegrated. Alchemy on your bitch ass, nigga. You out of here. Mods, take care of him. Crush that motherfucking gem and use it as alchemy to sprinkle over those wounds. You out of this bitch. Ultimate Grandmaster, my ass. Get the fuck out of here, man. Go get you some of that Rogaine, though. And for goodness sakes, when the quarantine is over, hit the gym. You can't be bald, black, and skinny. Those three don't mix. You gotta have some sort of attribute. Right now, you look like a normal nigga in a DMV. Motherfucker wore that Red Bull hat for so long. I was like, damn, when they gonna drop this nigga? He not winning nothing. Wore the Red Bull hat for so long, we thought he was still fucking sponsored. Lo and behold, they dropped his ass three, three, four years ago. He's still wearing a Red Bull hat to cover up that goddamn circular hairline. Talk about the matchup 8-2. The only thing is 8-2 and two is your motherfucking hairline. That shit go 8 inches back, 2 inches across, nigga. That's what's 8-2. and two. No more clout for you. Hopefully them gifted subs to help you get some mass gainer or something. Or a consultation with Bosley. That's a fact. Because you need it. Or get you some fiber or something. You know you can order hair fiber. Look, let me check Amazon right now. Let's see if we can help this motherfucker out. One of you guys relate a message. Fiber is black. $25. The crown hair fibers. He could actually spray this shit on and get a razor. Uh, um... You know, one of the good hairline razors the barbers use, he could actually spray it with... So here, let me, let me give... Um, when do you guys want to record this for Snake Eyes? So, look. So I got some business cards here from people, you know, shit people gave me. So I'm, what Snake Eyes can do is literally this. He can take this card. Now, see me, I don't have to do this because my it's, in, it's not in my genetic code to, to need this. But he could actually order... The um is something called crown hair fibers and it's keratin hair fibers and it thickens it helps instantly thicken the thinning or balding. Hold on, let me read the directions real quick. Let me put on my FGC voice. Hold on a sec, guys. So crown hair fibers, best keratin hair fibers, instantly thickens thinning or balding hair for men and women in natural hair loss. So it's black too, so it's perfect. And he's got like, you know, a Hershey's skin tone, so it'll be perfect for him. So here's what Snake Eyes has to do. You take this business card, you probably got an old debit card or something, and you put it right there and you go ksks, 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 into any type of a lineup you want, and you just precise it with this, and then you just, you know, that's what the barbers be doing on Instagram. And you just spray those hair fibers right where you want your hairline where it's supposed to be, but it's not your genetic code, and you're good to go. And you just got a whole, you literally have an infinite hairline at this point. Because all you got to do is pay $25 per can. Hold on. Let, let me. Hold up. Let's make it dark. Damn, y'all can't see that. But it's called Crown Hair Fibers. And it's $25 a spray can. So he can actually um, fix his hairline easily. It might not be permanent, but it's 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 better than being black, bald, and skinny. You know, you gotta have something. You gotta have a hairline, or you gotta be swole. You can't you can't strike three all of those. Do I stick my tongue in a hole? Tongue bang in the pussy? Yeah, if it's fresh and clean. But I gotta really I gotta really be feeling the girl to tongue bang. I'm not just tongue banging any normal. I gotta really be feeling. You gotta earn that tongue bang. You only you only tongue bang women that you really feeling. You don't just tongue bang a regular that you just smash in real quick. I call it tongue bang. When you can tongue bang a vagina, you know it's you know it's fresh and clean. That's that's what makes you want to do it. What population of women got a stanky badge? I would say about 90% of women walking the globe got a stank ass pussy. That's true. Some pussies do. If you suck the clip for too long, it's like you're sucking on a copper penny. I dead ass think that 90% of vaginas stink on this planet. I haven't fucked a really fat girl, but I fucked a big bitch. 
but she knew how to like hide she knew how to hide her roles and shit you know she's one of them big bitches that would like hide her cast by wearing high boots and wear like she would wear like those she would wear like scarves around her the top of her body and like those long what are those long sweaters cardigans so she knew how to hide the blubber a little bit but one time I had her on the edge of the bed this is probably like Damn, this shit was so long ago when I had my first apartment. I had her on the edge of the bed because she was so fat. Even though I had a BBC, she was so fat. Um, well, so thick, I'll say. I had to get leverage. So I had to have her legs propped all the way up on the edge of the bed. And I just had to grab them and slide in to make sure I got the extra leverage because she had all this, this extra meat and blubber. So I had to grab her thighs and stroke. And after I got her in that position, she scared me off because after she went home that day, she texted me and said, I'm starting to like you. After that, I only wanted to meet up for top. Now her top game, the top game was phenomenal. She put her mouth on your dick, it would just melt like Hershey's on a hot summer day. As soon as she put her mouth on your on your tip, it just sizzling like you're like, Ugh, uh, and you just like just twitching, just like a cyborg that just lost the power source. You just trust me. You know what? I am hard struck diamond because after I got finished spreading your mom's motherfucking clitoris and pussy lips wide so I could take a lick and a dabble. <laughs> and she busted all types of nuts, juicing and squirting everywhere. She did nothing but buy me diamonds, dumbass nigga. So I am a hard struck diamond player. Get that ass bang, you stupid, dumb, worthless bitch ass nigga. What is up with you niggas with this low testosterone god bullshit? Do you niggas... <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have plenty of testosterone. My testosterone is so good that I was in a grocery store, right? Grocery stores don't really exist no more. So I was at, I was in Walmart, right? I was in Walmart. My testosterone levels were so high. Your mom, your mom walked past me and literally felt the vibration energy bouncing off me. And she just immediately got sucked in. Oh, she's like, what cologne are you wearing? I said, I'm not wearing any cologne at all. She takes my hand, grabs it, puts it up her skirt. I'm scared because I didn't want to smell anything. Puts it up her skirt. All I see is liquids oozing down my hand. And I'm like, oh. Next thing you know, she puts me in the goddamn, what's the, the Nissan? What's those minivans, right? Anyway, she throws me in the motherfucking minivan. Drives me home. I'm all for it. I'm spontaneous. <laughs> Soon as we get the motherfucking out, she throws me on the bed. All she does is barely take one lick. The BBC exploded into a missile, a missile rocket, right? I'm sitting there. She's sucking a tip. I'm exploding. I bust one nut. Bust two nut. Bust three nut. Four. She's like, are you going to stop? No, I like, I keep busting because the testosterone levels are so high. I put it in. Busted, she starts vomiting the ejaculation out of her mouth because the testosterone levels are so high, I'm giving her that torpedo dick. She can't even take the sperm no more. Get that ass bang, you dumb bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here, low test. What the fuck does low testosterone God even mean? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Somebody school me on that shit. Yeah, why the fuck they buying up the toilet paper? I mean, I, I buy toilet paper, but I mainly use cloths, you know, wet cloths with soap and use the shower head thing for the, like the fake bidet. Toilet paper does not clean your ass to precise. We went over my ass cleaning up process, but I do. I have one of those shower heads where I could turn it into nine different, you know, water speeds and different shapes. And I use the one that's I, tw I twist it to the bidet, you know, the bidet adjustable thing, and I just shoot it. 
and it gets all the fecal matter out of my ass, squirts it all out, gets it good, nice, fresh, and clean. Then I soap my ass repeatedly, do ass checks repeatedly until we're fresh. I'm telling you niggas, anybody in here that takes a shit and uses toilet paper and goes on about their day, your fucking ass stinks. And you have fecal matter residue in between your actual ass cheeks. I feel sorry for the chicks that gotta top you niggas off. Wipes don't even do the job. You use like, before you don't see brown anymore on your ass, let's just say if you just kind of dig a little bit on the, on a, you know, on the frontal cavity of your asshole. As many wipes as it takes to clean your ass, man, you'll never get your ass clean. So what I also do is called a squat hop. So I'll sit on the edge of the toilet. I mean, not on the edge of the toilet. I'll sit on the edge of the tub with my ass cheeks kind of protruded off to where I could at least reach a good portion of my anus. And then I use that bidet part to squirt up and make sure nothing's coming out. Make sure everything's fresh. Then I'll take a hot cloth with soap and bathe it repeatedly and do ass checks until there's absolutely zero smell on my anus. So it's called a squat hop. You don't do a full shower, but you do something. I don't even think buying toilet paper. Toilet paper does not mean you practice good hygiene. If you use toilet paper, your ass actually is dirty. The only way to actually thoroughly clean your actual ass after a shit is you have to have one of those shower heads that unhook that have six different speeds and the one that shoots up and you let it shoot kind of the tip of your ass and it just sprays all the dookie out then you got to take a cloth and kind of dig around the lower part make sure there's no brown then you got to fucking clean it with soap an asshole is hard to clean toilet paper does not clean your ass at all it wipes shit and spreads the residue on your actual asshole toilet paper does not clean your ass toilet paper is supposed to be like an emergency thing like I think toilet paper should be used like in a public area. Even a bitch, when a bitch uses toilet paper, anybody in ever eating a bitch's pussy and you start tasting like like cloudy pieces of something and then you're like spitting out white pieces of paper, that's because this bitch wiped her pussy with toilet paper. Like you're eating a bitch's pussy and you're like, <laughs> and you go like this and you see like this white tissue film and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, toilet paper is like, the only reason I have toilet paper is for the luxury of whoever the fuck might come over or some shit. Or just so, cause, just because, you know, you grew up with toilet paper on a roll, but it's not something I actually need at all. It takes me like months and months to run out of toilet paper. It takes me like four months to run out of fucking eight rolls. Because I don't use it like that. If I use it, I use a square at a time. Take a piss, use a square to squeeze the tip of my dick to get the residue of the piss off. I do not use toilet paper on my ass at all. Toilet paper you use when you're like in public and you don't have like an emergency in public, use toilet paper. If you're camping, you use toilet paper. Even then, if you're camping, technically you could clean your ass still better because you're going to have like gallons of water. You take some of that some of that cheap ass water, put it on the cloth, get a bar of soap or some uh, body wash, take that shit, scoot, wet the cloth, clean that ass correctly. Tell you man, anybody that uses toilet paper to wipe their ass, I guarantee if you bend them open and spread cheeks, if you bend them over and spread cheeks, that fucking ass stinks. If I happen to shit at work, it's a super emergency. And if it is, I got an ass cleaning kit ready to go. I got a cloth to dry, cloth to wet and clean. I got my soap. I'm ready to go and Ziploc bags. I'm ready to go. You wet your toilet paper. That means you got fucking wet pieces of toilet paper in your ass. Do I shower after every shit? I like to call a, um, a squat hop. Where I squat, 
It's like I'm hopping in the shower, but I'm squatting on the side of the, on the side of the fucking uh, on the tub, on the side of the tub. So basically, I just sit my ass on the side of the tub to where just my cheeks are exposed, and then I take the shit, and then I'm just bathing my ass precisely. Yeah, wet and toilet paper don't work. I don't know what brand of toilet paper you're using. You might as well use paper towel. That's the only shit you could possibly wet. Man, I'm telling you, a lot of you motherfuckers is buying all this shit. Most of you motherfuckers will be selling it on Craigslist or OfferUp. All those people that buy all this toilet paper and shit. Fuck you buying toilet paper for? My ass is cleaner than anyone who uses toilet paper. Anybody who's buying an abundance of toilet paper, like I said on Instagram, your fucking ass stinks. It's just that simple. Toilet paper does not clean an ass thoroughly. If, some, if you use toilet paper to clean your ass and somebody spread your cheeks and took a whiff, nigga would smell like a fresh bag of open Cheetos. And there definitely, definitely will be tons of E. coli residue. All you're doing is smearing fucking, smearing dookie away from the anal cavity. But at the same time, your ass is dirty. Wet rag and soap and get you one of those shower heads that shoot up to your ass so you can get all the shit that's trapped that may be a cloth or toilet tissue won't get. I got two rows and I don't, I got two rows left and I've been having those same two rows for months because I don't need toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper is like for emergency reasons. If you're going camping or, you know, you're in a public bathroom or you have to take a shit at someone else's home emergencies but toilet paper predominantly to clean your actual ass nah you know that's not what the, you don't need that some dumbass started a, a rumor about needing toilet paper and now everybody bought toilet paper i'm telling you man humans we're we're a species that have no idea why we're here what our purpose is and we don't know what the fuck's going on we are a blind species <sighs> I don't say wolf, dumbass nigga. Maybe if you open up your dirty ass earwax gooky ears, you unbathed idiot. Maybe you would fucking hear me correctly, you dumb fuck. Who the fuck says wolf, nigga? It's wolf. Listen for the L, you earwax gook fuckhead. Blacklisted. Hey, if you watching, he's a bitch. Simple. You're an underachieving fuck. Get the fuck offline, nigga. Go do some fucking push-ups. When's the last time you washed your fucking balls, nigga? Probably been sitting here all fucking day playing this shit on a fucking Friday. I want you to wash one nut. Wash two. Lift up under both ball sacks. Wash the under ball. Wash the head of your dick. Get that ass fucking blacklisted, bitch. Fucking rotting away in that office chair playing Street Fighter all night, bitch. Dude found me on three different fucking tags. Probably got unexfoliated skin, dandruff, greasy ass, dirty, gooky ears, boogers, ass sweat, all sweat. Nigga, I could have a generator right now if my power went out. This nigga said Ninja has his own ISP. He owns an ISP. That's basically what this nigga said. I'm sorry, but he does not have enough money to own his own, his own ISP. Man, somebody time this black ass nigga for being illiterate. You keep all this. Notice how all this nigga rocks is doing is basically trying to tell me that people can still get my IP. Not once has this bitch ass black crispy burnt ugly. Rewind it. Flex Washington. Chris Rock reject has said anything. To help combat. All he said is that niggas could keep getting it. Ninja does not have enough money to start his own ISP, you dumbass nigga. Do you know how many people would have internet companies, you dumb, worthless, black spook? Do you know how many rich niggas would have their own actual ISPs owned? Get the fuck out of here. You fucking retarded ass spook. Street Fighter 5, bro. This nigga was so busy trying to troll, he almost fucking lost. You lose. <laughs> Come on, my nigga. Why would you troll? Just play the motherfucking game.
Stop acting like I'm trash at the motherfucking game, nigga. We playing some fake ass Street Fighter. Congratulations, my nigga. I don't know why every time somebody play me in this shit, they try to troll and show off for their punk ass stream. Nigga, just play the fucking game. Give a fuck what nigga has open. Niggas act like they deities because they play a fucking game. Nigga, we playing the fakest fighting game on the fucking planet. I'm gonna show out. That shit is corny, bro. I don't give a fuck if that ugly ass nigga thinks I'm trash or not. Give a fuck about no goddamn Street Fighter. Nigga, I do this. I'm an entertainer. This ain't my motherfucking livelihood. Niggas be feeling like... I'm telling you, man. Niggas be feeling like... They just climb Mount Everest or some shit when they pull off a victory over me. Like, nigga, you're supposed to pull off a victory over me, right? You're a world-class nigga, am I correct? The fuck out of here with that lame-ass shit. I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of these niggas with this fake-ass arrogance. These niggas good at one thing or okay at one thing. Magically okay at one thing and think they just, just clout demons and gods. My nigga, I came from the trenches. Don't nobody else in the FGC exist like me. I don't have to win Nan Tournament. Niggas want to take pictures with me like I'm fucking Michael Jackson with a glittery glove. Fuck out of here, nigga. That's what I do. I make people feel great. This shit already feel great. Give a fuck what this nigga saying about me? I'm a self-made nigga. That's what I am. When I turn off Street Fighter, I'm still an authentic nigga. Outside of Street Fighter, I'm still an authentic nigga. I'm not some... Random ass Flojo that's made from Street Fighter. The fuck out of here, nigga. I stopped playing this game today. Niggas will still know who I am. Niggas with these fake ass arrogant, man. Get that piano key grill. Get that motherfucking piano key grill fixed, nigga. You got cake, right? 2020? Come back 2021 with a brand new grill. Nigga, we ain't playing video games this year. Coronavirus got the whole FGC fucked up. Let's get that grill fixed, baby. Let's get it done. Hey, this is a prime example. When you playing somebody who's an ugly ass nigga whose livelihood is only Street Fighter, that's never gotten his grill fixed in life, but steady cop and fucking comms the car gone and shit, nigga. Put some of that bread together and get that piano key fixed. You wanna win that bad and taunt? You wanna feel great about yourself? You ugly, skinny ass, out of shape, short ass, slur mouth ass nigga, yuck mouth ass nigga. Take the W. We gonna give it to him. This, this is his livelihood. This is what this nigga lived for. Take it. He can taunt all he want. This is what happens when your livelihood is one fucking thing. This nigga streaming at 3.41 in the a.m. with racks, but, but can't get his grill fixed. My nigga, the orthodontist and dentist is right around the corner. This is L.A. County. When shit open up from Corona, get your grill fixed, my nigga. Get a shape up. We live in a guy. You on Twitter talking about you need you need to find out where a good barber is. Nigga, hit Instagram and get the cleanest shape up ever. Nigga's head look, look, look like one of them 1990s troll dolls. But not when you first buy them. We talking about the kinds you find in fucking thrift stores and shit like that. They're sitting on the shelves. The fuck out of here, bro. This fucking clown out of here. I'm about to blacklist 200, 200k and fucking Street Fighter. Do something else, nigga. Innovate yourself. A nigga with hella followers won plenty of tournaments is getting satisfaction off teabagging a nigga in a video game. I'm telling you, man. These niggas on earth are worthless. I'm telling you, bro. These niggas are validated through one thing and one thing only, a video game. I'm glad I can help you reach that, though. I'm glad I can help you reach that. It takes a nigga like myself to do it. I understand. Nigga talk like he holding up one of them fucking robotic things to his throat. Nigga sound like a fucking robot. But let's not call it AI. AIs are smart in multiple things. 
Yeah, I know. There's lots of people to do that because there's lots of people out there to believe they're not dirty. I remember there was this bitch back in like 2013. It was like some, uh, I'm not going to say what ethnicity she was, but she wasn't black. Um, this bitch would take a piss, everything, and she was real adamant about not washing her hands. And this bitch tried to put her mouth, her hand in my fucking mouth. She, she was like, yeah, I just got finished pissing, blah, blah, blah. I was like, did you wash your hands? She's like, I don't wash my hands when I urinate. I don't wash my hands when I shit either. I just wipe and I go. And I was like, this shit has to be just, just reek. She's like, please don't test me. I'll make you taste my pussy. I was like, all right, listen, we don't even need to go there. So she takes her fucking goddamn hand, shoves it in her pants and tries to put it to my mouth. And all I smell is like a gust of like in and out onions. That's all I smell was a gust of in and out onions. Black the fuck listed. You win. What flag was that? Zimbabwe? Motherfuckers making shish kebabs with fucking old pieces of spit out gum that's on the floor with twigs, berries, fruits, old ass, rotted ass beef, and freshly chopped up chicken from the goddamn fucking corner store market with beads wrapped around it. The fuck out of here, man. Blacklisted. It's the most virgin talk. Well, how is it the most virgin talk when I fucked more bitches than you could ever fathom in your lifetime? It's called nostalgia, dumbass black nigga. Take your crispy ass, go get you some wings, nigga. Fried, fucking fried fries and wings, chicken eating ass nigga. Shut your black ass up. You this nigga over here trying to shit on dope timelines. Like, come on, nigga. What timeline did you grow up on, black ass nigga? Let's hear it. Nigga, I don't pay attention to wrestling. I just watch little shit on YouTube here and there. I don't know what's going on in wrestling right now. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know Roman Reigns' finisher. But I did. Um, what I did do is I traded your grandma. She told me that she would give me one of those bag cereals that you be eating if I just gave her some hot dick. So I slid on a couple of condoms, went ahead and gave her that hot young BBC. She promised me a couple of Malto Mill cereals, nigga. I mean, I'm that. How could I hit the gym when the gyms are closed? But what I can hit more is I could definitely be fucking your aunt a little bit more. She's coming over your mom's house uptight that her fucking boyfriend is, you know, leaving her in the cold, not showing her romance. So I went ahead and put on my romance mask and I gave her exactly what she wanted. She told me to show up in overalls with no shirt and an old pair of Timberlands. So what did I do? I did that. Make sure my arms, chest, abs was properly cocoa buttered. She told me, don't even take the overalls off. Fuck me with the overalls on. Unbutton the buttons right there where your dick's supposed to come out. Keep the Tims on. So what I did, she told me she wanted me to fuck her old school porn star. So what I did was I took my boot. Right? Grabbed from grabbed the back of her fucking brunette hair. Wrapped it up. Grab. Ooh. 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 Gave it that deep. Classic. Timberlands on, no overalls off porn. Deep BBC dick, bitch ass. Nigga, that's what I did. That's what I hit more. Nigga, the gyms are closed, you fucking retard. Should I tell you a bedtime story? All right, let me give you a quick one. Once upon a time, there was a naughty, little crispy, little black adolescent child in his neighborhood. He caused all type of ruckus and turmoil, knocking over people's mailboxes, breaking fire extinguishers, Stealing pieces of chicken out the local fried chicken spot off the display. Telling the donut shop owners that to look over there's a roach so he can grab a quick, a quick glazed donut and go. Tripping old people as they walk. 
He'd be walking. Kids would be playing soccer. and would kick the ball in his, in his area. He would say, all right, I'll throw it back. Throw it in the canal. And then one day, this black crispy critter with nappy ass hair, just mad at the world for no reason, decided to take a different way home. He decided to take a different way home. He was out causing turmoil, ruckus all fucking day. Right? He started to come home a little bit late, a little bit later than usual. So he starts walking down the alley, this dark alley. And he hears a noise and it goes, <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He starts looking around. He thought it was a dog eating on an old piece of steak that was just thrown out. It was a rotted piece of steak out there. He thought maybe a dog had slobbered it up. And he starts walking and he hears this again. <laughs> this time he hears it twice. And this and now he's just freaked out. Usually this this crispy ass kid was the bully. He was not really the bully, but the troublemaker. So shit didn't fear him, but for some reason this dude was scared. And he's walking still. And for some reason, this dude decided to, to start to run. Now, you know when you run, a dog's going to chase you. When you run, you're liable to get chased. So he starts running. And as he was about to hop the gate, something grabs him like, get your black ass down here. It pulls him. Forces his face onto the concrete. He looked up, he didn't, he didn't see anything. All he felt was a strong presence, an invisible presence as he looked around scared. Like, let me go. He just couldn't, he, he couldn't just fucking, he couldn't get up. He just felt overpowered. He, he just had to kind of succumb to what's gonna happen. Next thing you know, he feels his boxers rip off. He feels his fucking belt buckles, his belt buckles snap. And before you know it, some sort of being or deity shoves something up his ass and he's like, ah! and this is this thing is just thrusting him, just destroying his insides. And he just lays there like, ah! just getting fucked by this deity being this invisible black spirit. And then he wakes up in the alley three hours later, face down, Side of this face full of gravel. Feels something wet. As he gets up, he's in a puddle of something. And then he gets up. As he gets up and he starts to wipe and his eyes start to barely crack open. And he smells something that comes from a different dimension. From a different, a different side of the numbers. And he, and he, he feels it in his ass crack. And he takes it and he looks and it's highlighted green matrix juice, you bitch ass nigga. Don't ever ask me to tell you a motherfucking story again. He was just laying there in matrix juice, just a puddle of bust matrix juice from this weird matrix monster that came and fucked him through a different dimension. There's your fucking bedtime story. Take your black ass to bed. This nigga is, that's an old ass name. Any nigga's name that's Isaiah should be 40 and over. There should not be anybody in their 20s, 30s, teens or singles named i fucking zay the fuck out of here man put your whole government corny ass name on here you know how you got your last name right especially if you're black if you're black and you got the last name Ryder, it's probably because your mom your mom's 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 mom in the slavery days was sitting over here riding the fucking slave master's dick and sucking his pink ass dick off and he decided to name his whole slave plantation Ryder. You dumbass nigga. Dream sniping that's still stuck in super platinum. It's still matching me up with super platinums. That's cool. That'd be last year, Glory. Nigga, you've been having 11k since the game was created. How do you feel good about that? And you're, you're too broke to buy a console. You're using a family computer to play Street Fighter when you broke ass nigga. That's why you're stuck with 11k with a top tier character with lag. You got the lowest... The lowest MVPS playing on the family computer with Street Fighter V. That's how you know these niggas is broke. He should play arrogant. He's playing with a character that allows him to feel like he actually knows how to fucking play the game. Think about it.
This game will really have niggas thinking they're nice at a fighting game, and they're not. This game is for babies. This game baby scrubs. Come on now. Should no Flojos, no random scrub ass Flojos like that be beating me in no fucking Street Fighter game. This game allows that bullshit. Broke ass PC niggas, man. Nigga didn't build no PC. This motherfucker's playing Street Fighter V on a Hewley Packard he got on income tax two years ago. With the family income tax. His mom claimed him. Was like, you can only get one thing. Mom, wh what's that? You said you was gonna buy the family computer. You can get Street Fighter and what? Now I'm done playing my Yahoo pool. You can get on and play Street Fighter. Broke ass nigga. Over here taunting and shit. Nigga, you got 11k in a game that's been out for five years. And I'm playing on the throwaway tag. You still lagging and teabagging like you're doing something. You're a worthless online nobody. And KYS too. That's the glory of your life from playing me in a laggy ass online game. Broke ass nigga. Anybody playing on PC and street? Another broke ass nigga. Here we come. Another broke ass PC player. See the PC broke ass PC niggas or fucking Mexicans that I'm playing online. Or niggas from all types of weird countries with fucking chopping open fucking coconuts and taking berries and grapes off the fucking trees. Mod, somebody time Big Nasty for 300. Yeah, y'all niggas is bitches. Exactly. You're going to come into a, another man's stream and ask about another man. Go DM the nigga. You want to suck his little BBC Junior so much, nigga? Open up your mouth wide and let him pour a dick down your throat. Fucking coming up here asking about a certain nigga in the chat. That ass though, man. Nigga, this is something else. Come in this room asking, where is Rox? Nigga, why don't you go find him? Pull down his actual boxers, because you know he don't wear briefs. He wear those cheap-ass bloomer boxers from Walmart that come in a four-pack. Pull them shits down. Take a whiff of his ass. Maybe you like the smell of stench, right? Take a whiff of his ass. Bend him over. Put some Vaseline on your motherfucking Spanish dick. And slide in and get hot strokes, bitch-ass nigga. Stop asking about other men in this room. Come on, somebody time this nigga, please. Thank you. Somebody time Big Nasty, please. We need to time a grown-ass man. I, I keep forgetting. A grown-ass man with a fully functional cock and balls. Like, all right, nigga. Get the fuck out of my lobby. This nigga just standing there like he got like, get the fuck out of my lobby, nigga. You done. Nigga, don't ever play me like I'm a novice. Bitch ass nigga, it's a privilege to be on my fucking stream now. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Somebody get a ruler and bend this bitch ass nigga over. Pull his motherfucking pants down and slap both ass cheeks with one of them big ass metal rulers. Nigga just standing there like he was godlike. God like said after this shit. After this whole Corona shit, the only Chinese food I'm eating, maybe is going to come from Panda Express. I want that factory shit. None of these authentic Chinese joints. You could be eating armadillo, fucking poison quail, fucking meat rat, lion nuts, all types of shit. And they could just season it to where you think it's chicken. I'm cool. If it ain't Panda Express, I'm not even gonna consider it. And I'm not be and I'm not being <laughs> I'm not being racist at all. I'm just keeping it facts. <laughs> Y'all niggas got me fucked. Uh, I'm not eating it. No Asian teriyaki spots, nothing. Fuck sushi, all of that shit. If it's not coming from Panda Express, we ain't fucking with it. Man, you know how many times I'm with the Asian spots and the chicken don't taste normal? <laughs> Yo, it's this spot in the mall right now. This teppanyaki spot. Man, they chicken is like... I, You know... I, ate it a lot of times but it for some reason it just don't taste like normal chicken we're gonna see if that business is still surviving 
after this whole shit is over. All these authentic Chinese food spots, you niggas are fools if you eat after them. You don't know what they make, and I'm not being racist. You never know what you're eating in these Chinese food spots. They have certain seasonings to make, to mask meat to be something else. I'm a clown PC all I want, because most of these niggas are broke. They plan on family computers. Everybody on PC lags anyway. PC is not king, nigga. I got a fucking PC. What's king is when I put this motherfucking goddamn BBC in a taco, wrap it with a motherfucking fresh, crispy tortilla. Put all types of fucking flavor. I put, I put fucking tomatoes, berries, fucking extra lettuce, everything your mom asks for. I'll take that motherfucking goddamn BBC taco, take it, give it to your mom, lay it on the table, and she'll just start sucking the tortilla with the dick at the same time, gobbling and gargling. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. into the tortilla and all the ingredients is off my dick, you bitch ass nigga. That's what's king. Get that ass banned. I don't have a master tag. I don't know. It's hard to get a master tag when every time I come home and try to play Street Fighter after a long, hard day, your mom's throwing me on the couch ready to suck me up ferociously, gobbling, slobbing, blobbing, gulubering all over the dick until my nut just explodes like a fucking meat volcano with white ejaculation lava. That's why I don't have a goddamn master tag, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass banned. This nigga said luck. <laughs> the only thing that was luck is when I stumbled up on your fucking mom at a goddamn perfume section of a Macy's. She caught the whiff of some Dulce and Gabbana, ripped me, grabbed me into the motherfucking bathroom and raped me relentlessly until I busted three hot loads all over. Alright, man. Oh, I got fucking robbed! Fuck! How this shit lag out when I'm winning? Mods, time anybody laughing. Greens too. My permission. You guys want to see it? 4K followers. I'll give away two wrist wraps. One wrist wrap per person. One will get a GTA B wrist wrap. One will get a um a Covenant wrist wrap at 4,000 followers. But you must be green and we must be and we're gonna do the drawing in stream. Troy, your excitement. Do you even know what the fuck wrist wraps are? Somebody time that nigga for 300. Thank you. I don't appreciate the uh e-sarcasm. He says, you smell like goat sex and feel from dark side. Mod, somebody crush that nigga's gym. Thank you. Yeah, they are from Google Translate. You speak one more lick of Japanese, my nigga. We gonna ban you for being a fucking imposter. Keep that shit up. English not good. Man, somebody ban this nigga out of my list. The fact that you spelled it with an R just shows you a dumbass. Asian people that don't know how to fucking write in English are not gonna put English, dumbass nigga. English is good. Bring your fucking bitch ass back in here. Fake nigga, get the fuck out of here. You gonna say English. Get the fuck out of here, clown. There is no Discord. We wiped it. I don't got time for people to be treating me like I'm a fucking science experiment. Every, recording every fucking thing I'm saying. Trying to sabotage my videos. All this crazy shit. Like, that shit is ridiculous. These niggas act like I'm a fucking... Like I'm a mutant. Or some shit like that, and they're studying my powers. This shit is ridiculous. A whole Discord dedicated to fucking trying to sabotage my videos and 
and report everything I do on social media. Like these niggas literally need to be lined up and their dicks literally just sliced off of machetes. Or you don't even deserve your dick and balls at that point. Blue autopilot. You know how them jet blue autopilots look? How about we take the tip of that plane? Have my covenant members spread one cheek, spread the other, and we just fly that motherfucker and just crash it right into your motherfucking asshole. Bitch ass, then get the fuck out of it with that corny ass dojo. Blacklisted. <laughs> like four years, what, five? What, three years later, nigga, start asking if I work at Goodwill, you stupid, dumbass nigga. How the fuck would I still work at a place like that these many years later? Where I do work is your mom's kitchen. Serving her fucking goddamn eggs and turkey bacon, ass snaked with nothing but a roll bone with my ass fucking cheeks out in the morning with a glass of orange juice, bitch ass nigga. That's what I do serve. That's where I do work. <laughs> the fuck you mean blames lag? Did you not see the same shit that I just fucking did? Only thing you're gonna feel is the wood creaking late night in your fucking goddamn parents' house when your fucking dad is asleep from your mom feeding him a fucking couple of melatonins to knock his ass out so I could come through, lift up her motherfucking silk robe and backshot them big fucking fat ass cheeks and stick my finger in her motherfucking asshole and slide hot, hot, ex-slave dick all down her motherfucking, all down her motherfucking back. Bitch ass nigga, shut the fuck up. Niggas is sitting here watching lag and don't know what the fuck's going on. Fucking blind ass. What, what, what's your niggas vision? 17, 16 or something? If you don't see the lag, go get your fucking eyes checked. Get Vegas and shit. There's a, I'm not even a woke black, my nigga. I'm a new age black. I expose coonery in blacks and, and tell you shit about blacks that black people won't say themselves because they don't want to be exposed for fake niggas. There's different types of blacks. I'm a new age. There's a difference. I expose coonery. Nobody in here that's black should be looking up to niggas like Lil Baby and fucking goddamn the baby and fucking Blueface and all these corny ass niggas. That's not the future of blacks. It's buying Cuban chains, whips, rapping whips and fucking camo and flossing jewelry on the internet. That's fucking coonery, dude. It's funny because it's niggas out there that really consider that look at these dudes like role models. It's not about those opportunity. Every opportunity is for everybody. You can't tell me some nigga like the baby is a smarter nigga than you or better or anything. If an ugly ass dinosaur coon ass nigga like that can make it in America being black. Yeah, rappers do it. it. It does prove that that racism really don't exist. Because who do you think is at the top of everything? Who do you think signing these black people's checks, nigga? Who the fuck do you think own these venues that they're getting booked at? Are you okay, nigga? Because you just got blacklisted. Nigga, you suck and you're lagging. You're removed, dude. You're not good at all. The Terry was garbage. You do not know how to use Terry. I didn't see you not one grab anything. You There's so much damage you left on the table. Don't come in my room playing games, man. We all bust nuts. And you acting like a fucking five-year-old. Bitch ass nigga, get the fuck off my list, you ugly stinking bitch. You know, for a fact, right now, if we check your goddamn hygiene, for a fact, you need that dandruff, stinking ass balls, grimy ass breath, something about you would stink. Even your me proves that you fucking stink, you ugly ass nigga. Get the fuck out of my room. Taunt that shit, bitch. I hope that was great for you. Yup, Cryo still scratches the fucking stairs. I just... It's funny you asked me because I just came, when I came home today, I seen that he fucked up the side of the stairs even more. So I bought like this cat repellent spray and we'll see what happens.
Oh. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, let me put this towel down for you, boy. I love my cats, though. Come in here, boy. You leave Cryo alone. Come in here. Get the fuck out of you, nigga. That's I'm not criticizing Dexter. You see what Dexter is doing. I'm talking about Cryo. Because his fat ass wants to eat some wet food. See, this cat thinks he could fool me. I know what his meows mean. Why are you fucking with him on some gay shit? Get off my bed, dude. Get off this dude, man. Get off my bed. Over here trying to act like fucking Dexter is his mom or something. Fuck it with that fucking corny ass shit. What kind of language you speaking for me? Hmm? Mm -mm, I won't come over here, my dude. Go back on the bed. Three, two. Uh, yeah. Dude, Rowley, get him and spray the fuck out of you. Get the fuck off my bed, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, Chad, these sort of eggs is disgusting. Cook some fucking turkey bacon and eggs. Buying a tube full of fucking just weird ass meats combined into a fucking sausage you just smash up and make gross shit. I could have that nasty ass shit. Mexican food is the worst food on the planet. Latin food sucks. Every spectacle of Latin food is unhealthy. If somebody says you want Mexican, they might as well ask you, do you want a shit? There's nothing good about Latin food. It's all full of greases. It's all unhealthy. It's all fucking high ass sodium contents. The, the healthiest thing you could get from a Latin dish is dead ass fajitas plain. You know why? Because all they're doing is grilling meat to perfection, grilling chicken, grilling uh, steak and grilling shrimp. That's all you could get. No, nigga, everything about Mexican food is unhealthy. There's no such thing as healthy Mexican food. Come on now. Soon as you, what happens when you get street tacos? What's the first process they do for street tacos? I do not like Mexican food. That's the worst, that's the worst genre of food. We gonna call it a genre. That's the worst genre of food. What's the first thing when you get street tacos? What's the first thing they do? Put that fucking tortilla on the thing. Throw a bunch of blubbery lard on the fucking goddamn shit. Cook up your fucking tortilla with straight up lard. Right? Then grill all that fucking meat on a greasy ass skillet. It looks cool though. They get the fucking metal spatulas. Do all this. Chop up the meat. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You want cheese? No, uh, no cheese at all. You sure don't want no cheese? Ah, no cheese, no cheese. Start chopping up the meat. 
throw it up in the air, catch it on the spatula, throw it behind him, catch it on the spatula, boom, throw it in the taco. You eat nothing but grease. He would bet his life I would lose to that Cammy. But it was that match he said it. So with a last name like Fitzgerald, you know your parents didn't think good. What the fuck kind of name is John Fitzgerald? That's some shit you see on the back of a fucking tobacco chewing can or something. Nigga, change your name legally. That shit is trash. It almost sounds like you're supposed to own a sausage farm. Like you're just supposed to be on the back of a fucking pack of sausages that I pick up from Walmart. John Fitzgerald? I hope that's not your real name. I really don't. Change it to something cool, please, if you can afford it. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. How many chicks gonna be doing that shit, man? Just sitting on their knees in front of mirrors and shit. And I just didn't want to block. I was like, let me just keep trying to backdash y'all wake up because he just keep mashing buttons. I did lose. I lost the battle. Me and your fucking mom, we had a card game. We would bet. We played go fish, adult go fish. If I flipped over the wrong card, I had to let her eat my ass. So every time I flipped over a card that was a king instead of a king and a king, it was a queen and a jack. I had to lay down on the bed while she fucking strapped me with handcuffs and she forcefully ate my ass. Forcefully. I'm feeling tongue slobbering all in my motherfucking asshole. I'm like, <laughs> get that ass banned, nigga. I'm just forcefully just getting my ass eaten by your mom. She just seen my motherfucking glistening ass cheeks with me. Just had to eat them. Just had to eat them. I bet you guys never heard of adult go fish. I never heard of it either. Be I never heard of that shit either before his mom fucking offered the game to me. I didn't know what the fuck adult go fish was. I thought we just flip cards, she pop out she you know, she pops out a titty or something like that, and we were good to go. Instead, I get the wrong cards, next thing you know, I'm handcuffed, and I'm getting my ass eaten from his mom. So it's like, you know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I could not get off too. It's like, do you know how it feels to be a man? Handcuffed to all four bed posts while you're just forcefully getting your ass eaten by a woman. Like, what was I supposed to do? I agreed to the game. And next thing you know, I'm just, I'm stuck. I just had to be like, we just accept it, you know? A virgin? I don't know. Anytime I think of the word virgin, I just think of like maybe a vagina that stinks. For the simple fact, like, their pussy's never really been played with, so you just have, like, a clitoris that has so much buildup under it. You have to literally teach her how to bathe herself correctly. Yeah, toys do fuck up a bitch's walls. That's the thing, too. If a chick is using a, a toy a lot of the times, they kind of rub out their sensitivity glands, too. Like, if a bitch is always using a vibrator... How are you going to beat a machine? When she just using a clit stimulator 24/7, how do you beat him up? How do you beat a fucking machine? You can't. That's just like if there was a machine that could turbo top me. Like imagine a machine that it was in the shape of a head, right? And it had like lubricant glands in its mouth. And the machine is just doing all types of turbo top. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. like, can no bitch compete with that shit? If there was, 
if there was a turbo top machine no chick would be able to compete like it'd be like these robotic lips and be like <laughs> like imagine if it was like if this was your dick right and if this was a turbo top a turbo top machine like it would just be like <laughs> Like, no human being could compete with that. What fucking, what human could just go around with its full dome like, and you just like, you gonna bust like the craziest nuts. So it's just, it's just, it's dumb for chicks to use toys at all. Like, it's, just save it for when it's time to fuck. Chicks that use toys, it's gonna be harder to please them because they're so used to machines. No, nigga, can't no human do that. I don't think you, you, you guys aren't using your imagination. We're talking about a robotic dome top that is literally a, a spine and a torso with a head that goes, you, you, you. Like, you can't beat that. You're just gonna pass out. The, the dome is gonna be so, the dome is gonna be so robotical. You're just gonna pass out. All you can do is submit to it. Like, your, your hands are gonna be like this. Especially if you turn like the speeds up and shit like that. It's just gonna be like. Just, um, just use your imagination real quick. For a turbo top machine like that's the type of shit that i would be doing if i was rich i'll be creating some wicked shit fuck jewelry and all that shit i'll be creating a turbo top machine can you imagine that the insides is like a silicone to where it just you could put it to like a tornado a tornado setting to where it's just like like this is your dick right and it's just like it's just like Spinning a rat like can you imagine the settings and speeds and then you just bring people you just bring live live men in to test it out And it's just a turbo top machine Just imagine I don't know why people don't really like really use their wealth for things that can make them dumb rich If if I'm rich, I'm gonna be a fucking billionaire because I'm gonna come up with some crazy shit I'm tapping into the sex market and coming up Somebody probably gonna steal my idea after this. I'm coming up with a fucking machine that could turbo top your cock. Better than any woman on the planet. If you like men, better than any man on the planet. Shit like that with my money investing into a crazy robotic science. And then there's a... And then there's also a cleanup method. So if you prefer the turbo top machine to suck your ejaculation out of your cock when it's done... We have a cleanup option. It'll just go into like a pouch and it'll, make, it'll even make a suction noise. That's the thing to the robotic shit. You could turn off the suction noises if you want. Or you could keep them, you know, you could keep them on. You just call up your homie, be like, yo, what's, what's good? Are we, are we still playing basketball later? Uh, <laughs> damn, I mean, actually, I'm gonna need about probably 30 minutes cause I just used that new turbo top machine and god damn my nigga it's probably one of the best I'm telling you man it's it's gotta be one of the best things you're ever gonna try bro like wow like it, it's crazy cause the turbo top machine like it has all types of speeds and 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 like suction molds and and spins and and tornado like I'm telling you man it's I don't even need to cheat anymore because there's nothing that another woman can do for me. I, you know, I, I can't even talk right now. I mean, listen, Rebecca, she gets upset. She makes me sleep on the couch. I'm begging for it. You know why? Because I could go right in the closet. I can pull out my turbo top machine and I can get some of the best fellatio. Ro hold on a second. Some of the best robotic fellatio that I've ever gotten in my life. I'm telling you, like, how do you, you can't beat robotic top.
Just like some chicks could only bust through a vibrator, it's the same shit. Yeah, I'm having a seizure when your fucking girlfriend gobbles my big black cock and has the tip of my dick erupting like a fucking volcano in Hawaii. I'm just like... Uh, 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 uh. Fuck out of here. Ass garbage player. And then all of a sudden, you just watch some fucking scrub just start mashing buttons, waking up with fears, waking up with crouch and sweep everything, and then I lose? Like, that's not real. The only thing I choked on is your mom's pussy juice. As soon as I was sucking on her clit, she exploded like fireworks, leaving nothing but creams and juices all over, and I was just like, oh, I, 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 I had no choice but to swallow the gulping juices, bitch-ass nigga. Shut the fuck up. Fuck with you haters, right? Haters still watch you. Let me, you know, I'm bored. Come home from a hard day. Oh, I don't ever have hard day. But come home. Hmm. Ah. Uh, and most, most likely, people are people are recording me so they could Photoshop my legs and make my legs look skinny or some shit. Well, we know what the deal is. I'm just gonna get on my phone. Hmm, let me see what the fucking Ace Family is up to, man. Fuck these niggas, man. I'm still gonna watch it, though. Shit, old bitch ass nigga. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Hold on, let me type in something Ace Family real quick, man. Fuck these niggas. I ain't even subscribing. I'm gonna type that shit in and see what's good, though. Hold up, Ace Family. 18 points, 3 million subs. Oh, bitch ass nigga. His bitch ain't even bad. Shit. We have a problem, Catherine. Can't talk. 5.8 million views? The fuck? Man, fuck. Man, these niggas is corny, man. Fuck it. I'm gonna click on it anyway just to see what's good. Like, you see how stupid that is? Whatever I do, you're gonna be curious. You know what is great? You know what's great about my legs, Joseph? I got the perfect... You know, I never gas... When I'm straddling your mom. I never gas. I could just take. You know, I could take your mom. And my legs never run out of gas because they're not that big. They don't hold oxygen. So I could just take, you know, I could have your mom bend up just like this and keep dipping over and over and over again. Because my legs will never fill with oxygen. Because my quads ain't extra big. Calves ain't extra big. So my legs will never gas. You know what I'm saying? I'll never get tired. I'll just keep stroking over and over and just watching, watching my dick cascade in and out of the pussy relentlessly until I feel like busting. When I fuck, I bust a nut when I want to. I keep fucking until they explode. And then when it's time for me, I'm ready to bust. My legs never get tired. That's what's so great about having these quote unquote chicken legs, right? Mods, ban his ass out of my room. Megan Thee Stallion, a complete bad example when it comes to women. Megan Thee Stallion is, is the type of, Megan Thee Stallion is the type of woman you don't want your girl to listen to her songs because you got dumbass chicks out there who will really take what she's saying into literal facts and try to execute it. Having multiple niggas, trying to finesse niggas for money Acting like she's a man when ultimately, as long as I slide my dick in you, I'm taking something from you. You not take. You can't use me for dick. I went inside you, caused friction, and thrust it, and used your vagina to bust. There's no such thing as using a man for dick. I'm still getting the I'm getting the most out of it. I gotta. I get to penetrate you. You sucking me up. You slobbed all over the D while I watch you blow me. That's what I'm saying. There's, there is no finessing a nigga when you fucked him and sucked him. Like, nah, Roddy Rich is just overrated. He's not trash, but he's completely overrated. I think the box is the most overrated song in hip hop history. Like deadass, you got chicks out here really listening to Megan Thee Stallion and really like, like taking her lyrics into reality, into context.
the fuck out of here. You think I'm playing you again? You shouldn't have been trolling on the other tag, bitch. The only thing I need to adjust is my dick in my pants because as soon as I fucking hopped in your mom's fucking couch, her leather couch, as soon as I seen her in that nice bustier, pussy fat in that lace, I had to adjust my dick and my BBC because it was stuck on one side and I need to put it on the other side to shift it so she couldn't see me getting hard. Dumbass nigga, get that ass band. Somebody get this dude out of here. Tell me to fucking adjust in some scrub ass game. Uh, I guess you posted the banana to try to make a monkey reference. That's cool. Well, all you niggas' houses smell exactly alike, like all these weird spices and hummus. Get that ass banned, Jihad. The fuck out of here. Motherfuckers' houses dead ass smell. They do smell like the whole spice rack, but not that, but not the new spice rack. You're talking about that old spice rack that's been sitting in the garage for years. Got all types of seasonings you never even heard of. I'm looking at the spice rack, you know, in a Middle Eastern's house. Oh, you see a bunch of weird shit. You see like, you know, we've heard of paprika, but you see like gold, pa paprika, uh, dirt, spice, mud. You see some shit like mud, more mud particles. You see all this weird shit. You know what I'm saying? You see something called blue pepper. What the fuck is blue pepper? Fuck Himalayan salt. I'm seeing some shit that says metallic salt. A bunch of weird ass spices these motherfuckers be having in their houses, man. Be like, you want some chicken? You want some grilled chicken? I'm like, yeah. They barbecuing up chicken and everything like that. And it's smelling weirder than what regular chicken smells like. And I go back there and they're just seasoning it up with all these weird seasonings. Like throw, throwing the fucking all these, taking that spice rack, spinning this shit around. Not even looking at the shit. They're just spinning the spice back around and then grabbing one. Taking a shit, shaking it up, throwing on the fucking meat like they're fucking rolling dice. Spin the spice rack again. <laughs> Stop it with the hand. Boom. Grab some fucking shit. Shake it up. Take the top off. Throw some more spices on the shit. Before you know it, shit, you don't know what the fuck you mean. It's not even chicken no more. That's another thing. Y'all niggas with these fake ages. All it would take for me to do is stroke your mom 38 times before she's splashing and creaming all over my dick. The 38 stroke, it's just gonna be like a palm tree. Like that last 38 stroke, I'm gonna go splash. It's just gonna be like a palm tree visual of nuts splurting everywhere, but not from me, but from your mom's pussy just exploding and cascading all over me. That's all it's gonna take, 38 strokes, and that 38 stroke, I give it a powerful one. Right there in the fifth dimension of the pussy, bitch, nigga. You probably didn't even know pussies had five dimensions. One, two, three, four, five, dumbass nigga. Get that ass banned. Get the fuck out of here with that lame shit. No, that's what it's called. Desert Dwellers. If you look at the bottom of my layout, I'm not making a clown. That's what the song is called. Desert Dwellers. Come on, let's do some of those dances. All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I gotta take my pre-workout. Hey, Big Nasty, one thing I told you not to do is troll, right? So stop trolling, my dude. I know what you're doing. You can't outsmart a nigga like myself. Stop. I'll be your hero if you sit back. Let me 
me tell you, let me tell you, Big Nasty. Look, here's how I could be your fucking hero, right? I'll be your hero if you sit back in your lazy boy while I undress your girl, take off all of her clothes. I drop right down to my knees, smell her vag to make sure everything was good, right? I'm making sure everything was good. Take a sniff, fresh Irish Spring. I thought it a bay with Irish Spring, none of that body wash bullshit. Why you just sit back in a chair and I just stand up and all you see is just peanut butter ass cheeks glistening while you stare at them and you just see abs because you went around because you wanted a better view while I just grab your girl's head, bring her closely. But I don't have to bring her too close because the BBC is extended, right? She starts sucking the tip while you just sit back in your chair and jack off to me, fucking and busting all over your bitch. That's how I could be a fucking hero. Try to throw me in my shit. That means she wouldn't like rocks. She dealing with one of the most heterosexual stallions. BBC slangers. Let me tell you guys the story. So I used to have this big habit, right? Back when razor phones were a thing. You know, I was a teenager. Fuck it. For some reason, I had this huge obsession with my dick. So I used to randomly go in the mirror, stand in front of the mirror, make sure my abs was chiseling. I wasn't swole back then, but I had abs, abs. And I would just take my dick, swing it around in the mirror, and just take random dick videos. I me mean, going like this, flapping it, swinging it, and doing all types of graphic shit. And girls I was talking to at that point in time, they would always want to fuck with my phone. So they would see these videos and get fascinated. So one time, when I used to do all this house party bullshit and everything like that, I used to go to a lot of house parties. They always got shot up and everything. So I'm at this house party, I'm thinking I'm swabby and swaggy. I got on my fake vape hoodie, Air Forces, Rockerwear jeans. I thought I was swagged. Had on my fucking fake ass iced watch, fake jewelry. I thought I was the shit. Had on a big white tee under it. I thought I was the fucking shit. Everybody thought I was fire at the party. Bitches was feeling me everything. I thought I was the shit. I had people in that shit. I had people that I knew asking me, yo, Yo, can I borrow that bay hoodie? Like, bro, like, blah, blah, blah. Can I borrow that bay hoodie when you're done with it? Like, I thought I was swagged out like the Pharrell days. Back when Pharrell was on that fucking heavy bait shit. Uh. So, you know, it's a it's an empty kitchen. Bitch backing it up. Fucking I'm dancing, everything. She's twerking on me, this and that. Party is lit. Party is just dope as fuck. Next thing you know, and mind you, I had my fucking cell phone in a holster back then because holsters was the shit. So next thing you know, somebody starts shooting up the party. And everybody starts going crazy. I'm trampling over bitches, stomping over people, trying to get out. I'm running for my life. They're shooting all up in the garage. Boom, 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 boom. And I happened to get out. And I just felt like my stomach was going to drop out of my body. I get out to a safe spot. I get out to a safe spot. My razor phone is gone with all my dick BBC swinging adolescent photos and videos in it. And I'm like, fuck. And I didn't, you know, you didn't put locks in your phones and shit before. So I'm like, fuck. Whoever gets my phone is going to see these BBC videos. And I was just panicking. I'm calling the phone over and over again. I'm calling the phone, of course. You know, back then, if people stole your phones, they thought they hit the jackpot. Phone's gone. Boom. I keep calling, they don't answer. Next thing you know, like about a month later, one of my homegirls was like, yo, your phone was actually passed around such and such high school. And everybody's seen your dick videos. I was like, what? They say, yeah, all the girls seen your dick videos. These dudes had your phone. They were showing all these bitches your dick videos. Why the dudes didn't give back the phone when they seen dick videos in it, I don't know. But it just passed around that whole high school that I was just slanging and twirling my dick like an Indiana Jones rope, trying to catch a cow. Like I just took the BBC, grabbed it, caught me a bitch and brought him back. But yeah, so I stopped doing dick videos ever since. All right, let's get back to Street Fighter Five. 
And I never got the phone back, by the way. Oh, no, I lost the tag. Whoa, what am I going to do? I sure did lose four tags on stream. I lost four tags, too, because every time I slid off, every time your mom was riding me, I refused to take off my boxers. Every single time she was riding me, she was tearing up each pair of boxers, ripping off each tag, soaking them up. She had a whole fucking four pack of Calvin Klein's for me. Then she had an extra pair of Calvin Klein's I left there that she washed for me, bitch ass nigga. So of course my fucking goddamn tags, I lost four tags, nigga. That's four tags off four fucking goddamn wet ass draws of Calvin Klein's that she was squirting all over riding. I don't want to get ass naked for that bitch. I just pulled my dick through the slit and she rolled and creamed and oozed all over me, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass band. I gave tips to this fat ass last night. You're so, we talked about this. You're so focused on another man that you can't even figure out how to lose weight. You can't even figure out how to unlock the six keys to a proper stomach. The six keys to a proper stomach is unlocking one pack, two pack, three pack, four, five pack, six, so that you can actually see your actual anatomy. It would suck so bad if I'm reading an anatomy book I see like the whole muscle system and everything, but I just look in the mirror and I'm a blob. Like I'll never see that. Like my body is capable, but I'll never see it because I'm too fucking lazy and I like sugar. I like grease. I like fat. And I'm just going to indulge in that. Like, yeah, you know, that dude stinks. Like people that's that big, they gotta, they gotta bathe for at least an hour and put baby powder everywhere and if it's hot outside they gotta bathe at least three times a day nobody that fat sitting in a chair for over an hour is not gonna have a stench and then they actually have extra blubber that covers the asshole so before you get to his actual asshole there's there's like these these fat flapping cheeks that are actually holding e coli and stench and then once you get to the actual you know, once you get past Jupiter's atmosphere, then there's even more stench and stankin' asshole. If you're that bloated, as big as tipster, you can't take a shit and use toilet paper at all. You have to use the LTG method. You have to bathe. And you have to have one of those unhookable shower heads so that you can kind of get everything because for sure you're going to be leaving e coli and fecal matter on your boxers and somebody as fat as tipster he can't wear boxer briefs they don't make them that big he has to wear straight up boxers the shits that you can turn into a kite or a parachute he wearing those giant ass boxers they got the weird ass hexagons and shit all over it for a design to make you feel like you're wearing a different pair of drawers every day they put different hexagons and circles on different pairs of drawers ceo is a trash tournament that corny ass wrestling thing with the ring and all that bullshit if you love wrestling so much how come you didn't take your fat ass to try to go be one been working out for like three years with a fucking dad bot still not a tricep not an ab not a pectoral muscle nothing how do you feel sorry about you with a brace? Balding fuck? How about you use some of that money that you're jacking people for fucking registration and get some Bosley Medical? Looking like a giant ass bald baby. Stop holding on to hair that don't exist no more. Fight. Motherfucker's whole scalp is a five o'clock shadow. The fuck out of here, man. Nobody give a fuck about your whack ass tournament, you fucking clown. Hopping on bandwagons ass bitch. When I was a teenager, I used to cut all my homies hair for the longest time when I was a teenager. I said it was ready a couple weeks ago. No, I didn't. What is ready though is your girl's oozing pussy. As soon as she seen the BBC, I just seen leakage just falling out of that opening gaping hole. Went ahead, stuck my finger in it, felt a sizzle like <laughs> Took some of the residue, took a whiff. Smelt nothing but water. Went ahead, put my gloves on, 
Got my condom, rolled it over the dick, strapped up, dived right on in. Who the fuck is that anyway? You gotta be balling to drop a hundred for this. Or we gonna drop you out of my stream. Get that ass banned. I'm gonna drop these fucking virtual balls in your mom's fucking mouth. Squat over. Drop one ball on the left side. Hold on. Drop one ball on the right side. One ball on the left. Shimmy them in. Bloop. Stick my dick in her goddamn mouth. I do owe the RS six grand. Um, for some reason, all the fucking porno tapes that I thought I sold to Bang Bros, and I got paid for them, I never actually filed for that. So for some reason, all the porno tapes I made with your mom and submitted to Bang Bros, I got taxed on them. Get that ass banned for making assumptions. Mods, take care of them. The fuck you mean I shouldn't sell face masks, dumbass nigga? How the fuck? You think people out here giving them for fucking free? Can't get a face mask for free, dumbass nigga? They're for sale everywhere, clown. Maybe I should sell fucking. Maybe I should sell your mom's scented, dirty ass drawers. Maybe I should sell her a crunchy pair of panties. You think it's wrong to profit a pandemic? I think it's wrong for your mom to be slanging that pussy. When it's illegal, but I mean, she's still out here sucking all types of grandpas and uncles' dicks. I be seeing her on the corner, but I just don't say anything. I just let her do what she has to do. I'm providing a service. Doesn't matter what you download. What I did was I downloaded your whole mom's iPhone archive of all those new photos and videos of her splashing and rubbing her motherfucking pussy she told me that she had a special treat for me i was like okay well what kind of special treat you have for me i practically did everything fucked everything got done from everything what can you show me that's different that i don't see every day she said well all right well how about i give you my icloud access i said well i don't have an iphone she said no worries Meet me here in 24 hours. I was like, all right, cool. I, I guess uh, it'll be after I stream, though. She was like, that's fine. So I meet her back in 24 hours. She actually has a fucking brand new iPhone for me ready to go. It only has her contact in it. That's all I need it for. I don't fuck with iPhones. The, the iPhone already had every single naked and nude video uploaded into the cloud where all I had to do is just drag through the gallery. I'm seeing nothing but pussy rubbing, splashing, bit clit and lip videos, squirting juices everywhere. So much to the point where it looked like she had another phone recording where when she rubbed the clit and squirted the juices and oozed everywhere, it was splashing all over the fucking screen. I'm just sitting back, seeing her squeeze out lactating titty milk, juices fly everywhere. I said, wait a minute, this is a lot better than just seeing her play with her pussy. She's squirting and lactating. Before you know it, I was on the next thing smoking, sucking lactate titty milk out of her motherfucking saggy ass boobs that I can drench, grip and squeeze, and let her rub the clit and splash a water fountain all in my face. And I was like, oh, get that ass band, bitch ass nigga. That's what we gonna fucking archive. Somebody get that dude out of my shit. What are the gloves for? Because I don't want to contaminate myself. Social distancing and, you know. Since we're not doing social distancing and it's sex, but protection, you know? Because if I'm doing a favor fuck where Big Nasty gets to watch me bang his girl, it has to be back shots only, and he can't be behind me watching. He has to be in the front. So all he sees is me stroking. Technically, he's not going to see my dick from just back shotting his girl. And he can't, he can, he can stare, but I'm not going to stare back. And I'm going to have shades on. They're about as played out as you, you taking side view haircut pictures for five, six years. Nigga, your fades never look crispy. Get the fuck banned, bitch. Whoever that is, he's been taking pictures of a black kid's fade side view for years. 
I've, I'm not even gonna front. I've seen the fade, I've seen the fade actually evolve, but the fade actually just never got better to the point where it actually looked good. The lighting got worse. You got crispier. Your fucking glasses got even more coke bottleish, and you still been ugly for five years. I thought people that were ugly were late bloomers. You just stayed looking like some crispy dinosaur 24/7. Please don't curse or yell. Well, how about I slap my fucking BBC on the table so you can look at it like a big piece of beef? Would I shut you up? I loved human. I loved women's human anatomy before I could even fuck or jack off. I just always remember growing up just loving women, just how they looked, tits, ass. I was just like a, a seven, six year old boy just being so turned on by women. That I still got this vivid image in my head still of my mom's friend when I was about eight years old coming out of the shower. Light skin with them big ass titties, big hips, big areolas, hairy ass pussy asking me to get her a towel. I will never forget ever. I'll never forget that shit. She wasn't mad, no. She told me, she's like, she's like, could you give me a towel? Obviously you guys know my government. She's like, Dale, could you give me a towel, please? And I was just like, and she's like, give me a towel. And I got her a towel. I still remember how she came out the, she hopped out of the tub. Just stepped out over, boom, running. Titties jiggling, she was trying to cover up them big ass light skinned titties with areolas. Covering up her pussy at the same time. Damn, you can't give me a towel. I was like. I never, ever forgot it. And I never will. And one day I hope I find her so I can see how she looks. At this point in time, I would have to be able to smash, right? Every time I talk to my mom, I'll be like, yo, mom, when's the last time you talked to Candace? She's like, why do you always ask me that every time we get on the phone? I was like, I'm just curious to see how she looks now. See if she held herself up. She's like, no, I haven't heard from her in years. We haven't talked in such and such. We haven't talked since we moved from LA. I really wish I could find her just so I can get some of that 50 something year old, 50 something year old badge. Just give her that young pipe and BBC. Squeeze them big ass giant motherfucking menopause titties and don't even gotta pull out i'm just thrusting knowing them pussy don't work no more accurately just remembering when i was eight years old just smacking that ass she smacking the other one squeezing the titty but i'll probably never find her again You record my stream, you should also record when I'm fucking your goddamn mom, so I'll be bending them fucking big ghetto ass cheeks. Or them big pale ass cheeks over the fucking bed and just thrashing with three condoms. I don't even feel anything. I don't even feel shit, but I'm just fucking because I know you're in the other room and you're gonna fucking see me and just be stroking and fucking your goddamn mom with three condoms and I don't even feel shit. I just went over there, I popped some motherfucking Yohimbe. Cause I have to get my dick forcefully hard, slid on one roll on condom, two roll on condoms, three roll on condoms, and I just started fucking your mom with back shots. I didn't even feel like a goddamn thing, but I did it cause I knew your fucking horny ass was gonna be looking through the door and watching me thrust. Just, you're just seeing me just thrust your mom's ass cheeks and you just see my sweaty back and ass cheeks glistening off the motherfucking red light coming from the ceiling, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass bang. Tell you guys, 90% of 90% of women's vaginas on the planet stink. That's a bad attribute in itself. Any updates on my acting career? I keep telling you, every single time, you niggas ask me about this. The person that's asking, why don't you stay up late one night, and you can see how great my acting career is going? Your mom keeps telling me to bring over some camcorder she bought me from Walmart. So I just bring it over every time she's sucking and slobbing all over the dick. And I don't even fucking, I don't even move. I've gotten head from her so many times, it feels like I just put, stuck my dick in a vacuum. 
It's just like a, I'm just watching her suck. Mm. Now I'm just sitting there like, all right. She's like, you're recording it, honey. I'm like, yeah, just keep sucking. She's like, mm. <laughs> doing all this shit, and all I keep imagining in my head is like a vacuum cleaner on my dick. That's how the head's feeling, because she done sucked me up so many times. Her actual mouth feels like just air going up, wrapped around my BBC, because that's how my acting career is going. I keep I keep recording her over and over again, practicing for dick sucking scenes, but I have to act that the dome was good. Get that ass bin. Stop asking me personal questions. Don't worry about my fucking life. Worry about your trash garbage ass life. You niggas stop asking me, stop asking me about my fucking personal. You so worried about my shit. Handle your fucking goals. That's about it. Stay true to yourself. How can I afford that on a certain salary? Easily. Um, as many times a week as I'm able to come perform for me, you know, for your mom, uh, I'm paid very gratefully for my services. While I do not feel any pleasure during sex or her performance of fellatio i am paid at least two thousand dollars every time i come through and fuck your mom so if i wasn't able to afford my lifestyle with that salary i can damn sure afford it by fucking your mom at least two to three times a week that's about 6k a week and i'll gladly take it and keep fucking with two condoms sometimes three as long as i can do it now anyways i will admit I'm gonna admit that, uh, I'm gonna admit that I would suck your mom's pussy so succulent that she would just start oozing and pissing all over my big ass lips like a fucking water fountain with rocks just, just beating with the fucking, that's what it would look like. You guys ever seen like, like algae on rocks and water hitting it? That's how his mom's vagina would look. I'll be sucking her clit so much the fucking pussy juice would, would drip like algae on my fucking lips like it was just dribbling and gristling all down bitch somebody get this bitch ass nigga out of my stream you guys been sitting over here waiting to talk shit we just gonna ban you you're worthless too don't worry we got more non-worthless ass clowns for you too if you're in my stream talking shit we know you're worthless clean it up guys Forms. if if you're so against it right if what i said is so bad I want everybody that's straight to go go out, take your nearest cock and start sucking it. If if you're really if you're really about that life, if you really support it, I want you to go out, find a guy you think is attractive. If you're a man, I want you to go out, find the nearest cock and start blowing it. Since you're so down with the community, I'm just saying, you're speaking on something. Honestly, the only people that the only people that should be um, speaking on this type of shit are LGBT. But when you got straight men talking about it, it's a problem, okay. So why don't you go outside and play with play with a cock? You're so against it, right? Why don't you get yourself a trans woman? How you gonna be straight talking about this shit? That's my thing, right? To me, if you if you talking about this shit, you should go out and practice practice what you preach. If I'm always speaking on lifting, but I never work out, the fuck's I got to do with shit? But clearly I do, so I can speak on it, right? At that point, you're just spectating, you're just chiming in. If you really like what you, if you really, if you're really about that life and you really support it and you're really a part of that community, because the only people that should be speaking about that are, part, are people that's a part of that community, go out, bend over, get shit popping, find you the nearest man, start blowing and sucking and filling all over cocks. That's my thing. I'm also blocking your mom's calls too. She keep calling me after I let her suck the tip profusely. I didn't even let her give me a full gulp and blurp job. She just kept sucking the tip profusely. I said, ah, 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 ah. She kept going, like, come on, please. I was like, ah, just suck the tip one time profusely, that's it. She tried to do it again. I slapped the top of her head. Seeing you peek through the door was like, you got out, told your mom I was done, got up, I shook. Get that ass bent. I don't think you know what the definition of a simp is, but if I was a simp, the text messages that I received from your mom today, trying to court me with sexy photos, wearing a lace bra, red panties, red bra, because my favorite color is red, bent over, pussy spread it, 
where I could see to make sure there was no skegman between the lips. Man, if I was a simp, I would have fell for those nudes like nothing. But I looked at it, opened up my phone, realized it was nothing but flesh and matter, put my phone down and kept fucking streaming. That's what I did. That's what simps do. I'm not weak to the flesh. How many of you guys in here will consider yourself an attractive human being? No trolling, just you look in the mirror, you know that you're attractive. You know that you're capable of getting bitches. You know that you're a catch. You know that any woman will be lucky to have you. How many of you guys know all these things, right? And you know, you add people on Facebook and you just, you forget about them, right? But it used to, it used to be somebody that tried to give you a hard time about trying to holler. They was trying to play hard to get. And then you see him post a story with the ugliest nigga on the planet. And then you look in the mirror and be like, I guess I was too good looking. I guess I was too much in shape. I guess I, my looks were too threatening towards that woman to the point where they had to go get a nigga that looked like an alligator. It's funny. I see that shit all the time. It's, it, it cracks me up and it just makes me even more arrogant. Anytime I see a bitch who had the audacity to play hard to get with me, but I see him with an ugly, crunchy, alligator ass nigga or some ugly frumpy dad bot ass dude how about this fat ass motherfucker focus on his carbohydrate intake and how much of his sugars are processing into fats because he's not being active enough to burn those carbs which is just going straight to his midsection creating even more of a flapping gross anus stinking when you left gut fat motherfucker get off my dick Dude dropped the video as soon as so that means he's following all my social medias, following my Twitter low key, and stalking my streams. You watching me right now, you fat ass motherfucker. And let me tell you something. Why you watch me eat something healthy on stream, you fat fuck? How many unburned calories did you consume today? Why you sit here and try to cry on video for views? You fucking clown. You see me, I'm wiping my face because it's greasy. You're wiping your entire body because it's sweating profusely of oils, fats, greases, combustion of fucked up carbs and fucked up hygiene. Guarantee you, you're sitting in a seat right now that when you get up, your animal that's in the house, if you own a pet, is going to smell the seat and black out for a couple of seconds. We know you smell like ass. We know your hygiene is bad. Any fat ass motherfucker that looks like that sitting in a chair, this is how, man, imagine sitting in a chair, right? And your shit don't go straight down. You just basically sitting like Dr. Robotnik. This nigga dead ass sitting in a chair and his whole gut touches the armrest. Like that's crazy, your whole gut touches the armrest. You're so focused and engulfed in me, you can't even eat properly. You don't get proper exercise, you're fat and obese. You know what fat means? You know what obese means? Especially for a lazy obese motherfucker like you that doesn't wanna lose weight, it means that you're uh, literally an example of walking laziness. That's what fat really means. It's an example of walking laziness and non-dedication. It's different if you're a fat millionaire, it means your focus is on that money somewhere else. But the fact that you're a fat, worthless fuck that keeps trying to drop shit on my, on my fucking name and try to make me look bad and make everybody else look greater than me every time it's a topic, it shows you're obsessed. You're obsessed with a, a nice peanut butter complexion, six foot five black man with chiseled, chiseled abs, chiseled skin. Very fucking attractive. You are obsessed. Get off my dick and figure out how to actually see yours without lifting up fat, pulling it under like you're a fucking like you're a worker ant digging for the winter to find your fucking small ass penal area, you fat, stinking, worthless fuck. Tired of these fat ass niggas on my shit. At least be in shape if you drop in a video about me. You're forced to watch me at that point. How would troll channels exist if I never talked? Well, I mean, you know what? Your boy, I, I, there is something wrong with my image. And here's the thing, I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you. Yeah, boy, you said, uh, LTG, don't play dumb. You know what's wrong with my image. What's wrong with my image is I keep coming on stream drained 
because your mom keeps sucking the goddamn cum out of me relentlessly. She's the type of person that gives head that for some reason, after I'm done busting, she keeps sucking and making me twibble and twitch until I just give up and tap out and she will not let me stop busting. I'm chained to the motherfucking bed and all I could do is go, oh, 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 oh. that's all I could do is I'm forced to nut. If I don't nut, she's gonna keep sucking. That's what needs to change about my image because I come on this bitch and I'm so drained out of nut. I don't, I, you know, I gotta spew the testosterone somewhere because I busted too many nuts. Get that ass banned. Two games, I got it, pussy. You watching my stream, you know you're a fucking coward in real life. We know for a fact your armpits smell like freshly, freshly sliced in and out onions. We know for a fact you got extreme levels of pubic hair with a head connected to a nut sack for a dick. We know for a fact you use toilet paper to wipe your ass. And we know for a fact that if you do get top and your bitch goes down to suck your little micro dick, she only uses her index and thumb to grab your small ass dick while she sucks on it like the, tick of, the tip of a motherfucking popsicle. You bitch ass nigga. You gonna sit over here and leave after one game with bison. That was some clown shit, dude. Have ever tried dating a man? I mean, the closest I've ever been to dating a man is when I came over and for some reason your mom chopped all her hair off. And for some reason she still looked like a dude. But then she dropped her robe, had a pair of perfect tits, slightly hairy vagina, and an ass like a smack. And it jiggled one, two, three times. So I looked at her again, spinned her around, and was like, hold on, I don't like the short hair, but I'm loving everything else and dived in the pussy like there was no tomorrow. Man, don't mention that black ass, short ass nigga in my fucking stream again. Get that ass Ben. Don't mention clout chasing ass niggas in my stream again. Thank you. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you that nigga was riding all over my virtual dick. An extension of it, because he couldn't even ride the virtual. Looking like somebody's uncle that fucking brought over all kind of shastas and barbecue on a fucking Sunday. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Have a bitch slow wine for you. The goal is to hit two hundred while on stream tonight. You wanna creep a bitch out? Tell her to bring a bitch over late at night? Hold on. Bring a bitch over late at night? Have nothing but this fucking light on? Red only. And just tell her to start just twerking. Just tell her to pop that ass for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. What video got flagged? I think it was the one where, um, the one that got leaked where your fucking mom was slobbing and globbing all over the D. Has so much fucking saliva, I thought it was a goddamn dog that had mad fucking dog disease. White foam all over my dick. 
all over it. Don't ask me no fucking question like that. Hey, there were 40 pizzas in the last fucking 30 days. That fake ass Papa John shit. Your mom globbed all over the D for more than 40 days straight. But best believe, every time I got sucked off, I was paid a, a nice chunky $500 for each suck. Spent their whole goddamn retirement on sucking on chocolate peanut butter BBC. I'm streaming black ass nigga, so how the fuck I'ma look when I'm streaming trying to entertain crispy motherfucker? If I got five or six mods banning these niggas, obviously it's for a fucking reason. Why are you sitting over here unhiding niggas without my motherfucking permission? I use my brain cells perfect when I fucking whoop your fucking sorry ass Terry's ass. That's what I did. That's where all my brain cells went. Fucking fruitios eating ass nigga. Malto meal cereal eating ass nigga. Every meal with Crisco eating ass nigga. I do got a grandmaster. I got a grandmaster of fucking slaying your mom's cheeks. Spreading left, spreading the right, sliding hot dick in her, pulling out until I see cascading cream all over my fucking giant veiny BBC. Bitch ass nigga, that's what I got a grandmaster in. That fucking ass band. Fucking ask me about no fucking goddamn Street Fighter 5 rankings. Toilet paper is just. It's just not good. It gets stuck in your ass. It gets stuck in bitches' clits. You ever like. Be trying to. You know, you ever go down to eat a bitch's pussy and then you just start going like. <laughs> and she's like, is everything alright? You're like, yeah. And then you continue to. And then you're like, <laughs> and you're just spitting out pieces of toilet paper. Because the bitch wiped extra hard with toilet paper. The only thing that got to go is your mom's lukewarm fucking goddamn top. She keep promising me that she's been actually practicing on her motherfucking dildo that almost matches the size of my shit. Keep sucking it every day, stroking it. Telling me she got better at her head game, sending me videos of her sucking a black ass dildo. As soon as she put her two paper thin lips on my dick, I feel absolutely nothing. It feels like I just dipped my dick in hot water relentlessly and swiveled it around like a goddamn swizzle stick. Bitch ass nigga, that's what gotta go. Get that ass banned. What's his name, Sammy Hammy? How about I take my fucking dick out and hand you my motherfucking salami, nigga? Bitch ass motherfucker. Stroke till I bust, taste the nut, and drink it. Virtually only. Therefore, it ain't gay if I say virtually, right? I don't respond to dollar donations, nigga. You lucky I'm on this channel. Fuck you gonna give me a dollar for it, nigga? What the fuck am I gonna do with that? I can't even buy one goddamn condom from the motherfucking gas station to slide in one of you niggas' asses. To my lobbies. I'm losing because of my snake's ass? Not really, because I use it to slide in between your mom's cheeks with ease, with three condoms. I just take my snake, sizzle it, slide in, bust the hot load in, bitch ass nigga. That's why I lost. Cause my snake slides in between ass cheeks. Get that ass banned. Somebody take care of him. Now I might have been trolling with you niggas tonight, but Rocks, you going a little bit too far, my nigga. Stop fantasizing about me, all right? I don't even think about fucking a chick half the time. You think I'm gonna think about fucking some little black crispy ass burnt nigga from across the globe? Fuck out of here, bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot. I am. Oh my, my bad, Rox. I forgot. If I say that I don't, if I if I say that I don't like you, Rox, I'm a homophobe. Oh shit, guys, somebody slay me.
All right, guys, I retract my statement. Uh, he said that he wanted to fuck me, so I have to accept it or else I am a homophobe. So, uh, Rox, if you please, go ahead and virtually bend me over, spread both cheeks, and slide. And please stroke. Please, I, I beg you, please stroke gently. So guys, I might... Has anybody told me that I look like Roddy Ridge? I mean, for some reason. Yeah, mom thought I was Roddy Ridge when I came over in a black ski mask with my fucking hair sticking out the top. Act like I was going to commit a crime, but we was just doing nothing but playing role play. Came in here in a black ski mask. Hershey's color. Thermo. All you seen was my lips. Hair sticking out the top. Cut it. Act like I was going to grab every piece of jewelry. Instead, she said, no. She wanted me to act like I was going to take her. She says, no, don't take me. I said, hold on. I will take you. Next thing you know, she jumps on the bed ass first, cheeks wide open, and all I do is just jump and dive right into that fucking pussy. We did role play. They got put on a ski mask that made me so black, I did look like Roddy Rich. Get that ass bent. Nope. Sorry, Mexican. You're not getting those fucking points off me. That fucking trash ass fucking Chun Li. That shit was bullshit. That nigga was trash. Dude played like a nervous ass muchacho that just just got over the motherfucking border and just trying to hurry up and find some sort of some sort of fucking you know stabilization in life. Like bitch ass nigga, we're playing a video game. You know. I did get canceled, man. Me and your mom, we just didn't work out. Like every time I was going over there, she kept trying to feed me empanadas and coke. 24-7. Enchiladas, all these. I don't even like Latin food. The sex was cool, but the pussy had started to smell like like corn and and feta cheese 24-7. So I was like, you know what? I can't do this no more. Plus, I got tired of fucking eating grease every time I played the game. Which was your mom's pussy. So get that ass bang, you little dumbass cuck. Of course, of course, uh, Tipster's fat ass got a video about me. What else is he gonna do in the epidemic? Hold on, my bad, I said epidemic. What else is he gonna do in a pandemic besides eat and make videos? He doesn't work out. He doesn't exercise. He doesn't eat healthy. His whole pantry is fucking full of fucking color. Tipster's whole pantry is just full of snacks. You open up the pantry and you just see a glow of colors. All types of ding-dongs, donuts, cookies, juices that don't have to be refrigerated until you open them. All types of extra sweet beef jerkies. Fucking pepperoni sticks. Everything you could possibly imagine. When you when Tipster opens up his pantry, it's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It's so fucking colorful and just the golden glow just just comes out. So what else what what else what the fuck he have to do in a pandemic? Then drop videos about me. This is like the fourth video this fat ass dude then dropped about me, man. Get off my dick. I'm Wait telling you. Three frame. Fucking faggot. All these niggas playing this fucking play Wi Fi. Why don't you all you niggas get in a goddamn circle? Make one of those fucking stars that they use for witchcraft and just put your beep, put your fucking small ass dicks in that circle and do a seance and connect all your nuts and fucking balls together and stroke each other off till you bust a hot nut, hot nut all in the circle. Fucking faggots, you niggas are nobodies, man. Stop joining my shit. Fucking corny ass fake dojos and shit. Once you guys figure that out and realize being in love is a man-made thing, man, you'll, feel, you'll be a lot stronger. How many bodies is too much for a girl? depends on the age bracket but at the same time it doesn't because to me five over five dicks over five to seven dicks too much because you got to count how much how many times they fucked each dick and then you got to start calculating that vagina mileage then you have to calculate how many cocks they've blown you really want to be tonguing it up with a chick who sucked a gang of dicks Reddit, how, I don't care how many times she brushed her teeth. How many how many dudes in here fuck with a chick 
right now that probably been backshotted, busted, cheeks busted all over, ejaculated all over. Dicks rubbed all in their anus. Faces busted on, hair pulled while getting backshotted. How many people in here got, got just chicks that's just been slayed? You probably think you got a down ass chick. You probably fucking with a chick that's been slayed before. And you probably wife in it too. Probably thinking this is your baby. There's probably a lot of dudes in here that never even asked a woman about her past. I feel sorry for you. If you're one of those dudes that can ignore that, you're probably dealing with a chick right now that's probably taking two dicks at one time. I know people say, well, well, it's a sexual past. You shouldn't judge. But me, I'm a psychological motherfucker. So if I'm fucking with a chick and she's told me that she's fucked two dudes at one time or sucked all types of dicks and got face busted on, I'm going to be thinking about that while we're trying to smash and I'm going to be turned off and my, my package will not work. I'm like a robot. You got to charge me up. You got to put some sort of dope batteries in me for me to get fully boom. And if those batteries happen to come from the dollar store, and be some brand called Classico or something like that, I'm just not gonna operate correctly. I'm gonna die quickly. Let me ask you guys this. How many of you guys would, let's just say this, you met a fire chick. Everything was great. She always asked you what you wanted to eat. Um, texting you every morning, good morning, baby. Always giving you compliments. The new games come out, she's copping them for you every single time without you asking. Always rubbing on your shoulders, kissing you, treating you with respect, giving you massages, treating you like a king. And you guys sit down, right? And you start asking her about her sexual past because you guys get to this level. And you ask her how many dudes she's been with. She says, I've been with 23 men. Okay, you're like, damn, all right, you're thinking in my head, like, all right. Well, you know, just out of curiosity, how many times you think you've given oral sex to different penises? And she says, I mean, probably about like 32. And you say, all right, well, cool. I mean, the past is the past. You're like, all right, well, how many um, would you have you ever had a threesome before? And she's like, yeah, I definitely did. Like, you know, my college years or yeah, like I did it, you know, when I was 18 just to try it. You're like, wow, okay, well, was it with two dudes? And she's like, yeah, you know, I was very optimistic, but I, you know, I regret it, but I tried it. You know, you have to try everything. And you're like, all right, well, shit. And you start asking it. That's how you can, like, break down everything. Like, if you could get a chick to start, t if you could get a chick comfortable enough to, to display her past to you, and if you act cool about it, you could, like, you could literally have a chick crack her whole goddamn frontal lobe open, pull out her whole memory. And tell you every goddamn thing. Now whether you want to fuck with that chick or not. That's up to you. I mean if you ask her if she's had a threesome with two dudes. Don't even. Who cares if she had a threesome with two chicks and a dude. Any chick that has a threesome. Period. Is a complete rat. If you're going to wife a chick that's had a threesome before. You're dealing with spoiled rotten meat. How many of you motherfuckers in here would? would eat expired meat in the grocery store if you seen the date that said it was three it was three days past the due date you need to think about the details a threesome means that regardless of if it was with two dudes or two chicks she's been face down while back shotted while eating some sort of genitals pussy juices and dick juices have been swapped relentlessly in between the three she's let a chick eat her She's been busted and ejaculated on all over the frontal. Exactly. That, I just that's what I think with some thought shit. I'd be like, man, this this chick like was born to get backshotted by multiple niggas and it just get slayed. That's why that's why like the idea of like of just chicks in general just turned me off. Like just in general, just period, I'm just turned off by like that type of shit. There's some people out there that will fool you into thinking they like, oh, my baby had a threesome, she a freak. Nah, you're just a dumbass cuck.
Wait, hold on a fucking second, my dudes. Did this dude put some sobbish music in the background? Or was that just for the video? Did this fat ass nigga really put sobbish music in the background? Tell me this dude didn't do that. That fat ass dude tipster this on my dick. Fat ass nigga that wants to gobble up my dick like a hot burrito. If you'd worked out as much as you tried to upload videos about people that actually meant something in the world, maybe you'd actually be healthy. You grease gargling, bloated dinosaur from the show Dinosaurs, fat ass nigga. You know, fucker's gut is prehistoric. Like, you got chicks. You got chicks broadcasting themselves on social media talking about they bought a house with OnlyFans. Like, to me, there's so many things and red flags I look for that will make a chick unfucking wifeable. I'll never forget the time I was talking to this chick, right? And you know, we were fucking around for a minute. She really liked me, blah, blah, blah. You know, she was a cute chick, but I had to tell her a couple of things about herself. Caught her on file a couple of times. Told her about that. Pussy didn't have a scent anymore. Caught her with dandruff in her scalp. Told her about that. I never seen dandruff again because I told her about it. Uh, lips was chapped. Told her about that. Then she worked on her lips. I don't know. I just seem like I make people nervous. And then, um, so we would have little conversations. And this is how I get shit out of chicks, too. So this is how I do. I, I like go in a psychological shit. I get real psychological when I talk to chicks. So I told her, I was like, um, I say, man, I said, well, you seem like a freak. I was like, man, what's the freakiest shit you ever done? Like, you know, I, I think it's really sexy that, you know, you're on some freaky shit. I said, you ever had a threesome before? She was like, yeah, I had a threesome. She told me about it casually. She's like, yeah, I had a threesome. I had a threesome before, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, you had a threesome with two dudes? And I like act like it was cool. And then she was like, yeah, like I had a threesome with two dudes. And it was like, it was weird because it was like this guy I was talking to and he asked me like, did I want to have a threesome with him and his military buddy? And it was like in a scion, it was so crazy. And I'm thinking in my head like, all right, bitch. And I put like a check mark in my head, but I played it off and everything like that. And you know, I act like it wasn't that big of a deal. And I was like, that's crazy. It's like, shit, you ever have a threesome with like two chicks and a dude? And she was like, yeah, I was like, man, what? I said, so you was in a crazy position where uh, your face was in her vagina, you was eating her pussy, and you was getting backshotted too? And then she was just like, yeah. I was like, damn, that's just extra freaky. So my face just morphs. It's almost like I just turned into a different person. My face went blank. And I was like, you're unwifeable. And then she just stared at me and was like, huh? I said, you are completely unwifeable. I said, you had a threesome both ways. You've been backshotted while sucking dick at the same time. You've been busted on by two dicks, by two niggas with two dicks and four balls collectively have busted a nut all over your face. I say you've been in, you've had your face and vagina while getting backshotted. You've eaten pussy. I said you are fucking unwifeable. I said there's nothing that I can do with you. And she just. She cried to like one of her homegirls that I know. She cried to one of her homegirls about me and all that type of shit. But I had to give it a real. I mean, she got a new boyfriend and all that type of shit. Cause most of these cucks don't ask these questions. Me, I need to know if you've had threesomes, if you fucked with a bitch. Because I'm marking I'm like I like to play psychological games with these chicks. If you if you do one thing or say one thing, I'm a I'm a red flag you. Period. Do one fucking thing, I'm a red flag. You take selfies every day on Instagram, I'm red flagging. You twerk, I'm red flagging. Ass pics, red flagging. Talk to multiple niggas, red flagging. Hat threesomes, red flagging. It's just too many things I'm red flagging. Dandruff, red flagging. Pussy foul, red flagging. Chap lips, red flagging. I don't have time to build a bitch. We fucking, we having a fucking session. You know, you start queefing. Red flagging. Of course, skegma red flagging. You already know what it is.
Motherfucker dead ass crying on a video to try to look sympathetic. What a fucking fat fucking bloated ass spawn enemy looking clown, if you know what the fuck I mean. Not only did you rob and try to steal from my stream, which I'm gonna flag your fucking fat channel, and you're just gonna have to battle it out. I'm gonna just do it out of spite. But you're crying on your video? The fuck? You should be crying when you look in a fucking mirror. You should be crying when you take off your shirt and it looks like a waterfall of blubber, a waterfall of endless blubber. You're just seeing droops just keep hanging and hanging. Just droops, two big ass sagging ass titties with a gut hanging. We know your fucking ass smells like a fresh open bag of nine hot Cheetos. Like, it's crazy. Like, imagine me actually giving a flying fuck <laughs> about what these whack ass worthless niggas think. These people worship me. Every time I go live, they're here. Can't help but to type in my streams. These niggas are on my actual fucking cock. If I was in a crowd and handed out copies of my BBC, just throwing out copies of my BBC, just dildos, I guarantee you they would go home to try it in their ass. I guarantee you. I just got packages of BBCs printed from mine. Woo woo, throwing them like a frisbee. I guarantee you they're going home to try them in their ass. I promise you. You would just see a dildo go like this. Wait a minute, is this safe? Imprint of LTG's BBC. Guarantee you. Session with me. Do the mask keep the taste? Well, they do keep the taste out of uh, your mom's clitoris out of my mouth. That's for sure. When I go down to take a whiff, the P2, hold on, the P2.5 filters, they actually block the smell of your mom's stinking ass cheese built up clitoris to the point where I don't smell a goddamn thing. So actually, those masks actually do um, solidify some sort of filter to where it keeps dick and keeps stenches and keeps pussy out of actually one's frontal. Strokes, I'm annoyed that I gotta touch this clown again. Get the fuck out of here, man. These niggas online just get on my nerves. Sloppy as fuck. I wanna get this shit over with. You don't even deserve to play me again. I, I trashed you already. I am gonna practice more. I'm gonna practice more of how to eat a pussy with extra big ass lips. For some reason, your mom thought that it was hilarious to invite me over. She told, she sent me pictures of a tight little pussy. It must have been her ass 20 years ago. So she sends me the motherfucking picture, right? I'm like, all right, that's a nice little, that's a nice little any pussy. Clip wasn't hanging nothing. So I go over there late at night. She calls me over. I told her, I promised her, I promised her fellatio. I promised her I would eat her vagina, right? So I go over there late at night, right? She drops down her fucking robe. Boom, I see pussy lips dangling, looking like fucking droopy cheeks. I see a, a pussy lip here, a pussy lip there, clip dangling in the middle. And I'm like, I pick it up, drop the skin. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was supposed to practice more. Get that ass banned, bitch ass nigga. Somebody ban that clown out of my fucking room. I'm about to be 40 in dog years for sure. Because the only position your mom's going to love is when I come over, bend her over, ass cheeks still look like a square because she has no ass. So I'm 40 in dog years. The only position I want to do is bending her bitch ass over and back shotting her doggy style. Bitch ass nigga. That's what I'm going to be 40 at. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Let's just imagine if I was going to be 40. You would still be watching my stream because you serve no purpose. Somebody, somebody might as well vaporize you in the dust. Your existence is useless. He's talking shit in Spanish. Sigue así. My dear, que la van matando. Off with his head. Con la cabeza. 
only thing I Googled was to see how that girl looked in your profile picture. I can't Google anything. But what we're going to Google is what your girl looks like in that profile picture and see if she's willing to accept some of that hot pipe in DDC. All right, you're treading thin lines, my nigga. You should be getting top right now. I worry about what the fuck I'm doing on my phone. Yeah, I got that Goodwill paper. Because I'm sliding your mom that Goodwill. She told me if I came over, I could give her a Goodwill. Because that's what I call my actual BBC. I take my... I, t I go ahead, wear, go some... Put on some sweats, take out my good will, and give her some of that motherfucking William, bitch ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I haven't worked at Goodwill since 2017, January. My life is stupendous. Don't get it twisted. I could buy whatever the fuck I want. I drive clean ass whips. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Y'all niggas wish you could fucking be me, cucks. That's why y'all niggas is here, because you envy me. I could stun on you lame ass niggas if I want on Instagram and everything, but I'm not that type of person. I could be a complete fuckboy shitting on everybody, but I'm not doing it because that's not my fucking style. Kiss my motherfucking ass, hating ass bitches. I'm a 99 overall going to the home screen. And you're a 300 second going to band land, my nigga. Let's put you in, let's put you in uh, that black and white vortex hole. We gonna time you out for three seconds. My bad, 300. I don't give a fuck if you was joking or not, bitch ass nigga. Do it again, I'ma fucking ban you. What kind of fucking name is Jumpman Kill? What, you only wear Jordans, coon? Man, somebody ban that nigga out of here. You gone for life, faggot. It's the same kind of name that I use every time I get a chance to fuck your mom. She only likes to call me by my government. So she's so she's so goddamn sexy, I allow her to. If your mom wasn't as fire as she was. And the only reason I found out about her is because every time you donated, you used her PayPal card. So I was curious, I Facebooked her. Seeing what she looked like, a sexy fucking cougar too. Juicy ass fucking argumented titties. Perfect motherfucking ass, no dimples. Had the perfect full fucking surgery, bitch ass nigga. Now get that ass banned. I'll be over there tonight to fuck your goddamn mom too when your pops fall asleep. Now you banned for life, cuck. You faggot, stay fucking exposing yourself, don't you? One minute you on my dick copping jerseys, the next minute you wanna say some troll shit. This nigga come on my stream every day and then you expose yourself as a troll? That was real smart. I could have sworn that nigga ordered a jersey off me before too. Burn that motherfucker. Or tell your mom that she can wear it to bed when your pops is back shot in her, but it has my fucking Dulce and Gabbana scented cologne all over it. He's gonna be wondering why the fuck there's a strong presence of peanut butter complexion and Dulce and Gabbana plastered all over this jersey your mom's wearing the bed. But he's so much of a cuck, he don't even wanna question it. Your mom is so sexy, like, there's no way I'm gonna get another woman like this. I just gotta go ahead and just, she, you know, she's got a jersey. I might as well just deal with it. You know, maybe she picked it up from the thrift store or something like that. Fuck it, you know, I gotta save my marriage, pussy.
I knew this fat, lazy ass faggot was gonna sit over here and just spam some lucky ass side B shit. Stay the fuck out of my lobbies, nigga. That's why I kept you out. You untalented, lazy ass nigga. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga is trash. This dude got two fake side B's victories. Like, no, nigga. You're never playing me again. That's it. Tried to give you a shot. You blew it by showing you're a fucking lazy ass, fucking faggot ass, fat idiot. You're done. Like, come on, man. That nigga's done. You wanna be on my list? You pay like everybody else, bitch. That fucking trash ass lucky YOLO shit. That nigga's garbage, man. Like, I'm sitting over. The whole time I'm playing, I'm sitting over here just waiting for this dude to sit over here and just randomly do a side B. And this faggot does it randomly and gets the fucking victory. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're never playing me again. Period. You gotta pay me like everybody else. You don't even got a fucking gym next to your name, nigga. And it's a dollar to go green. Lame ass nigga. You are done. It's not even a fact that it's punishable and shit. It's a fact that I was like, this dude can't be that much of an idiot. He ain't really gonna do that right now, is he? And he does it. Go green, bitch ass nigga. You done in my fucking lobbies. Niggas sitting in our all gym chat with no gym. That nigga was desperate, man. That's the corniest thing about it. Like, this nigga was getting mixed up. And I'm not even good with Mega Man like that. This nigga was getting mixed up and depending on fake ass recovery bullshit, which he got from luck, and then two side B kills. Like, it was, there was nothing strategic about what he did. It was just like, fuck, I'm about to lose. Let me just try to side B. My voice, is, my bad, his voice ain't that deep. Let's go. What? Somebody went to Oil Ocean earlier. Let's go. Does he play all video games like that? Of course, he's an idiot. He doesn't know how to play video games anyways. If we were to play Street Fighter V right now, he'll end every last string with a sweep. He doesn't know frame data, nothing. Nigga just plays shit. Anyways, let's continue on with my paid people and get back to my stream. How the fuck you gonna be in a gym chat with no gym? Nigga, you're lucky I've been knowing you for all these years. I would have banned you a long time ago. Can't respect my motherfucking hustle, nigga. Oh, somebody order wrist wraps? Oh, thanks. Of course Rocks don't leave his house. Nigga, too busy. Nigga probably be in dark rooms. All you can see is his eyeballs and teeth when his grandma calls him in the room. This nigga Rocks just be in his room with two gallons of milk, three fucking bags of malto meal cereal. <laughs> Oh, damn, this thing's gonna kill <laughs> I fucking lost that. <laughs> this nigga Rock's got three different bags. Fruity Crisp, Golden Flakes, and all type. I don't even know, I don't even know what them shits are called. Nigga, like Street Fighter 5 does not work like any other fighting game. You could play the most godlike neutral, and it rewards another scrub ass player. Gives them B trigger where they can come back on you and beat you with a scrub mechanic. But what we gonna do is you can't learn, nigga, because you obviously don't understand LTG covenant ethics. Jim Crumble, bitch ass nigga. Thank you for your cheap ass 99 cent. I rub them two coins together until they get hot frictionizing. What I'll do is have one of my disciples hold your motherfucking ass cheeks open. And I'm gonna toss the quarter and it's just gonna seep into your asshole until you just go Aah! and just burn from the inside and crumble, bitch nigga. Get that ass bent. I'll be seeing so many bitches on Twitter talk about my pussy this, my pussy that. Guarantee you most of these bitches is talking about what their vagina can do, 
if it's this good or blah 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 I guarantee these bitches pussy stank I guarantee you most bitches walking around got a foul ass badge anyway so I'm almost guaranteed it's funny how people thirst over a bitch why would you thirst over a bitch over the internet when you can't even smell her pussy imagine hitting like on every last pick only to finally fuck and it's just shrimp and all types of seafood and fish. That's a gross fucking combination. Baby back ribs and ass. So what you gonna do? Eat the barbecue sauce with the ribs? Gap your chick's ash cheeks wide open and lick ass? That's been sitting in seats all day? Only way you should eat an ass if you're going to do it is fresh out of the shower. You should never just, your bitch comes home from a long day or just comes over after kicking it all day, doing whatever she doing. And you just be like, baby, let me eat your ass. Like you gonna eat a, a perspired ass? Especially if she got ass. If you spread that crack, best believe there's sweat. Best believe there's perfusion. I don't know, but like I said, some dudes like stank ass pussy. I'll never forget. Like a long time ago, um, probably like in 2010, that was when like XM radio was the shit. And there were these dudes that called into the radio station. The topic was, do you like your girls? How do you like your woman's vagina to smell? And these dudes, it was like, you could tell they were all old ass black men too. They were calling in saying how they just love the smell of stank pussy. I like my woman. I like it rank. I like it stank. If it don't got a smell to it, I don't even want it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was like multiple dudes calling in. All old ass black niggas calling in. Talk about they just like stank ass pussy. I don't even want my woman to come home and shy. I just wanted to come straight on in and we just get right on down to business. If I do a public lobby, I can't control it. I like it rank. <laughs> I like it stank. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, not every man is a fan of they woman not having no scent. When your woman got a scent and got them pheromones, that's how you know she your woman. Because you, you, you used to smelling her all day, you know? Now, she come home with no scent. She might have shot after work. She could have just got finished fucking somebody. See, I like my woman to have that little scent on. A nasty fuck would imply that I like to smell a stank ass pussy and I don't. As soon as I catch a slight whipping of an aroma of a female pheromone that resembles seafood, some sort of tropical fish or salmon, off top some turned off. Rocks, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? That shit didn't even make sense, you dumb, crispy, black-ass nigga. Why the fuck could you bring that clown up in my fucking shit? The fuck's that nigga have to do with it, dumbass? Freaking crispy critter ass nigga, why don't you roll up into a ball and shoot spikes at us? Let's not even talk about eating booty. That shit don't even sound up here. 
spread in somebody's cheeks where literal, literal fecal matter pours out of their ass like soft serve ice cream. It's not something that just sounds appealing. Hmm, I feel like eating ass today. That's just not something that just sounds appealing off the top. I'm telling you, nigga, eating ass wasn't even a thing. I'm telling you, I didn't even see eating booty and shit like that in porn, like, growing up. Eating ass wasn't a thing until skinny ass twig Janae Aki or whatever the fuck her name is said he got to eat the booty like groceries. After that, everybody was ass eaters. I'm telling you, humans are fucking drones. Everybody wanted to eat booty after that. That's when I started seeing, like, if you watch Black on X videos, these bitches will be... The, the black dude would be bent over like face down head face down ass up and the bitch will like grab his dick sucking on his balls and eating ass from the top I'm like I X they always eating niggas asses on black but they do it in the most degrading way they got these niggas dead ass like on their knees, ass in the air, head down, ass in the air, balls and dick exposed. The bitch will grab his balls and be eating that. I mean, I don't think it's gay if a chick wanna eat your booty. I mean, just kick back. Don't be like, ah. Be like, all right, you wanna eat ass? Cool, bitch, eat the ass then. And just stare at her. Why you just, it's just a degrading thing. Yeah, eat it, Get it ready, bitch. But if you gonna let a bitch eat your ass, definitely don't bend over so a bitch can eat your ass. Just lay there, let the bitch go all up under your nuts and struggle to do it. Just don't bend the fuck over. If you bend over, then it's gay. Weapon properly. Oh yeah, tell me. Hey Nico Savage, you know for a fact niggas would be fucking zombie pussy. Find a zombie on the ground, look around. Zomber what's it? Necrophilia? Zombrophilia. Motherfuckers will look around be like. <laughs> You already know. Then there would be a weird STD that if you caught it, your dick would just start growing vines out of it and turn green, and they would just have to come up with a vaccine. You'd be walking around with a with a fucking uh with a swamp thing dick. Ooh, why are you saying something every five minutes that I do something, my nigga? If you keep it up, I'm going to ban you. You want to be seen that bad, you keep typing, dude. I'm going to ban you. Nigga, shut the fuck up, you fucking black-ass coon. God damn, let a nigga play the game, you fucking monkey. You out-of-control zoo animal fucking spook. Shut your black ass up. He's a fucking child, man. It's a privilege for me to allow you to be here, my nigga. Keep that shit up, you're gone. What is wrong with this little faggot ass nigga, man? Nigga, I can say whatever the fuck I want. It ain't racist, nigga. I'm black. Somebody crumble that nigga's gym. Thank you. Don't tell me to chill out my own stream. Nigga, you're clearly new here. Your gym shows it. Somebody crumble that nigga's gym ASAP. Don't tell me to chill out my own stream. Nigga, I'm black. Anything I say is not racist, nigga. Ain't no such thing as racist coming out of my mouth when I'm saying black jokes. Get the fuck out of here. You gonna hear me saying black jokes and call it racist coming from a black nigga. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking clown. Walk over the target combo again. That's your punish is a fucking target combo, you dumbass. Dude, did it again, man. Somebody ban that nigga out of my chat. Fucking sloppy ass faggot ass player. Somebody said the nigga was in my chat. Yeah, 
Somebody ban that nigga ASAP. That nigga's a fucking moron. I don't give a fuck if he a diamond or not. Get that sloppy ass nigga out of my shit. You think some retarded ass nigga like that could actually beat me in Street Fighter? No, man. This game allows too much bullshit. Dude, just sit over doing so much unsafe shit. So nervous, too. I don't know why you'd even speak in my chat, sucking complete balls and dick at the game, playing with that corny ass. You don't even know how to fucking use Lucy. Just a dumbass nigga mashing all types of buttons. Oh, sorry ass garbage nigga. Yo, LTG matches up with me. The fact that the, that's the way you spoke, I could tell you're a fucking moron. There's no way in fuck a nigga like you should be able to ever pull a game off me but street fighter 5 allows dumb shit you just sloppily pressing buttons doing a target combo over and over and over again get that nigga out of here over here excited to match up with me nigga you didn't beat me authentically you playing me online scrub ass nigga These niggas straight match me up with a straight up fucking sloppy ass scrub playing with some fucking red costume. Yeah, nigga got banned for stream sniping and acting excited that he got matched up with me. That slop and played like a fucking sloppy ass child. You played like somebody that was black. You played like one of these neighborhood niggas that claim they can play fucking fighting games that are black. In person, you beat them. Sloppy ass online lagging ass nigga. I don't got no respect for trash players. Do you see what this ugly black ass nigga is doing? This nigga's pressing sweep in neutral. Final round. What the fuck is this ape ass nigga doing? What the fuck? Oh, this is a prime example of a fucking masher. Target. Oh, I'm so glad I banned this nigga. I don't understand. I'm. Oh my god. I, I can't believe I lost to this nervous ass spook. Dude, this game is so bad. This game is so fucking bad. He keeps punishing with a target combo, so a black ass idiot. Fight. Strings with fucking sweep. Mashing buttons. Pressing, spamming shit. Yeah, it's punishable and hit. That's why I'm telling you, this nigga just a retarded ass monkey. The way he's playing is like a ghetto black ass nigga would play that thinks they could play Street Fighter. This is what this game allows you to do. How in the fuck am I losing to this dude? How am I losing to this fucking retard? Oh my fucking god. Nigga, if he, put, if he puts this shit on his YouTube, I'm sending him a flag. I just don't understand how I could lose to this fucking retard. This nigga sucks. He waking up with sweep and shit. Nigga, you know you're gonna lose. Don't try to go off for no fake W. Get this fake ass clout where you can get it. You plaid shirt, fat ass, black ass nigga. This is a joke. Oh, here we go. Two jabs, walk up, grab you. Fucking black ass moron. Fucking dumbass coon. Fucking nervous black bitch. Imagine a dumbass nigga like you pulling off a victory over my fucking Yuri, you sloppy bitch ass nigga. Fucking sloppy ass players. This game is fake, dude. This nigga got three wins off of a mirror off. I know everything about Lucia. 
this garbage ass sloppy bitch is able to pull off a victory over me? Fake ass fucking game. Round one. That's what happens when you're a dumb black ass button mashing neighborhood street fighter playing ass nigga. You win. Oh my god. Street Fighter 5, almost 5 0 this sloppy ass scrub, but he just doing so much unorthodox scrub shit. I couldn't pull it off. I thought we was almost finished with this black ass retard with a low fucking IQ of a fucking 20. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. I told you, niggas, scrubs are my kryptonite in this game. Yeah, take a deep breath, you diabetes type 2 ass black. Round one. Take a deep breath, you dumbass nigga. Look at you. You fucking nervous bitch. The fuck you ain't no frame trap eight. Oh, now we lagging, monkey? Alright. Now all of a sudden we lagging. Somebody woke up and heated up the fucking Crisco oil. Come on, why the fuck they allow this bitch ass nigga to hit me twice? What the? Why is there a dodge button in the game? My, somebody time, um, Phosphoro. One more of those and you'll be banned. Um, let's see. Who else come in here with troll comments? Dino Drip God? Your gem has been crumbled, my nigga. Peace out. Let me see. Who else? Mods, time out rocks. You wanted attention that bad, you punk ass nigga, you got it. Time them out. Next one, I'm crumbling your fucking red bitch ass gym. Wasn't looking up shit, bitch ass nigga. Don't worry about the fuck I'm doing on my phone, clown ass fucking bitch. If I wanted to look up tips and tricks, bitch, I would do it. It's in my fucking discretion. Hey, mods, somebody crushed that John Mark Hernandez. Get this bitch ass nigga out of my room. Just go cook up some fucking tostadas or something, nigga. Somebody get this dude out of my motherfucking chat. Crushed. Matter of fact, yeah, we're going to ban you for the rest of the chat. Go get a life, bitch ass nigga. All right, so let's see. That nigga just like desperate for my attention or something every time I fucking stream. Go do something else, nigga. Get the fuck off my dick. That nigga's a fucking clown. Nigga just cannot just type something. How hard is that not to just type some shit? How many cars can you actually buy? So, let me ask you guys this. What the fuck was that that I was fucking with? How many of you guys seen fucking, um... <laughs> uh, said the alert box. How many of you guys seen that clip of... What's his name? What the fuck is that corny ass Migos rapper? Uh, Offset. He calls Reese Witherspoon on live. It's all over Instagram and shit. He calls Reese Witherspoon on live. And what's the first thing this coon ass nigga says? The first thing he says, a black rapper. What's the first thing that he says? 
to a Caucasian woman when he calls her on live. And it just made me cringe as somebody that was black. I was like, here's your chance. And the first thing you mention as a nigga is 30 cars. I just kind of sunk back in my seat like, damn, he really, he really did that. He really told a Caucasian 40 something year old actress that clearly don't give a damn about whips that he has 30 cars and he made a song called Skirt. I'm telling you, man, there's, there's classes of nigga that you just, you know, we all come in different classes. And that was a complete dumbass coonery move to make it. If there was a stereotype, that's a prime example of a fucking stereotype right there. First thing this nigga mentions is he got 30 cars to Reese Witherspoon. Not what's your next movie? How are you doing through this quarantine? I grew up watching his stuff. But he tells this woman that I got 30 fucking cars. Dude, black people are some, some black people are something else, man. Y'all niggas wonder why I go extra hard on blacks for stupid ass shit like that. I watched that and was like, did this man really, this dude, this, did this millionaire black man really just make himself seem like a complete coon in costume jewelry? You said chill? Get the fuck out of here, man. Ain't nothing to chill about. I would have never told somebody I got 30 cars. You think Jay-Z would tell somebody he got 30 cars, Will Smith, any sophisticated black? They gonna hop on the phone with somebody and tell them they got 30 cars? Yeah, I got... And did you guys hear his voice was all extra shaky and shit? He was all scared when he was talking to her. All nervous. Yeah, I got... It just sounded like... It just sounded like he was talking to a... To a substitute teacher or something like that. Yeah, I got 30 cars. Yeah, I, I got... Yeah, I made a phone call skirt. And I got 30 cars. Fucking dumbass nigga. Because he probably wanted to call her. She probably didn't expect this nigga to say he got 30 cars. What do you think that Reese Witherspoon was really thinking in her head when this when this motherfucking dumbass regular black, typical stereotype black, when he mentioned that she had 30, when, when he mentioned to her that he had 30 whips, what do you think she thought in her head? I got 30 cars. I don't know why nobody don't speak up on that type of shit. If I was a celebrity, I would have dropped the video. I'd have been like, yo, offset. I'd have been like, look, I mean, salute to your endeavors and everything like that. But you just made yourself look like a complete moron when you was on live with Reese Witherspoon. And you started mentioning your fucking vehicles. He does sound like he about to cry because he nervous as fuck. Oh, shit, I'm on the phone with Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Oh shit, she used to be illegally blind. Well, I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of stereotypical blacks at all. About how they make the majority of blacks look. Because remember, the people that are high up, right? The offsets and the babies and all that. Everybody that's not from America and that don't really pay too much attention from blacks and that's what they see as blacks as a forefront, they're going to think we all operate like that. And somebody got to start checking these typical these typical stereotype blacks that's, that's on a on a higher hierarchy level and making us look dumb as fuck. Say something about it, man. There's not there's not enough black people out there that's gonna say shit. That nobody's exposing blacks for being coons for the most of the time. Stupid man, I'm off the blacklist. This fucking moron. Be triggered the part of the game. Why wouldn't he use it? You dumbass nigga. It's not about using it. You fucking retard.
It's literally about sucking ass in neutral and getting rewarded for getting your fucking ass handed to you. You stupid fucking moron. How about you think outside of the fucking goddamn moving box, you fucking retarded ass nigga? Stop asking stupid ass questions. If I was crying, you'd hear tears sprinkling and dripping all over my desk. But all you heard was your mom's pussy splashing as I busted with back shots and watched the motherfucking white cream just splash out like anime juices as I bang it over and over again till I bust a hot load in that fucking pussy. Bitch ass nigga, get that ass banned. Ask me questions, you lame ass niggas. Ask me no motherfucking questions. You sit here and watch. You don't got a gym, you sit here and watch, nigga. If you don't care, why the fuck you here? Your mom cared when she was torpedo sucking my dick like a fucking hot missile. Under the motherfucking goddamn ocean, shooting through sharks and schools of fish, nigga. Oh, it's a Brazilian. No wonder. So he's a Spanish nigga. Sp Spanish slash nigga. He's a black Spaniard. Get that ass blacklisted. Spigga. The fuck they trying to match me up with niggas that fucking sit over here slicing open cantaloupes and fucking frying up bananas and rice with slices of fucking pork and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Them whack ass fucking Dominican breakfasts and Brazilian breakfasts. That shit gross. Fucking stripped beef, eggs with a side of potatoes and shit. Don't nobody want to eat that whack ass shit calling it a Brazilian breakfast. No, you niggas just combusted a bunch of shit on the plate, make it look all exotic, and the Americans supposed to eat it up. Get the fuck out of here, man. All these jujitsu ass niggas. Two questions. How many people in here know what a Klataco is? You said grades are free, mods ban them. I told you niggas, when I open up the chat, you talk like that, we gonna ban you. Mods, get rid of them. How many of you people in here know what a fucking Klataco is? So nobody in here knows what a Klataco is. Klataco. C-L-I-T. I don't know, should we do two T's in it? Nah, we'll just do C-L-I-T-A-C-O. How many people in here know what a fucking Klataco is? Yes, Klataco. I'm gonna tell everybody in here what a fucking Klataco is when I'm done with this match. I'm gonna tell you what a Klataco is, how to perform a Klataco. How many people in here How many people in here know what a fucking Klataco is? All right, for the last time. Let's pause it real quick. All right, so we got 849 people in here and not one soul knows what a Klataco is. I'll tell you what a Klataco is. So I'm gonna I'm demonstrate real quick. This is my Jenga piece. So I could do what I want with it. A Klataco. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. A Klataco is thank me later, niggas. And bitches, too. A Klataco is when you take your tongue, roll it in a taco, put the clit in the middle, and suck. Put that clit in the middle. So basically your tongue is the taco. You let the clit sit in the middle, fold it like a tortilla and suck. <laughs> the clit taco, baby. Now you niggas learned a technique. That's crazy. 837 people. Y'all niggas didn't know how to turn a clit into a taco. Y'all niggas have a good night. And with these good teeth or whatever the fuck you think I am, Chinese nip teeth ass nigga. So not only did you racially say a, a racial clown towards anybody of Asian descent. Let me tell you niggas something. I don't give a fuck about what you say about my grill or anything. I'm still a thousand percent sexy of a nigga than you are. I take off my shirt. It's nothing but chiseled peanut butter.
You niggas wish you looked like me. Jawlines, jawlines so motherfucking chiseled. It's almost like a fucking Greek, a Greek slave had a depiction of me in the fucking future. That niggas get off my dick. You think I give a fuck about what you lame say about me? You'd have to order a pair to know if there was flea market wristbands, you dumb bitch ass nigga. The last wristbands I did, you dumb bitch ass nigga. Those were flea market. This is top quality, top notch shit that I did research for and found a company. You black ass spook. Let me see what type of shit you can come up with, coon. The fuck off my dick, bitch ass nigga. Stay the fuck out my streams if you don't rock with my shit, ape. Said why everything a race thing to me? Mm. Because for some reason, my vehicle wouldn't start one night. So I got plenty of running shoes, right? I walked outside, it happened to be a bunch of black kids, a bunch of Hispanic kids. They asked me to race. I said, I gotta go run and get this pussy. So they said, if we beat you, you give us your shoes. I was like, hold on a second, I gotta go get these cheeks. How am I how am I gonna fucking go get these cheeks if I if I can't run up over there and jog? So me and the kids, we get in line, we run, boom, I'm racing the kids, I beat them and I dust them. And before you know it, I blinked and I was at your mom's house right at the door. She dropped my motherfucking pants down right there with the porch light shining on the fucking peanut butter complexion abs and BBC swinging. It started sucking me off on the front porch and I just busted a goddamn grill all in the spiders and plants. Dumbass nigga, get that ass banned. That's why race is a big thing for me. My net worth? I don't know if I Google it. Matter of fact, if I grab this ruler and measure my paper, right? As a matter of fact, if I grab this ruler, I would take it. Pause for a minute. Go to X videos. Put on my favorite video. The category of Isis Taylor. I would begin stroking. Hold on a minute. Camera's blurry. All right. I would take this ruler while I'm watching my favorite Isis Taylor video. I would begin stroking my BBC until it reaches a certain length. Therefore, my length would be on a good day about 11 and a half inches. That's what my net worth is when I take this net worth. Bend your fucking mom over. Grab a lock of her blonde hair. Pull her back while I stroke 11 inches of net worth. 11 and a half inches of net worth right in her motherfucking pussy until she just creams and splashes all over my dick like cascade suds over dirty dishes, nigga. Don't ask me no questions about my revenue again. I don't share things like that. Shows back because I was walking into a corner. Hey, Rox, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you one more chance. If you say anything else to annoy me in any of my streams from this point on, I'm gonna ban you for life. I'm dead serious. I'm tired of you, dude. You are a fucking black spook, annoying ass, dumb ass nigga. And you're getting on my fucking nerves. And that's what you're trying to do. And you're going to succeed by being banned for life out of my shit. And I swear to God. Nigga, you are gone completely. You say one more stupid ass thing in my chat. I'm sick of you. Never, I never seen a nigga that need attention from another man so bad. Like that shit's crazy to me, man. All right, somebody just, I'm gonna ban this nigga for that night. Matter of fact, mods ban this gay ass little nigga out of my chat. Thank you, man. This nigga's a fucking gay lord, dude. Get this little gay ass nigga out of my chat. Seriously. Suspended for a week, my nigga. I had you on my Switch tomorrow, but I'm not playing that shit again tonight. It's funny how, um, 
it's all like in speculation maybe it is this nigga rocks doing it's funny when i play anti right somebody where rocks is sucking this nigga's dick as if he had it out ready on a silver platter with all types of motherfucking juices and berries next to it all types of fruits complimenting his dick Just for you been joking around on that nigga, get that ass bent. And you will not be unbanned on my stream either. Cancel your membership for that fake shit. Thank you. Peace out. He didn't warn me about shit. The nigga was trying to troll with some shit talking about coronavirus was going to be on the jerseys to some corny ass shit. So I banned his black, burnt, crispy coon ass up out of here, man. How that nigga coming here fucking around? Go do something with yourself, bitch, nigga. You gone. Is it like super diamond or, or damn near super diamond? And you guys know I rage quit all the time. So Asian women are horny. <laughs> well, you know what I don't like about when people classify a certain type of woman to a certain type of thing? Let me tell you guys something. All vagina, the only thing that separates one vagina from the next is the tight, how tight it is, how warm it is, how wet it is and what it smells like. There is no, oh, Asian bitches got bomb pussy, white women got bomb top, black women know how to, like, there is no difference. If you go on Walmart right now, line up an Asian, an Hispanic, a black, just the random ones, take rubber gloves, bang, sniff, bang, sniff, bang, 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 sniff all the gloves, all the pussy gonna stink the same. Unless her pH levels are correct, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you will catch that woman on file. Doesn't matter the ethnicity. Bruh. The only type of excuse I'm making is your fucking ugly ass mom after she paid me $5,000 to fuck with two condoms. She kept begging. And I didn't even give her the authentic, hot, steaming, veiny BBC. All I did was give it a somewhat pipe with two condoms. Because if you fuck somebody with two condoms, it, it's not even sex. One condom low-key ain't even sex. That's the type of excuses I'm making because I don't want to fucking go over there again. The pussy stunk. So on top of that, so on top of me smashing with two condoms, it was rubber mixed with old ass tuna fish and Bengay. So yeah, I made all types of excuses not to even go over there ever again. Show me your skill. Don't Yo, hesitate. hold on a second. Let me pause the music. I just seen something very disgusting and very disturbing on Instagram. This is why I say I don't, this is why I say I really don't think I got a fan base, fan base. I got supporters. I got people who watch me, but I don't have a fan base. You know why? Because it's prime fucking proof right here. So everybody go into your Instagram tab and type this in. Everybody go on your Instagram tab and type that name in. How in the fuck does this disgusting, blubbery, bloated, weave-wearing, gross blob of abomination goo have this many followers, have that many likes, but y'all niggas can't get me to 10K on IG? Go look. To the person that said, no thanks, we're going to time you for 300, bitch. Nigga, if you wasn't going to look, just don't say shit. Bro, how in the fuck does this gross-ass, disgusting bitch get followers and likes? What is wrong with this society to just like a big sack of laziness? When you see somebody look like that, they just walk in laziness. That's it. This woman is disgusting looking. Like who who thinks this looks good? Stream sniper or not? This is a worthless nobody, probably sitting around with a fucking stankin' anus and fucking two balls that smell like two pennies that's been rubbed together a hundred thousand times until you have nothing to do but smell copper. I fucking shit. Y'all looking for some real talent, man. Y'all looking for somebody that's trying to play, man. 
Y'all can follow me on my Twitch. It's ill shit. It's the same name as my own. Listen, line. nigga. Finish the motherfucking ass. goddamn shit. Or we gonna quit. It's just that fucking simple. You wanna win? There you go. Niggas are fucking dumb. Was not playing you for real, period. You gonna donate last week talking about I donated for a set for MK wasting my fucking time like I really wanna play this shit. That trash ass garbage noob sabat. Nigga was fucking garbage, man. Let me waste my fucking goddamn stream time on that shit. From now on, y'all niggas don't get it popping that time. Make it a, a prominent thing to where you get your games right then and there. I'm not honoring this shit no more. I didn't, even, I didn't even hear what the fuck this nigga was saying. I don't know if he was on a mic or nothing. I literally turned off my speaker. I turned off my speaker as soon as I seen this black ass nigga had a mic. You already know how black people are. Clout chasing ass niggas. I dead ass turned off my speaker as soon as I seen it was some spook with a mic. Who the fuck went hierarchy in the first place? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, I, I didn't hear nothing that ape said. So it don't even it don't even fucking make a difference. He paid ten dollars and said it on stream. I told you, when you're black, it's always gonna be black people really trying to clout chase off you as much as they can. I promise you that. That's why I turned off my mic, because I knew it was gonna be some monkey hating. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be some ape, some spook. He could plug whatever the fuck he want. Ain't nobody gonna watch some fucking monkey come in here and stream. Get the fuck out of here, man. He's a basic black spook. Get the fuck off my dick, nigga. You can promote your Twitch all you want. Nobody will ever, ever watch your stream. Fucking monkey ass nigga. How the fuck you gonna... He just exposed himself as a real, typical, dumbass American black. It doesn't say anywhere in my clause. It doesn't say anywhere in my clause that if you donate, I have to play you serious. It just says, I'm gonna play you. It don't say I'm gonna go 100%. That's why we got the 2% coins. Everybody put up your 2% coins. It seems like there's people in here that's misconstrued about what the 2% coin really motherfucking means. This monkey ass nigga came in here and really thought that I was gonna play him authentically over donating 10 measly ass dollars from last week? The fuck out of here, nigga. You gonna expose yourself as a spook? A coon? On top of that? I was like, man, all right, this nigga's black. He got on a mic. Let me turn my speaker off. I'm so glad I cut it off. So glad, because I knew what was gonna pop from this spook. Should've known it wasn't, it wasn't your fault. Was it your fault? Was it your fault, five star? You should have known. As soon as he opened up his grill and he was a he was a spook, an American black, a hating typical American black. You already know what the fuck the deal was. Nigga started plugging his Twitch like it's just gonna be thousands or even over. It, it, it probably won't even be nothing but ten viewers in that bitch. If that, you might get lucky to get ten viewers. You dumbass black typical clout chasing ass spook. Nigga, that's dead ass. This is the lowest of the barrel. This is the lowest of the barrel clout. And you wanted a piece of that to plug your Twitch? Nigga, nobody's ever gonna watch some random black ass coon streaming Mortal Kombat. Fucking goddamn monkey. Tired of these niggas, dude. Those are the type of black people I can't stand. So when you niggas. Try to say there's racism and all that type of shit? No. Those are the type of niggas I can't stand. Apes. Monkeys. Niggas that carry out like typical blacks. Get the fuck up out of here, spook. Hope I made your day, ape. Nigga had on a goddamn... The fuck this nigga had on a Neapolitan hoodie in his profile pic standing next to a nigga. Fuck out of here. I cannot stand typical blacks, dude. I can't stand it. All behave and act the same. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say about it. The monkey came in here for attention. We gave him plenty of fruits and fucking bananas. Is using their main 
Whoever said the guy was funny, mods. Time to nigga relentlessly for the rest of the stream. Thank you. You said he had a Haitian flag? Shit, he sure did have excellent... He sure did have an excellent connection for being a nigga from Haiti. He must have did some fucking voodoo. Put some goddamn goat eyeballs, mouse balls, hands, feet, eyes, rapist dicks, all in a motherfucking goddamn pot. A black pot and was just churning it. Churning it. Said, created a fucking a router, just came out of that bitch that was just engulfed in gold and ivory. What's that shit they keep going to Haiti for? It's like this material they keep fucking around in Haiti. What is it? Well, whatever it was, the router is made out of it. Then he had a great fucking connection, but he ruined himself. His true blackness came out because, you know, niggas are lazy universally almost. His true blackness came out when he picked Abigail. Oh, we got a stream sniper here. Get this fucking punk ass nigga out of here, man. This shit whack. How are these punk ass nigga stream sniper? Niggas fans, but on one jersey. Get the fuck off my dick, man. Lagging ass Zimbabwe ass nigga. Nigga just jumped in and did a fucking goddamn super startup fucking goddamn normal. Fucking goddamn whack ass Zimbabwe ass nigga. Reading rainbow lookalike ass nigga. The fuck off my dick. This is the same nigga that was on one of my tags. I'm about to definitely, definitely rage quit and blacklist this nigga. As soon as I see the name, it's just like, get the fuck off my dick, dude. I'm going to opt out and ban you out of my chat, too. You're not green. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. I think I'm done after that. Niggas is just too busy stream sniping. And then I lost the tag, too. So, I'm going to just log back into the server. Blacklist this fucking whack-ass, lagging-ass, African Zimbabwe-ass, eating fucking grubs-ass nigga. Be rage quitting empowers them. That lets you know how worthless their lives really are. If that feel, if that makes somebody feel empowered, that I rage quit on them, shit, they can have it. That'd be the best piece of morality they ever got in their fucking life. Richard, nigga, shut the fuck up. There's nothing on my site that's sold out, nigga. Hats are gone. Towels are gone. Wrist wraps or jerseys, bitch, nigga. Repeat that shit one more time. Lame ass motherfucker, clearly I'm ignoring you. Cause it's a stupid fucking question. You dumbass. Dude, like, what is this flag right here? What kind of flag is that? Nigeria. Exactly. Fucking scamming ass. Trying to get me to send a cell phone to your fucking black ass with eBay fake auctions up ass nigga. Fucking, fucking I can't grow hair past an inch ass nigga. Eating fried bananas and chicken ass nigga. Get blacklisted for life. Get the fuck off my dick. Fucking blue black ass nigga. I will quit the game. I'm going to quit the game when your mom stops coming up with weird guru and sorcery techniques when she's sucking on my dick. Every time I go over, she got new weird guru and techniques that she's doing on my dick to where she's playing the flute with it and doing sorcery. She, she got to the point where she sucks my dick so good. She just starts doing this. And I'm not even getting head from her no more. Like, she has souls coming from the dead that give the best head from the beginning of time to suck me up. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, oh, oh. Somebody get this bitch ass nigga out of here and ban him. Round one. I just seen a fat nigga on my fucking Twitter timeline trying to be funny. The only thing that's... Actually, there's nothing funny. It's just a fat fuck with a grimy beard. Hold on. Oh, God, are we complaining again? 
Nigga taking all his time to make a skit for Twitter. But has the ugliest, grossest. I've never seen a white person with such an uneven beard. Beard looking like fucking carpet in an old ghetto apartment. They're roaches and er, just dirty ass popcorn kernels and shit then ran through. Some nigga named LL Lance. How Twitch chat acts when streamers get mad. No hair. This dude just looks like he hasn't exfoliated. Hate this matchup. Give a fuck about that nigga. Call him out. He's fat. He should call a gym out. Tell him to call up 24 and figure out how to get a fucking membership on discount. Should nobody that's fat be doing skits? Put some energy into a fucking diet and a workout plan. What's the name of the fat ass nigga doing skits? Uh, let me look. I think it's off my damn, uh. Yeah, I lost it. It was on my timeline, but that shit ain't funny. Some fat ass nigga with a grimy ass carpet beard. Never seen a Caucasian man with a beard so trash. Usually you motherfuckers got the best beards. This nigga had a beard that looked like somebody shaved off their pubes. Got school roll-on glue and then patched them on his face. Just hate seeing corny shit on my timeline. You got 31k followers, but still can't figure out how to properly diet. Still don't know what exercise is. Never got a beard lineup. Never got a proper haircut outside of supercuts. And doesn't have a proper camera. Because it's all shaky. The focus is shaky on the camera. Yet yeah, you niggas want to follow an ugly fucked up bearded nigga like this. Hey mod, somebody ban that nigga. Um, talk about I'm ducking him. I don't even know who the fuck you are, you black ass spook. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it for you. You gone, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you got a gym or not. Get the fuck off my dick, bitch. Duck this dick in your mouth, nigga. Get that ass banned. Ain't been on the fuck your fucking clout chasing ass is, spook. Allowed him to get a fake victory one time. He got a fake online lagging ass victory off of a fake fucking stage. The second time, he's already in my shit. I blacklist. I didn't have no excuses when I slid in your mom's hot fucking pussy and it was so gooey, ooey, cascady, and white splashy that I couldn't even last fucking five minutes. I, I tried to come up with an excuse on why I busted so quickly, but the vagina was so fucking succulent. I just busted a hot load in. And I kept stroking after I was done. I was like, oh, I kept stroking over and over and over again. And I busted another nut. And I was like, oh, busted a third nut. You peeked in the door. I stared at you as I busted a fourth and closed the door right in front of you while I finished your mom off, turned her over, back shot it again for another bust ass nigga. Get that ass banned, bitch. Stop coming in here with the lame shit. Y'all niggas know when you watch my stream, you're gonna see me complain about this garbage ass game. So shut the fuck up and deal with it. Somebody get that nigga out of here and ban him. Thank you. Alright. Fuck off! Fuck! God damn, man! Don't try to tell me how to play, nigga, period. Get that ass banned. Don't give me a pro tip, nigga. You're a nobody. How about I give you a pro tip? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flop my BBC out on the table. When your mom fucking invites me over for dinner, you're gonna see a big piece of beef on the motherfucking table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you to go in the kitchen and get me all the motherfucking seasonings you got. I need you to get the garlic salt. I need you to get the motherfucking seasoning salt while my BBC sits there on the table and you just see it pulsate like moving liver. That's been taken out of a motherfucking cow. And you're just going to stare at him. I'm be like, keep seasoning. Stare at you. Keep seasoning, motherfucker. You're going to keep seasoning my meat over and over again. Keep seasoning it, nigga. And I'm going to pull out my motherfucking goddamn flop my BBC off the table. It's going to go like a slime noise because it's just covered in saute. And I'm going to take that BBC, walk straight to your mom's mouth and stare at you. Poke it in her motherfucking grill. She's going to go, oh! 
I'm gonna be like, now suck it in front of your son. She's like, I'm sorry, I just can't help it. It's so flavorful. That's gonna be the pro tip that I gave her when I gave her this flavored BBC of seasoning salts. You dumbass nigga. I'm not a pro tip nigga, you're a fucking nobody. I'm streaming this little ugly ass midget that's only like 5'2 in person that was sucking my dick just riding it completely joins my stream trust me ain't nobody take you seriously he's a fucking joke this nigga follows me on every tag a grown ass nigga with a wife and kids follows another nigga every single time I go to a tag I gotta remember to blacklist this ugly, sloppy ass midget with five, six kids with a bitch that always stream snipes me. Nah, some fucking midget that's been on my dick for years. Seen this midget at Evo, he sold me a motherfucking ticket. And a nigga been riding my dick ever since. Man, get the fuck out of here, dude. Don't you got kids and a bitch? Get off my dick, nigga. Stop fantasizing about eating my fucking asshole. Nigga fantasizing late at night at 1210 to spread my cheeks and eat my ass. When you got a bitch laying in bed that you could literally go and slide your small micro dick in and fuck. Nigga, stay off my streams. I'm a blacklist this midget ass retard. This sloppy ass, awful, god awful Nash. I really wish I was playing with motherfucking goddamn Gil right there. This nigga just wants attention so bad. I never seen a grown ass nigga want attention so bad that has a full fledged family. Nigga, don't you drive like a little Nissan, what's some little, not even a Maxima, what's a Nissan Sentra? One of the mini-ass Nissans, nigga? Don't you work at a fucking casino? Serve me drinks when I gamble, bitch-ass nigga. Check me into my fucking hotel, midget. Damn, get the fuck off my dick. These niggas gotta stop stream sniping. I'm not playing you, nigga, seriously. This nigga deadass got a wife and kids trying to stream snipe, thinking I'm going to play this midget seriously. As soon as that seen that corny ass name, I was like, man, this, this old micro ass nigga again, this manlet is still on my dick after years? God damn. Put the kids and bitch to bed. Now you dreaming about me. What the fuck was that nigga's name? Please, let's blacklist this nigga. Master what? Nigga, you can't be a master as short as your ass is. You could be a disciple, though. A midget in one of my cloaks. Ah, fuck, I gotta type that shit in. Oh, midget-ass nigga. That is, this nigga got his seat all, they got his seat pushed all the way up to the steering wheel and still couldn't see over it. I'm sitting in this car, knees hitting the fucking dashboard and shit. I'm like, damn, this look... Man, I could've walked over here, you fucking micro-midget-ass nigga. Hold on. Master Mitz Uguri. And this nigga don't even play Soul Calibur. I just made this nigga's night. When it should have been your bitch giving you top. That's what should have made your night. Your bitch pulling out your little small ass micro dick. With fucking pubes wrapped around it in a circular motion while she sucks your small ass cock. Till you bust a couple of driplets and nut. Or you could have laid down and created another child. Take care of your kids nigga. Stop stream sniping me. Aren't you a father? I met this corny ass nigga in real life, some hating ass nigga trying to act like he was a fan and then at the split second flipped like most niggas do. A worthless ass nigga to keep stream sniping. We already know this whack nigga watching a stream right now. Niggas be actual daddies on my dick. That's just crazy. Niggas got children worrying about me. Niggas' lives are so garbage and so, so simulated that the biggest climax they can get is trying to stream snipe me at 12 o'clock at night, hoping to get a game, hoping I rage quit, or hoping they can beat me in a fraudulent ass, lagging ass game so that they can go to bed at night, cuddle up in, behind their wife, but don't even slide dick in because your wife can't even give you the motherfucking erection because you're so busy thinking about me. You so busy thinking of a stature of myself, you can't even slide dick in your woman. Cause you thinking of a man before you go to bed.
Oh my god, dude. All right, I'm gonna just blacklist this dude. Prime example of a nervous, fat, ugly, black, greasy nigga that probably smells like straight up dry dookie. If you shit on a hot concrete and let the fucking goddamn summer sun cook it. Fuck out of you fat, greasy ass nigga. I'm blacklisting the fuck out of this dude. That fake ass victory. What I tell you? Man, fuck this bitch ass little nigga. I'm about to blacklist the fuck out of this clown. Nigga, we're still rocking a Jufro four fucking years later. Them corny ass dangling earrings. The fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't got no style. He got 16 viewers. Don't see how. Oh yeah, no pizzazz, no charisma. Nigga said, body, you watch me destroy a nigga in neutral. Dead ass, right? And then still lose because I'm playing Street Fighter V against a meta character. Like y'all niggas got me fucked up. You gonna watch me body a nigga completely, yeah? And then lose because of the character that he's playing. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm just gonna quit off the first round. Let's just blacklist this nigga off tops. You came in to record my rage? I'll also need you to record something else for me. Since you seem to be in the spirit of helping me out, I need you. You got one of those iPhone 11s, right? You got the iPhone 11 with the three camera? Okay. So what I need you to do is I'm going to tell you what time I'm coming through. You already know your sister invited me. I don't need to sneak through on the roof yet. I'm going to come through. You're going to let me in through the front door because you know it's me. I'm going to need you to record me from the second I walk through your door with my shirt off. From the second I get to your sister's door with my pants down. I'm going to need you to record my ass cheeks as they walk and they don't jiggle because my glutes are tight. Record my ass as I walk in. You're going to see a, a stallion with a chiseled back, ass cheeks, hard as a rock. You're going to record, slobbering, slivering at the mouth. I need you to go around the back. Because your sister's not going to let you in while I fuck. Go around the back and then you're just going to watch a fucking peanut butter stallion. Give your fucking sister long strokes where you can just see the cream slime and goo. Coming off the tip of my dick as I pull out and pull in and just stroke over and over again. And you record that shit and send it to me on Instagram so I could get the best HD. Because I rock with an Android. Videos that come from an iPhone to a motherfucking Android don't have the best quality. Send me that video on Instagram so I could have beat material. Every time my dick gets hard, I could watch my dick stroking your motherfucking sister relentlessly over and over again. Until I bust one of these sprinkle nuts all over my motherfucking cloth, nigga. Get that ass bent. You know, one of the most whack ass, corny, annoying things that I fucking see on Instagram when bitches put up that stupid, corny ass shit where they want niggas to ask them questions and then they post the questions that the niggas answered or asked or whatever. People are such drones. <laughs> such fucking drones. Round one. Ask me questions. So what's good with you, baby? I don't know. So when's the last time you had Cold Stone's ice cream? The other day. Bitches be bored as fuck. Fuck these hoes, man. They be on the same shit. Every bitch the same too. <laughs> it is fucking dumbass. You fucking idiot. What gym you work out at, girl? Currently not working out. Well, you should. Well, you look like you work out, baby. Any of the chicks would like me because I'd be like, I'd say weird shit. I'd be like, Rebecca, come here real quick. Yes, that's the line. I'd be like, spin around for me a couple of times. All right. All right, so I noticed that I wasn't going to say anything yesterday. So I waited till today and I noticed that. When I look closely, you actually have dandruff. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Yes, you actually have dandruff. And this is the second day that your lips have been chapped. And the other day, I looked in your ears and it was earwax and gook. So most likely, just get ready for elimination. There was this one girl 
that I knew some years ago, right? I asked her for it. I was like, let me get a pic. She's like, I'm on vacation. I was like, cool. I was like, you mind sending me a sexy pic? So she says, all right. Now me, what? No normal nigga is going to do this. All right, I'll tell you guys when I'm done. You win. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the story. So there was this chick from some years ago, right? So she said she was on vacation. I was like, cool. I was like, Lena, let me see you in your sexy getup. You said you was going to Cancun. You know, let me see you in your, you know, your fucking two piece and all that type of shit. So any normal nigga, right? Any normal, hold on, excuse my French. Cause we have, this is a multicultural stream. Any normal uh, man, right? Would have seen this picture and been like, oh shit. You know, she had her bikini on, titties boostiate. And I said boostiate because her boobs were fake. You know, sexy looking Latina woman, girl, whatever the fuck you want to call her. So me being the intricate nigga that I am, I take my phone, I look at the picture, I stare at it for a second. I don't know why I did this because I'm just very, you know, observant. I zoom in the pic. And I see dandruff all in her scalp. And I know it wasn't saying from the beach. And I was like, oh. And I zoom back in. I zoom out. I look again. Zoom in. Zoom back out. Zoom in. Zoom out, zoom out. Zoom in again, and I still see the caked up dandruff all in her scalp with the titties boostiate up. And wow. Let me tell you guys something. Just because a girl might be bad or sexy doesn't mean her pussy won't stink. Doesn't mean her ass won't smell like you just rubbed a, a fucking a Cheeto across their anus. Or she might have dandruff or her breath might fucking stink. Or she might have queef pussy. Don't put chicks on a pedestal. Fuck them first. Yeah, pussy is hit or miss stench wise. Isn't that crazy? Like, you could really be like thinking a bitch is bad, not know. You over here liking her pictures on the gram. This bitch could be sitting over there with some rotten, foul pussy. Or one of those type of pussies that she doesn't lift the hood of her clit. And it's all that buildup of skegma and stank-ass pussy. Shit starts smelling like fucking old-ass Olive Garden. I think a lot of bitches are nose blind to the smell of their pussy though. I've had bitches who are up and down. They took showers and they and their personal hygiene is good. Pussy smelling like dead cat in an alley in 90 degree weather. <laughs> like I said, some guys think they're doing something when they see white stuff coming from a chick's vagina, but it's actually yeast infection. Well, it depends. We talking about the chunky shit or the pussy cream? Which one? <laughs> now, if it's that chunky shit that starts rolling in, you guys know those little those little ice cream ball machines that it's like flavored ice cream little little like pebbles. Yeah, dipping dots. Now, if you sm if a chick's riding your dick, right? If a chick's riding the BBC, and you just grab them both ass cheeks, and you just look at your dick, and you just see dipping dots coming out of her pussy, like white dipping dots. You know what I'm saying? Why? <laughs> now, if you see that. Sh Round 
<laughs> All right, so let's get back to the story. So, if a chick's ride you, and you're just grabbing both ass cheeks, we're we're doing it like this for the camera purposes. Obviously, your BBC would have to be like through the roof to actually have a chick this high while riding, right? So if she's just riding you, right? And then you just start seeing dipping dots sprinkle out of her pussy and creaming all over your dick. Now that means that that's definitely some sort of STD or it's definitely fucking like that cottage cheesy dipping dot shit is definitely a yeast infection. Now if she's riding the D and she's just creaming and cascading all over it like as if there was a reverse banana and the banana was brown and I poured on hot vanilla syrup over the fucking, over the chocolate banana. And it was just, you know what I'm saying? Just cascading and pouring down over your D or creaming all over your D. Now that's different. There's two different types of creams. There's that dipping Dots residue type yeast infection cream. And there's that shit that when you slide in and you stroke, you just see white cascade. You know what I'm saying? You just see a cascade on your D. If you've never had that cascade shit, then a bitch was never attracted to you. It's just that simple. If there's one thing I can't stand, when I turn on the X videos, if the vagina doesn't cascade, I don't want it. If the pussy don't cascade, I don't want it. <laughs> this nigga said pizza. You must have had a bitch with some of that build up, some of that build up goat cheese under her fucking clitoris. Man, I'll never forget, right? So I'll never forget. I think I was about like fucking, I think I was, I wasn't 12, I was 11. I was 11. And me and one of my friends at the time, I still know him to this day, but he like moved. To another state and got like 50 kids now me and my friend we go around the apartments trying to get girls to flash us trying to get you know trying to get girls to, sh to show us their asses flashes you know we was naughty little boys you know we was trying to see naked shit early so it was this dyke this dyke or stud or whatever like that when we were 11 tomboy you know baggy pants everything like that you know, we would do kid shit. We would fucking... Hold on. We would do kid shit. We would fucking, like, you know, go over there, push her, run from her, and shit like that. She would chase us, whoever the fuck. And we would we'd be in competition. So if she, whoever, whoever pushed her and whoever she chased, that meant that she was feeling whoever she chased, right? So we, you know, we did enough flirting with the stud chick and everything like that. Finally was like, yeah, man, we kept calling. This is how we used to get chicks to show us their tits and everything like that. Even grown-ass women, I swear. Me and my friend were 11 years old. We would, we would literally be getting chicks to show us titties and everything by... We'd be like, man, you scary. They'd be like, what are you talking about, scary? We'd be like, man, you scary. You won't show us no titties. You scary. And it would work every single time. We'd be like, you don't got no ass. You don't got no ass. Like, what are you talking about? I do have ass. You, you little-ass boys don't know about ass. So we'd be like, yeah, right, you don't have no ass, blah, 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 just, you know, doing typical kid shit. So with the stud chick, long story short, basically, we, <laughs> basically, we told the stud chick, like, man, you won't show us the, you don't even have a pussy. You don't got a pussy, you got a dick. We already know you got a dick. We just clowning her, talking about she got a fucking dick. She don't have a pussy, this and that. She's like, I do got a pussy. What the fuck y'all niggas talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Like, nah, you got a pussy. Oh, wait, hold on, my bad. We was like, nah, you got a dick. You got a dick. We just kept roasting her, blah, blah, blah. She got frustrated. She's like, what, you want to see it? It's like, yeah, show us. But we got to get close, though. So we went to the side of the apartments. Went to the side of the fucking apartments where it was like this little, like, dark area with bushes. And it was a gate. So... Nah, Dela Cruz is on some other shit. He was too busy playing with Pokemon cards and shit. So, basically, we got her on the side of the house. She unzips her pants. And I kid you not. Damn, I wish I had a bigger camera. I kid you not. When she unzipped her pants and flashed her, her pussy, 
You could literally smell the Monterey Jack goat cheese. Now look how far I am from my fucking area. Can you guys see me on camera? Can you see me? You can literally smell the Monterey Jack goat cheese from that far away. That bitch is pussy stunk so fucking bad. That shit smelled like straight up feta cheese, Monterey Jack goat cheese. And you could just see the build up all in her pussy. You just see when she flashed the pussy, you just see a bunch of like white crud, tissue, red and, you know, red and bocker, popcorn bits, like. Anything white and cruddy and shit, you were seeing it and we smelt it from so far away and we just ran. We ran from her. I got so I mean, I'm telling you guys, I got so many, I got so many fucking stories, it's not even funny. I got infinite stories about foul ass pussy. Infinite stories. Not even gonna front. Caribbean girls, mutts too. What black people on islands are 100% black? There's there's really almost no such thing as 100% black people. People been fucking us. People been getting in our ancestors black asses and pink pussies for for thousands and thousands of years. Then take care of them, nigga. I'm not one of those black people that need a pit bull to feel even blacker than what I already am. Only see niggas walking around the streets with fucking pit bulls, walking them with big ass chains and shit like they just top shit. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's crazy how like niggas will do just just retarded shit for the fuck of it. I see a pit bull, I see a black nigga walking with a pit bull with a chain rope, walking like he just just lugging that nigga around. Hold up, nigga. Hold up. All right. Motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. Pit bulls are black people dogs. If you want to prove how black you really are, go get a pit bull and walk him with a fucking chain. <laughs> I mean, I'm just keeping it facts. Of course they don't be training their pit bulls. That's why they be, that's why they be like, hold up. Hey, hold, hey, stop, stop, hold up, come back here. Hey, Roscoe. What shit to do with me? I am washed. I cleaned my balls multiple times today. Suck my dick. Beg me to get unbanned. I did lose 53 and 0. Your mom made me bust 53 nuts because her head was so succulent. It's like I put M&Ms on a tongue that melted on a hot summer day. Nigga, her head was ridiculous. Her head was marvelous. So yeah, 53 and up. I busted 53 nuts. She busted zero. And she just kept sucking my dick. There's no such thing as a new age, bro. Stop trying to copy my lingo for your corny ass. Like I said, I'm pretty sure your girl doesn't know your fascination with dicks. Black dicks in general. What's your Facebook? I'm curious to run across your girl's profile so I can just kind of see what type of man she's dealing with. We don't the Instagrammer. We don't got it. Nigga. You gotta be one of the stupidest niggas to get out of here. Somebody ban Big Nasty out of here. Thank you. We talking about a serious topic and your corny ass is in your trolling. Get the fuck off my dick, clown. Get blacklisted too. We gonna suspend you for the entire week. I don't give a fuck if he's a member or not. When he's a member, I say what goes. We talking about a serious topic and this fucking clown is gonna say some cornball shit like that for attention. Nigga, go fuck your girl, you worthless cuck. You got a real problem, nigga. You keep... Coming in a fucking stream jacking off to me every goddamn stream, nigga. Go fuck your bitch that's in the picture. 
Good girl, gotta be jealous, my nigga. You, you pay more attention to, to me than you do your actual bitch. You're tired of fucking her, bring, show her the BBC and bring her my way, you fucking cuck. You can watch me bang your bitch. First of all, Dela Cruz, you gotta actually have gotten a lineup one point in time in your life to actually know what drip is or even use the word. You have not got one lineup in your entire life. You still, you got a beard and still, still have never gotten a beard shape up. So don't talk about drip ever again. Thank you. Never seen a nigga that refuses to get a lineup. Like, why would you refuse to look fresh? I, I really don't understand that, and I never will. Honey, why don't you get a lineup? I don't want one of those fucking lineups. For what? Look good for what? Honey, maybe I wanted to see the... You know, maybe you could practice being sexy for me? Nah, I'll just get the regular bus car. That's Dela Cruz for you, baby. <laughs> He said, fuck being sexy. Getting some nigga to pay me $20 to play like a five-year-old? You're on coke, and I'm gonna time you for that. I don't need you to justify shit, you black, ugly, crispy, roach-ass, fucking moon-crooked, spook, porch monkey-ass nigga. Shut your black ass up. This nigga... That Eli dude is obsessed with me. This ugly-ass, skinny raccoon midget begged me through dms to play me one night i felt sorry for the nigga played him for a discount price of five bucks because that's all this broke ass nigga could afford then i just happened to you know search my mentions and this ugly ass little muskrat weasel with the skinniest neck the smallest shoulders and the most midgety of genetics is sitting over here posting a clip to feel good about himself nigga go lift weights take a mass gainer and do something nigga your genetics is trash do something to expand your shit bitch get the fuck off my dick nigga Stop acting like you ain't a fan, you little bitch ass boy. You need like four explosive charges. Not three, not five, but four. Uh, you know what? I am built out here like a giraffe. Because when I flop out the BBC, it has a mind of its own. I could take out the dick and it can swivel and swerve and hit all five dimensions of your mom's stank ass pussy. But I'm gonna make sure on top of that, I use three condoms. Because for a goddamn fact, I'm not fucking raw. Best believe that shit, bitch ass nigga. Get that up. Ooh, you niggas are lucky. Enjoy it while you can. Hold on a minute. Niggas. Then you, then you, you niggas are the same people that talk this shit on stream. Then when you see me in person, you be like, oh my god, you're huge. You know how many times I hear that shit when I see you niggas in person? You niggas expect me to be short and skinny or some shit. No, nigga, I'm a big ass nigga, period. Niggas stop me in their cars and be like, oh shit, you're swole. Oh shit, you're big. The fuck out of here, man. Dumbass niggas, get off my dick. Just because you niggas are manlets and twerps or fat 260 pound bloated gut ass niggas. Shit, you better recognize that's why you're sitting here watching the deity, period. Nigga, everybody in the NBA, everybody, that, every NBA player's fucking legs are small, you dumbass nigga. That's a part of being a giant, bitch boy. Shit, you niggas don't know how it feels to live in a six foot five frame. Suck my dick, man. Let's. That's why all you niggas are short. I'm tall. I was taller than everybody at Evo. Everybody. What? No niggas with no height there. Period. I'm standing in a whole crowd. I can see over an ocean full of manlets. Punk niggas. Give a fuck what you niggas got. You niggas are faceless, worthless cucks that suck my dick daily. <laughs> Keep doing it, bitch. I control your bitch ass minds. Dick sucking fucks. Niggas talking about legs, you fucking manlet ass niggas. If your body is compact or where you niggas look like little Lego men compared to me, what the fuck you think? Nigga, my body is made from Mars. You know what would happen if you're on Mars? Your fucking anatomy stretches out, dumb niggas. When you're tall, your motherfucking legs are more slender. That shit don't bother me. I'm wearing shorts everywhere. I was walking shorts today. Been wearing shorts all summer. Ugly ass niggas. Niggas can't do shit. Y'all niggas can't do shit to fuck with me, period. I'm over you niggas, period. I own you niggas' souls. I got you here watching me sucking my dick on a Friday night. 
This is my choice right here. What's you guys' choice? Y'all niggas go do so many other things. But you're here watching my stream sucking dick on knees. BBC plopped in all of you guys' mouth. What I did was I created a hologram. Press the button. Each hologram had his dick out. Each hologram had a BBC out ready for all of you niggas' mouths. Each hologram had BBC ready. And balls. And mouth. All of you on your knees. Mouth open. Soon as LTG streams, virtual BBC's all in your mouth ready to suck balls and dick. Corny ass niggas. How did I get so good at making excuses? Well, uh, I mean, I would have something that's equivalent to that. You could ask your mom how did I get so good at sucking her big, soggy, old, 56-year-old clit until she bust out mothballs and white liquids from menopause with her dried-out-ass ovaries, nigga. Get that ass banned, bitch. I have been in the movie. Uh it's called Delivering the Package. I play a UPS man dressed up in all brown. Shorts pulled all the way up above my knees so you can see the leg muscles. Sleeves rolled up on both sides so you can see the biceps chiseling. Right head to your mom's house. And I deliver a package. But the catch is she has to open it up on the front porch. She takes her her razor blade. Hold on, my bad. She takes her butter knife, opens it up right in front of me while staring at me while I'm looking at her. I just have a blank face with a UPS hat on. She opens it up. A glow comes out the box. And it's a gold glow. And she goes, ah! And it's just a big mold of a BBC, peanut butter complexion. She snatches it out the box, slams the door in my face, runs in the room. I listen to the door against company policies. All I hear is her yelling and screaming of a throbbing mold of my BBC thrusting her repeatedly. Get that ass bent. Don't ask me stupid questions about my personal life, nigga. We had a, I don't know, somebody sent me a video. I don't even see all of this shit because I don't be going and searching to see who posts videos about me. People send me these things. So somebody sent me a video of some fat, greasy, obese, type 2 diabetes, bloated ass makeup tutorial bitch dropping a video about me. I didn't know anything about this fat, gross, blowfish looking bitch. And I don't know, I guess the bitch ended up following me on Twitter or some shit like that. And... Why would you follow me but start talking about fair use? Like, you don't got to follow me to, to at me about shit. So I had to block that fat ass bloated turkey walking around a Walmart with the most colorful EBT basket. You guys know what the colorful baskets mean? Colorful baskets or you know when someone's about to slide the EBT when their basket is too colorful. Because they got all the goodies, all the snacks, all the colorful juices, Kool-Aid mixes. All the fucking ground beefs, shrimps, lobsters. They got all the good shit. Whole basket be colorful as fuck. When you see a basket that's too colorful, I guarantee you they slide in the EBT. So any fucking way, she one of those fat ass, gross, stank, nasty looking bitches. Um, doing makeup tutorials and somebody sent me a video of this bitch dropping a video about me. Like, why do motherfuckers keep trying to use me to chase clout? It's like it's a trend to make videos about me, put my name in the title to bring traction to your fucking bullshit channels. Y'all niggas gotta get fucking more creative, man. As soon as you done dropping that LTG video, ain't nobody gonna watch this shit no more. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with these, these bloated ass pig feet eating bitches, man? Now, now I got fat bitches on my shit? Come on, bitch. If you fat, okay? If you're fat, your number one priority Here's should joy. dead ass be to get healthy. Joy. It should not be about what type of makeup you got, what you're doing here, what your priority should be to lose weight. 
anybody who's fat literally is at risk of type 2 diabetes. So why in the fuck would you waste your time talking about a sexy six foot five chiseled peanut butter complexion black man as healthy as a motherfucker? When you should be worrying about how to blend up salads and what type of dressings have the least amount of calories and how you can transition into ketosis and go ahead and and stop using carbs as an energy source and use healthy fats as an energy source to lose that weight and speed up your fucking metabolism. I don't understand how a fat bitch or a fat motherfucker got time to sit up and talk about somebody when all you got to do is look in the mirror and see everything that's wrong with you. See, the thing is, when you're fat, not just fat, but when you're like obese to the point where you're fat, where you could just look at somebody and be like, damn, like how they get like that? You know, how you see somebody that's chubby, it's no big deal, right? Nah, they're a little fat, cool. But we talking about gross motherfuckers, man. Where you just like, ah, you know, they're not putting no effort, just comfortable being, having that colorful basket. Nigga, don't ask me if I'm doing a reaction to the combat. Of course I'm doing a fucking reaction to it, baby. Let me tell you something. Coaching? How much would it cost? What it would cost is for you to basically introduce me to your mom that's about 45, possibly 50. Um. Let me see what she's working with. Let me see what type of titties she has, what type of ass she has. See if you can sneak me a pair of her drawers so I can see how the pussy smells after a long fucking day. After that, I'll pull up to the house dressed in a UPS uniform, sleeves rolled up so she can see the biceps. Make sure I get a fresh haircut. Smelling extra nice with those single bonnet colognes sprayed on me. All over everywhere, I'm ready to go. I'm spruced up. I'll come through. Knock on the door with a package. It's not even gonna have a name on it. She'll open up the door. I give her a little smile. She'll see the peanut butter complexion glistening in the sunlight. Muscles bulging. And I give her that look. She pulls me in. Yanks me on the couch. I say, hold on, real quick. I was promised something. She says, by who? I said, don't worry about it. I go down, pull down her drawers, take a whip. It's fresh. I take two fingers, pull in, pull out. Take an internal whiff. Slight, slight pussy smell, but nothing I couldn't deal with with the use of two condoms. I slide in. Oh! There's no walls. Therefore, since your mom's pussy was so whack, it's going to cost you about $3,000 to my PayPal so that I can get coached to play a video game. Get that ass banned. You said you want to see my legs, right? I'm going to show you one leg. But the way I'm going to do it is, is, is very tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up your mom, right? <clears throat> I'm going to call up your mom, tremble in her ear with this deep sexy voice that even you trolls love to hear I, I figured it out i know why you niggas love watching my clips because my voice it it makes your your eardrums vibrate and it makes you feel tickly inside you know when somebody blows in your ear and it's like Hoo. so basically uh what i'm gonna do is call her up because me and you came up with an agreement i let you troll as much as you want if i could fuck your mom on a good night she does have a bouncy little 45 year old ass so i figured i would slide on two condoms to fuck so basically i called her up Cause you know, she's in that age bracket where we don't text. I gotta call her. She's too old for that shit. <clears throat> I call her up. I'm whispering in here. I'm like, listen, uh, you know, basically Roger told me I could come through and I could show you a couple of things in exchange for him to be able to troll relentlessly on my stream. She said, Ooh, wait a minute. I don't know what any of that means, but your voice is fucking hot. Um, I don't remember the last time I heard a deep voice on the phone. Every man in the goddamn house has a high ass voice that hasn't hit puberty yet. This feels remarkable to hear. Why don't you just come over so I can see what you look like in person? So I come over. Come through. Knock on the door. Like myself. So I come over. Wearing one of these tight Under Armour tees. Pecs bulging abs. Busting through to the point where you can see the goddamn. The goddamn fucking inversions and everything like that. Right through the shirt. 
first thing she does is squeeze my bicep. I say, ah, ah, hold on a second. We didn't even say hello first. She says, well, all right, well, hello. Well, touches me again. So I go ahead and say, well, am I going to stand out here forever? She says, of course I was going to invite you in. I come in. She just throws me against the wall, grabs me by my neck. I'm like, hold on, hold on, baby. I don't like it rough. Give me a second. Can I have a glass of lemonade? <clears throat> she invites me in. Clearly, I need a glass of lemonade, right? So she happens to have lemonade because you're probably a biscuit or, some, or something. So biscuits always got lemonade. <clears throat> I said, I need three ice cubes. She said, why three? I said, just let me get three for good luck. I'm drinking my lemonade. Next thing you know, she pounces me on the couch, grabs me on my thigh. My BBC starts to enlarge and just engulf with, with blood. She fills it, says, oh, my God, pops out my dick, starts sucking it, slurping it, gobbling all over it, playing with the balls while stroking it. Next thing you know, I'm busting black sperm all in her mouth. She's choking all over it. But instead of her just choking it and staying choked, she starts swallowing the nut, continuously sucking as I keep busting again while my dick is so tingly and ticklish to the point where I just can't handle it anymore. I pass out, I wake up, it's 6 a.m. Cause you know, she got up early, she's 45. 45 year old women don't sleep in. There's pancakes ready, eggs, turkey bacon. I didn't even tell her what I like. She just made me a healthy meal from the start. Feeds me breakfast, I go outside, my car is washed spick and span and vacuumed. She gives me a number, tells me to come through and fuck whenever I'd like again. Bitch ass nigga, shut the fuck up. That's what I'm doing with my legs. That's what you can see. Nigga, I don't need you telling me what the nigga donated. Crispy, burnt ass, ghetto cereal, colorful basket, EBT ass nigga. Think I don't got fucking eyeballs or memory? Think my cognitive is off nigga? So since we got an ugly, black, crispy, greasy, still using Carmex, I don't wash my face, I wake up with white, motherfucking unexfoliated bumps, refuse to get a lineup, spiky-haired, crispy, burnt-ass, New Jack City, crackhead-looking-ass nigga, smoky-looking-ass nigga from New Jack City, I'm gonna time you for the rest of the stream, nigga, don't you ever dare in your life compliment a meta character, bitch, you don't even play the game, you would never know the struggle, cuck. Falk is a bottom tier character, you bitch ass nigga. You're time for the rest of the motherfucking stream. I suggest you don't talk. I'm gonna time you bitch ass relentlessly. Who hurt me? Your mom hurt me because she begged me to she begged me to give her anal. I had to put on two condoms, of course. But the asshole was so it was so loose. I ended up hitting a wall and my dick got stuck like if was, if I was a fucking dog or a terrier. And I kept trying to pull it out. I kept trying to pull it out as I was back shining. Pull it out, pull it out. Next thing you know, it's gonna bloop. I pull out and it's just dookie and feces all over the two condoms. And I just had to get out of there as fast as possible. Dumbass nigga, that's who hurt me. Thank you for being the most authentic mod on my squad next to Fierce. The rest of you niggas, I ain't sure about. I did get smacked. For some reason, your mom wanted to suck my BB seat from the back and proceeded to smack my ass when I asked her not to because I don't swing that way. So I slapped her ass with the BBC, gave her a couple of bruises. One to the motherfucking left, one to the right, shoved it in her glory hole. Oh, get that ass banned, bitch ass nigga. When's, when's my fighting game coming out? Probably like, well the thing is, Your mom seems to have connections with, you know, a couple of people in IT departments and everything. We're going to develop an app. Um, so basically, she said, all I have to do is pay her with BBC service. So every night I've been coming over, I've been fucking, I've been eating her pussy, sucking her clit, tongue banging her, clitacoing her, everything I could possibly do. Giving her those good orgasms your father was never able to give her. She likes that young, hot, steaming, piping BBC stroking and hitting the five dimensional pussy until she busts and explodes. White cascaded juices all over my dick. 
And so basically she told me we had a contract. I had to fuck at least 23 times before I got the information to all the people from the IT and all the connections I need to create a game. Right now, I'm on my 14th fuck. So we still got a few more to go, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass banned. You trash nigga, it took you $40 to fill your trash fucking morality. To play me in a game I haven't touched nigga and like fucking, when the fuck did, when the fuck did uh, Terminator come out? Real question, when the fuck did Terminator come out? I haven't touched this game for more than 10 minutes since Terminator came out. It took you $40 to fill your bitch ass morality. You are the epitome. Of a bitch ass coward ass nigga. I'm gonna honor the set though. Let's finish it. How many games was that? I would never respect this nigga, period. Morality isn't what you was trying to fulfill. Obviously, you're trying to fulfill something, you bitch ass nigga. Because you didn't pay me $40 to play you in Street Fighter now, did you? Because you're a fraudulent bitch ass nigga that wants to feel good about finally beating me in something. That's what niggas do. They pay me to play me in a game they specialize in to barely pull off victories in a game they play 24-7 that I barely touch. Nigga, those victories should have been way worse than that. But you suck at fighting games, so I could pick up a game I haven't touched in months and still hang with you in this shit and you not even be able to do it free. You're a fraud. You would have never paid me 40 to play your bitch ass, nigga. Finish the motherfucking set. Low morality ass nigga. Hurry the fuck up, low morality ass nigga. You would never pay me 40 in your life to play me in Street Fighter because you know what the fuck it is. I'll trash you in that shit. All right, I want to point out something that proves to you that this nigga's an idiot. Mind you, I don't play MK every day. If I did, this ugly, black, crispy-ass nigga wouldn't be able to beat me. So, notice how this ugly-ass nigga only starts zoning when I do, right? I throw out one fireball, this ugly, black-ass nigga zones. Or starts throwing a fireball. Like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're a fraud. You asked me to play a game that I literally don't fucking play anymore so you could get a win off me and something and feel good about yourself. You're a low morality, black, ugly, crispy, burnt ass, typical nigga, period. And anybody having this shit on their channel, I'm going to find you and flag you like I've been doing, period. Because I know you niggas are recording me right now. I don't touch this game. This nigga asked me to pay him. This nigga asked me to play him in a game that I don't fucking play. Just to get a W. That's how pitiful these niggas are, man. What do I play on my streams? Nigga, cuz it what you mean why accept bitch ass nigga? Cuz the nigga paid me bread, dumb fuck. When the fuck is the last game I touched this shit? Nigga, you trashed to me. Nigga, you asked me to play you in a game I don't fuck with to get a W, nigga. That's low morality ass shit. I'll never take I'll never ever take you serious as shit, nigga. You get trashed. Every time we fuck with five, you get trashed, nigga, because you's a fraud. You you sit there and ask a nigga to play you. That's like me going, that's like me being a professional boxer, right? I'm a professional boxer. And I just walk down the street, toss niggas gloves like, yo, I'm going to pay you $100 to box me. You dumbass nigga. That would mean I'm a coward with low morale. I know I'm going to take the W, but I need something to feel good about myself. You're a bitch, nigga. Then you gonna do it on stream. Nigga, you could've asked me to play this shit off stream. You wanted clout. You wanted to feel good about yourself, bitch. Thanks for your fucking 40, punk nigga. Demod it for life. You gonna ask me to play him in a game I don't even fuck with no more to get a W on stream to feel good about himself. Man, you niggas need, need fucking psychiatrists and help, man. You niggas suffer from all types of missing big brother and daddy issues. That's why you niggas do that lame ass shit in my stream. You gone, nigga. Your mod ship is no more. In incognito, eradicated, disintegrated, extinct, dead, over, afterlife. You're out of here.
Bet you won't play me in Smash, though, will you? Or Street Fighter, bitch, nigga, because I'll 5 0 your ass with ease. Fuck off, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you a troll or not. Stay green if you ain't a troll, nigga. But you lost motherfucking mod ship, nigga. Fuck this, nigga. You want to play me in five? Pay me another 40. What, you going to pay me 40 so I can rock your shit in five? While you play with a medic character and get bopped? Last time we played, didn't I beat the fuck out of you with Nash? While you played meta? Untalented black fuck? Should have had rocks play your black ass. Mods, take out the trash. You don't need to point shit out to me, nigga. You're a low accolading bitch ass nigga that tried to feel good about his black ass self for beating me in something, so you paid me 40 to most likely get the W because you most likely were, because I don't fuck with MK no more, nigga. I didn't even remember Nightwolf Strings. Oh, GT Mike, I'm going to show you how mad I am. Get that ass banned, nigga. Apologize to me on Twitter or something, and maybe I'll think about unbanning you. Y'all niggas don't know when I'm mad. The fuck you talking about? Y'all niggas don't know me personally? A joke. I am about to cry, because when I slid in your mom's hot, gooey, creamy, cascading pussy, it was so fucking hot. And it felt like the pussy was just suctioning and gripping and oozing and pouring all over my dick. And I was just like, oh, 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 as I slid in, slid out, slid in, slid out, busted a hot ejaculation inside of that motherfucking goddamn, what do we call it? Uh, menopause pussy. Get that ass man for the thousandth time, you fucking homosexual cuck. Every time I stream, your bitch ass is in there sucking my dick. We know you fucking a homosexual. Didn't do it. I don't know. Rock's too busy. Got his BBC on the table waiting for a roach to come suck it or something. I was pissed. You know what? I was pissing in a bottle because... For some reason, your mom was like, look, I'm going to give my husband some sleepy time tea. I was like, well, why would you want to do that? She's like, because that's the only time that I really have. And if I give him sleepy time tea, I could just fuck you in the living room. I was like, all right. So I go over. Of course, she attacks me, offered me a Coca-Cola. I said, no, I don't drink dark soda, but if you have a Snapple or something, I'll take it. So I go over there, boom. You know, I take the Snapple, I'm drinking it. She just bomb rushes me, pulls the BBC out instantly. Must despite the Snapple with viagra because your mom was so ugly i couldn't even get hard but for some reason my dick was shooting like a torpedo so she pops it out we start fucking and everything like that the pussy didn't even feel good it just felt like warm liquid all over my dick like if i just dipped my my tip in some hot water i was like all right whatever i'm just gonna do it because my dick's hard for some strange reason keep fucking boom keep fucking for some reason it felt like i had to urinate she asked me to pee all over her I didn't want to do that because I'm not into those type of kinky things. I'd rather a woman lay me down and piss on me. So I was like, all right, listen, do you have any bottles around or anything like that? She brings a big ass bottle of Carlos Rossi. Uh, empty, of course, because your mom drinks one because she's so stressed out. I piss on that motherfucker, leave it there. So yeah, there was a piss bottle in the motherfucking room. Get that ass banned. Somebody ban that nigga out of my chat. Thank Fuck no. And if that, was, if that was really a bitch plan, why don't you go fucking go in the bathroom? Spread your fucking legs. Bust open your stanking ass pink pussy. Lift up the hood of your clit. Scoop some of that skegma off. Put it on a cracker. And then test yourself and see, damn, would I really eat it smelling like this? You fucking cunt. Coming in here with that laggy ass connection. How you gonna be a bitch with a fucked up MBPS? The fuck out of here, bitch. Skunk smelling so. bitch. Make one more stupid ass joke like that, you black ass, beady eyed, nappy headed ass, crunchy black ass from 3 6 Mafia, offspring ass nigga, and I'll ban you for life.
If that's really this nigga DDoS in my shit, it just shows you that rocks literally is a greasy fried chicken eating, mixing with fries and hot sauce ass. I need a glass of Kool-Aid with my ghetto ass meal. Can't wait to the first through the seven to slide my snap or EBT. Malnourished ass black ass nigga if he's really doing that. I mean, if you want me to coach you for a game that's going to die in a year, sure. I could do it. But it's going to be, yeah. I am the salt god. When I'm done fucking your sister, mom, or grandmother, and I'm busting on the left cheek, the right cheek, all over the back, leaving that salty, flavored bust. Maybe with a little bit of a fucking pineapple flavor all over their backs, bitch ass nigga. Get the fuck out of here. There, you're right, there's lots of salt. I just come over, dressed in a UPS uniform, with the chest popped open a little bit so she could see the male cleavage. See that? Both earrings in, hair freshly faded, UPS sleeves cut to where you can see nothing but tricep. She gonna open the door, see one of the most gorgeous black men she's ever laid eyes on. I'm gonna open the door with her box. Hold on a second. I'm gonna open the door with her box. Sitting in it like that. She's gonna open the door. I'm gonna be like, yes, you had a delivery? And it did. I'm gonna drop the box. Stare at her for a couple of seconds. She's gonna pull me into the house, rip off my UPS uniform. Start sucking, slobbing, blurping all over the D. I'm just sitting back watching her i want to moan because the head was fire but i'm too masculine to do that for a bitch that i never even knew before today she's just sucking me up i'm like Ugh. 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 all right bend over we got to get this popping i pull out the bbc rub the pussy a little bit with the tip slide in it's hot but lukewarm I'm like, fuck it, it's enough to beat. Bend her over, pull her hair, stroke, boom. Keep stroking her, long stroking her, bow. Boom. Yickety. Bust a hot load inside of her because she claimed she was on BC. After I gave it a BBC, threw her on the bed and busted the rest of my nut all over. While you opened the door, seeing me ass naked, just stared and drooled. And I just looked at you from the back. I just turned around and looked while you stared at my glazed ass cheeks and could do nothing about it. And I closed the door in your face and jumped in for a round two, bitch ass nigga. Get that ass bang. The acting career is great. Um, Every single time, I feel like I need practice for a role. What I'll do is I'll basically write up an erotica script, bring it to your mom's house, and your sister and usually your mom are there too, waiting, kicking back on a coffee table, waiting for me. And we basically just go over everything. Before you know it, my BBC's flopped on the table. They both take turns slobbing and glurping all over it, shoving it down their throats, busting up today's meals all over my dick and I'm just gonna let them do it after that they both bend over that classic old wooden coffee table because we know you're probably a biscuit of some sort I stroke each ass one by one I dip one stroke in your mom's pussy one stroke in your sister's pussy and I just want to see whose is better so I take two strokes one pussy two strokes the other then I just keep back and forth stroking. Whoever's pussy was better, I use it to bust a hot nut right over their back. But for some reason, your sister didn't want to allow me to bust that gracious nut all over your mom's ass. So she went ahead and put her mouth right over your mom's ass and let the nut dribble down in her mouth, bitch ass nigga. That's how the fucking career is going. I'm practicing role play with your fucking mom to do erotica in future movies. Suck my dick, nigga. Get the fuck off my fucking dick. Yeah, 
Supreme will never be in my stream again, ever, unless he pays me. I don't appreciate leeching ass black niggas trying to finesse people, trying to get followers and clout off me and shit like that. Take your black ass somewhere else with that shit. Trying to act like you some sort of fake ass star. Fuck out of here, nigga. Exactly. He said, why would he go green when I sent his spook ass a free jersey because he claimed that he was going to be playing Smash internationally? I was like, all right, well, what better way to represent? So that black ass coon finessed me for a jersey. Um, looked like he got a free controller from somebody on fucking uh, on Twitter. I don't know. I unfollowed that trash ass nigga. But I just don't like black ass opportunists. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, gave away a switch controller that somebody gave him or some shit. It's the opportunist ass spook. All right, listen. I don't know. I unfollowed that nigga a minute ago. I, I did a block and unblock so that it would just do a mutual unfollow. I don't want to make it look like I need followers or care. So, yeah. Nah, it's too late, my nigga. I got to go. Niggas be like, I'm crying. Look, I'm going to tell you how I cry. I cry when I kick back and I'm offered one of the best fellatios that I've ever had. The fellatio was so good for me and mom that she didn't even allow me to get it anymore. She brought in two extra women in your family, your grandmother. Matter of fact, she brought in your aunt too. She brought in your sister for dick sucking training, BBC dick sucking training. The reason why she brought in your sister for the BBC dick sucking training is because if you can suck and slurp and blurp all over a BBC, she should have no problem sucking a micro, a medium, or a BBC junior. So I sit there on the couch. It's one of those old couches. It's pleather. Asshole is sweating a little bit, but still fresh because I'm still dripping with old spice of a scent. I sit there. They each take a turn sucking. Your mom's mouth was ridiculous. I said, hold on. We've done this before plenty of times, plenty of times. Let's go ahead and scoot it over to the grandmother. Your grandmother's top was so crazy that it felt like my dick melted in her mouth like a bag of M&Ms in 90 degree weather sitting in a car that you forgot when you went back into work from your fucking lunch break. I said, hold on. I didn't know your top game was so Pin up girl crazy. Let me see what your aunt has. Your aunt sucks the dick. She gave me one of those. I don't have any kids midlife crisis type of head shots where she was trying to impress me so much that she almost had me convinced that me and her could have something going on. So your mom's head was ridiculous. Your grandma's head was phenomenal. Your aunt's head was desperate. But then, when your 22-year-old sister opens up her mouth wide, like Kirby, I didn't even, it, it, she, she started sucking. And before you know it, my body's moving. She's, she, this air, this suction air, it's coming. And before you know it, I'm flying forward. And my BBC is like, oh, bloop in her mouth. And I'm like, oh, oh, and I'm just feeling like this vibration all over my dick. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even let her stop. Ah, I didn't let her stop. Ah, ah. I just busted a hot, fat load all over your sister's face. Your mom fucking pushed her out of the way, caught the last couple of droplets. Your grandma hopped over, kicked out of her clogs. What do you call those things? Those Crocs. Kicked off her Crocs, hopped over the couch, wanted to get a piece of the dribble. Your fucking aunt came over there for a little bit. I just squirted some in her eye. But then your mom finished it off, opened up. Your sister opened up her mouth, spit it into your mom's shit. They were playing, you know, like it was a piece of gum. And before you know it, I'm sitting there. And I'm so drained of cum 
that I went from 200 and something pounds to a nigga that weighs 140 because they literally sucked the goddamn soul out of me. Bitch ass nigga, that's the only time I cry. Oh, I didn't know that I could actually get back on the platform. And you're one of you're one of the most well-known faggots that keep coming in every stream after you get banned thousands of times to suck my virtual dick every stream. Because you fantasize about me ass naked with abs chiseling and a urian thong while I commit triant slaughter down your fucking throat while I put you in all type of Aegis reflector setups where you can't get out, you're forced to suck a dick. You're forced to get pounded in your virtual ass. Then I bust matrix juice all down your throat till you choke, spit up, everything you grubbed on. And it's just gonna erupt with green juices. And to the point, and you're just caught in eternity. You're just caught in an eternity of matrix juice erupting out of your throat. You're obsessed with me, you fucking fag. And y'all niggas can clip this. This nigga come on my stream 24-7 with a VPN getting banned thousands of times a stream and still comes in here and sucks my dick and obsesses over me. You are a worthless bitch ass nigga. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. I'm just going to stump you. You're going to keep coming back. I'm going to seal up all my cracks. You're going to keep coming back. Why? Because you keep smelling the syrup, you worthless bitch ass nigga. You're going to stay on my dick until you die. You serve no purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Your purpose in life is to be in that chat blowing a dick daily. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and an ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trapped bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%, with 1,000%. I've never seen somebody so worthless in my life. I dead ass have not seen such a more worthless nigga in my life. If he has kids, oh my God. Imagine if a nigga like that has kids. Like, imagine. Imagine if somebody like that actually has kids. I would feel so sorry for his children because the nigga literally serves no fucking purpose. Imagine a father. Now, we got lots of niggas with, with wives and kids and shit that suck my dick daily on the internet. But imagine if this nigga actually had children. This nigga's devoting the time he could be spending with his kids, checking out a black man on stream, cucking over him relentlessly. It's crazy. I never seen somebody so relentless to be seen. Somebody, somebody, somebody's value so worthless that they'll come into a fucking stream and keep coming in this bitch over and over and over and over and over and over again when we keep banning you, nigga. Let me, let me, let's do you a favor. Let's let's go to the ninety nine cent store. Let's let's pick out a rope together. I'm gonna give you an assisted suicide. Let's pick out a rope together, right? And we're gonna take all the greatest troll clips, put a TV screen right in front of you. I'm gonna hang that rope at the top of the motherfucking garage. We're gonna forcefully pry your eyes open. We probably don't even need to do that because you're on my dick daily. We're gonna pry your eyes open until you consistently watch clips over and over and over and over and over again to the point where like, wait a minute, this is a little bit too much. You're just gonna start going crazy. You're gonna start going crazy. Just your eyes are going to bleed. Your retinas are going to just start pouring out, pouring out blood and just getting cracked and veins in your retinas are just going to start engaging and bulging. Then I'm going to grab that rope for you and say, are you ready? You're going to say, yes, I'm going to take it. Pull it. Why you beg me, beg me. And I mean, beg me to kill you and choke you. Choke the worthless life out of your sorry ass until your fucking dead croaked with a blue face, nigga. Because you don't deserve your soul. I've never seen somebody so 
fucking worthless and relentless to keep coming in a nigga's chat over and over and over again. Somebody like that needs to die. I guarantee, like, there's really no reason for him to be alive. We lost prominent niggas on earth that served a purpose that had, so this nigga could be on earth trolling a stream daily. Like, come on, my nigga, like, your life is worthless. Just please kill yourself. Go outside, throw some steaks in a fucking alley and hope that a bunch of stray dogs come and just start chewing your fucking dick off, biting pieces off of you and shit like that, nigga. Cause you, you literally just gotta go. Like get this nigga off earth, please. Fifty viewers ain't shit. I don't give a fuck about that. Why couldn't be watching that video of me on the stream for? Fat ass, bloated ass, bored ass. Post everything I do on Facebook ass, crying he can't get a bitch ass, still bleeding, grease is blubbery, and expired keto products ass nigga. The fuck would I be in Japan for? I'll gladly be your pops if I could bust a hot load inside your mom's loose cougar twat. Nigga, when I say everything clean, I mean uh, like his fucking his flow style and everything like that, you dumb black crispy ass nigga. <laughs> Nigga said neck and neck. You gotta be one of the most retarded, black, crispy, burnt ass niggas that ever joined my stream. Get time for 300, cornball. Nigga didn't take one game off me, you dumb fuck. You don't know what the fuck I do outside of me streaming, bitch ass nigga. Suck my dick. You don't know what goes on. What you need to achieve is to stop creeping in late at night when I'm fucking your sister when she's riding my big ass black dick, pouring oozing liquids out of her fucking euthria sponge. Clitoris so goddamn swelled up from juices and horniness, she's pouring in liquid water falling all over my dick. Don't tell me about my life. You know nothing about me. No nigga in here knows anything about my personal life. Don't assume. Stay the fuck off mine and worry about your shit. Show up for another stream. This is 859 people. And sorry, you're gonna have to find something else to do tonight, my dude. I need paid customers in here. Troll somewhere else. You're not good. You're a sorry ass nigga. Keep following me to every console and system. I play Uno, you black, crispy, burnt, charbroiled. You can make, you're so black, you can pressurize into diamonds in a million years, ass nigga. Keeps joining. That shit. I hop on fucking Switch. You're on that shit. I hop on Mortal Kombat. You're on that shit. The fuck out of here, man. Next. And why don't you just sit back in your slumber while you kick back and eat nothing but Oreos, packets of Kool-Aid, and hot pickles. Ghetto ass black nigga. Go! Dude, why do you niggas keep coming in here going for the same spikes night in and night out? That nigga stay trying to come on my stream doing the same shit every time I play this motherfucking biscuit ass nigga. Every time. What does he try to do? Get a spike every fucking game. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Go display that shit somewhere else. You can do the same shit every time. You guarantee when you play this sorry ass, boring ass, fucking mayonnaise on bread ass, bologna eating ass nigga. With a slab of salami. You could guarantee that this nigga's gonna try to spike every single time with that corny ass fucking character. The fuck out of my lobby with that bullshit.
the rage the rage quits gotta go let me tell you what has to go what has to go is your mom's blown out gaping asshole she asked me to do anal i said all right slid on three condoms slid in fell in that fucking vortex before you knew it i felt like i was on the inside of a whale and trapped until the bitch shit me up get that ass man motherfucker It's my stream, bitch ass nigga. It's my internet, my switch, my game, my live, my live stream, everything. If I wanna rage quit, I'm gonna do it. It ain't nothing new. Three, two, one, go. Is Lizzo a part of the hierarchy? She sure is. The fuck? I would only be a professor if I went to school for that specific type of field to be labeled as that. So I'm gonna ban you for giving me a false um a false accolade that I didn't actually achieve. So you could profess this dick in your mouth, nigga. Shit, we're gonna go into a motherfucking. Here's what we're gonna do. I already banned you, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of them science coats on. What do they call Smocks or something like that? Forgot what the fuck they called it. I'm gonna put on a smock. I'm gonna put on a pair of non prescription glasses. We're both going to go in a science classroom. I'm going to take H2O, all these weird molecules, potions, and mix it. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of my pubic hair after I'm making a, a combustible chemistry experiment. I'm going to prick myself to where a dribble of blood comes out my finger. I'm going to mix that with my pubic hair. I'm going to hack an oogie inside of those potions and creams and everything that we just created. You're going to see a bunch of smoke, a bunch of just a big explosion. When that explosion is done, it's just going to be this giant BBC. I just, I basically just created a, a artificial organic BBC from those ingredients. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to just slap you with it relentlessly until you're just back and forth. Oh, uh, uh, uh. And I'm going to just beat you to a pulp with it. Then I'm going to take that organic giant BBC and just keep stroking it like a shotgun, right? Because it's organic. I'm going to keep stroking it like a shotgun. Boom. To the point where the BBC, I just feel like something's erupting and you see veins bulging in it, all that type of shit. And I just take it and I shoot it like a bazooka. And all this motherfucking virtual bust and matrix juice is going to get all over you and just drown you in nothing. You're going to be like, oh, look, 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 look. you're going to be gasping for air, but it's just so much ejaculation. That you're literally just choking and just just gargling from it. And you just suffocate from the artificial organic bust that I created in the lab. So that's the type of motherfucker professor I am, you bitch ass nigga. Now get that ass banned off my shit. Alright, so. Exactly. This It's just, it's not even my cats with an S. It's a plural thing. So I got one bitch ass fucking cat. <clears throat> Not Dexter. Dexter's my, you know, that's my ride or die. That cat loves me to death. This bitch ass fucking cryo cat fucked up both of my couches, fucked up the sides of the stairs, and just trying to ruin anything in this carpet. And this nigga knows when he's doing something wrong because what does he do? Start running and hissing and shit when I fucking start chasing this bitch little fat ass around a fucking house. Fucking punk ass cat. Look, y'all don't throw his fucking ass out there with the goddamn ferals. Now back to what the fuck would I do? I just sprayed the fuck out of him with water. There's a giant scratching post. Dexter, that's why I love Dexter. Dexter's just the ultimate cat. There's a giant scratching post where you could he could just dig into and Dexter uses that shit every day. This bitch ass cat will bypass that shit and literally go fuck the goddamn stairs up. That nigga's not getting no treats, no wet food. I'm gonna let Dexter just have these savory gravy, just chunks of nice beef right in his face and he ain't getting shit. Punk ass cat. 
starve the cat? No, I don't starve my cats. My cats have an abundance of gourmet cat food. I don't buy cheap ass cat food for my cats. I go to PetSmart, get that $30 a bag shit with no grain in it, everything. So these niggas shits don't even stink. That's how great they're eating. But what's an abundance or hold on, what's an extension of being a, a cat, a cat that's living in a, a glorious uh, home with heat, with AC, with an abundance of food at, at their disposal, clean, crispy ass water to drink of out of a cat fountain. Is me occasionally giving them wet food, cat little jerky sticks that come in three different flavors, salmon, chicken and beef. So from now on, for two weeks, the other cat is banned from getting those abundance of treats. He'll eat, he'll eat dry gourmet cat food while Dexter enjoys the festivities of beef sticks, chicken sticks, savory salmon sticks, cat treats, gravy flavored duck pieces, all types of shit. But Kryle's fat ass ain't getting shit. My cats got it made. I do not buy them friskies and all that bullshit. I get them gourmet shit. These niggas get the best of everything. Yes, I have a giant scratch post that Dexter uses every day. This dumbass cat will scratch up everything but that. Dexter, that's my guy. Cryo is a bitch ass cat. All he wants to do is just try to use you for food. See, there's a difference between like, you know when a cat's just using you. Like Dexter, like if I'm asleep for too long in the morning, he'll come to my door, start talking, getting all extra loud to make sure I get up. Legitimately comes in here, kicks it when I'm streaming, just kicking it on the chair. This fat ass cat come over here. Anytime he talks, it's probably to try to get a fucking treat. Or some wet food. I'm not stupid. Dexter is my favorite cat. Kryo's just a bitch ass cat that just does shit for no reason. 